I have heard this music before. And I like it. It's really good. So I'm here a little early. I'm playing the Steam version. And, uh... I'm here, like, a little early. Hang on, I gotta lower the volume a bit. Um... Not too early, but a little bit. Uh, so it's out. Finally, Igarashi has has delivered. And uh, I'm very, very excited to jump into this. I've been waiting for a new Igavania for a very long time. And I've heard early reports that the game is good. And it is time, it's finally, to play Bloodstained. Uh, it's, it's something that um, I hope is good because, again... You know, Symphony of the Night is one of my favorite games. Aria, Dawn, Circle of the Moon is good. I mean, Portrait of Ruin, all these games are, are so important to me. And now, I tell you how to unlock the Vine Saw stuff. Okay, so you enter in all caps, S-P-O-N-G-Y, Vine. Spongy Vine. I'm not kidding, that's what they did. That's what they did. You get a Vine Saw sword, um, several years ago. They, they asked me if I wanted to be part of this, and I said, um, I said no. And then I said yes eventually, because I, I realized that the game was looking pretty good. I think I just tried to load a corrupted save file. Yep. Alright, well, my bloodstain just crashed, but it's my fault for trying to load a corrupted save file. I should have known better. It, it's, this is about par for the course. It's me, after all. It, it would have to be something like this, wouldn't it? So again, you can change the name later, apparently, but it's Spongy Vine. Have fun with that. The Industrial Revolution ushered in a new era that threatened to transform the values of men. Oh boy. No longer would spirituality be their compass. It's David Hayter, I believe. I'm sorry, everybody. I have to tab out and increase the volume so that I could lower it again later. Colonel. In 1783, just as the fires of the Lackey eruption had plunged all of Europe into an ashen darkness, a horde of demons spilled from the shadows and fell upon city after English city. It was a message. From Lord the Alchemy Guild. Bracula. Fearing the rise of industrialism and abandonment by their wealthy patrons, had done the unthinkable to defend their existence. Through recondite arts, the alchemists had created shard binders. Humans transplanted with crystal that attuned them to demonic power. They sacrificed the shard binders. And in doing so, through the gates of the world opened. What's that, David? I can't hear you. Countless innocents died. And though the church succeeded in vanquishing the hell's end, steep price had already been paid. As for the shard binders, they were presumed to have all died in the sacrificial rite. However, two survived. Chibo, the boy for whom by some miracle the rite did not prove fatal. Chibo. And Miriam, a girl who spared the rite Miriam. altogether on account of the strange slumber that took her just before it could begin. Ten years have passed. Mankind too soon And Spongy Vine survived as well. The demons have returned, presaged by a great castle. And on this very hour, Miriam awakens. Upon learning Jebel is the architect of this new bloodstained ritual, Miriam and the alchemist Johanna set forth for the accursed castle. So I believe this is the ship. Cuts through the water. Yep. Lansing. This is the demo from last year. But remember, they spent a year revising 
updating and adding graphics. graphics. And uh, I'm very happy about that. I remember last year I kind of had some not so nice things to say about the visuals, but then that trailer came out and I was like, oh, this looks a lot better. I mean, even the... Ooh, there it is! How much damage does it do? A f attack 15. I don't know if that's going to be broken or what. Look at it. It's corrupted and everything. It's great. There, there's there's a vine sauce related weapon in an Igarashi game. The person who made Castlevania Symphony of the Night. who The rune sword. He made the rune sword that was lost to a Nova skeleton. I... I am very... I'm very happy at this present moment. A sword of vines that utilizes an ancient corruption magic. That's so cool. Um, so the... it's not too broken, which is nice. I mean, the starting dagger's eight. That's double that, so... Good. You're prepared. The next order of business is to... Oh, it's this is squid lads again. Yeah. So again, enter Spongy Vine in uh, in all caps. And the uh, title screen if you want that weapon. Right, I remember now. So this is much more like Dawn and Ari of Sorrow. I'd forgotten the way it felt. Like uninvited claws scraping across my bones. Ah, that, that sounds awful. The and I bet it would sound awful too. Into that shard. Just promise you won't push yourself. Oh, I thought he died. I was like, whoa, that was... How did they would, get you, would you eat some bad sushi? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does look better than last I saw it so far. So that's pretty good. Yeah, there it is. There's a, there's a technique. Downright attack. I wonder if there's some kind of corruption magic, but if not, I'm still really happy with the way this turned out. In fact, you know what? I'm not gonna use this sword just yet, as much as I would love to. I'm gonna- I'm gonna stab some knifeys. The 3D style was what had people worried, myself included. Because it's like... You can do... You can do a lot with 3D- Whoa. It's very wet. You can do a lot with 3D, but making it look good? and have a cohesive style is- is tough. But this does look a lot... I don't know... more artful <laughs> than it did a year ago, so I'm- I'm pretty happy about that. Let's see what the rest of the game looks like. Wait, I got a- a thing. I got a- what- Cerulean, it's um... launches a- a bouncing ball. What- how do you- how do you do that? Oh, there it is. There we go. Get up there. Some damage. Hell yeah. Oh, okay. I thought I absorbed the soul there. One of the things um, I loved about Arya and Dawn of Sorrow was the enemy souls. So I'm glad that is in this game. Does anyone know who did the music for this game? Someone in chat? Oh, you did this? Yamane yeah, did it. The Symphony of the Night composer? <laughs> oh, boy. Hitting that fan service hard. I think I might have known that last year, but just forgot. But now I'm I'm happy all over again. <laughs> Is there are their names Morty? M Morty, you turned into a slime. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's Mort. I know, I know. I know what it is. I'm sorry. Yeah, it feels a lot better. Like the the air control is nice. The speed is good of the character. Not too slow, not too fast. Very Castlevania, but also you're not sacrificing, you know, too much to go slow. If that makes any sense, because Castlevania games can be pretty damn slow early on. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right. Once again, I thought I was going to absorb souls, but that's a different thing. It's a different animation altogether. I can't believe this game's finally out. Performing for you. It's got a cool special. But, yeah, I wish I could see the sword up close. I wonder if there's a way you can do that. 
mean, you can see the art for it, but I want to see the in-game... Um, someone said there's a gun in this room. Way back, you'll get another chance to get it. Okay. Hopefully it's a better gun than the one in Arya and Dawn of Sorrow, which... just does, like, minimal damage. Then you go into archives on the menu. Oh, okay, cool. All the way at the bottom. Hell, my sword is at the very, very, very bottom. I love that. It looks good, too. Z-list celebrity, hell yeah. Thank you, chat member. <laughs> it's true. I'll take it. This is- if this is my biggest claim to fame that ever happens in my life, I'd- I'd die a happy man. Let's just hope the game is good. It's so far, it's good. And- and again, there's a lot of people telling me in chat that they enjoyed it. And they've been playing it all day, pretty much. So that's good. Um... Short sword. Yeah, it's not even that powerful of a weapon. You know, short sword does 12. So it's not a sword that you're gonna end up using the whole game. Which I'm okay with, I wouldn't want it to break the game. Vinny, will you ever return to Cooking Simulator, or will it get repetitive? I considered it, I'm still thinking about it. Maybe let's wait a little while? I'm not really sure what more I could do in it. What, like, cook? A Dulla Hammer head that has been refashioned... ...into human armor. Oh, shit! Why, wow, you actually get... ...the visual effects of it. That was awesome. That was awesome. The polish over the past year is very evident. And the music is, is real, real tight. Claymore, 17 attack. The Vine Sword has already been replaced. Actually, this is a two hand, so it's, it's slow. It's slow as fuck. Gun. Now I can shoot. Yeah, guns in Castlevania were always a little bit contentious. At least for me. Which is why they were always kind of shitty as well. Short hop, shoot. Whip. So the whip is very different than Castlevania whips, which just go straight forward. And have a lot of range. This just attacks more your immediate area. Kind of south right. Yeah, it hits south right. Legally distinct whip. Exactly, exactly. I, I kind of feel bad, like poor Igarashi. But he, you know, I mean, he knew everyone was going to compare this to Castlevania. It just, that's the way it is. How could you not? I mean, that's also the point of the game, too, so that Iga can continue making games that he likes, which happen to be games like this. Poor rats. <laughs> they don't even have- they don't even have HP, they just die. They have the rarest weapon in the game. 0.01% chance to drop. The Rat King Sword. I'm making that up, don't- You missed a secret wall, by the way, top floor. I mean, I missed a bunch of things, but can't get to it yet. You can get if you use the karate jump kick repeatedly. So wait, 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 if I could- if I kick... If I kick who? Uh... Not so sure about that. Hanaka Taikiku. Wrong kick. Oh, I don't have any MP. Alright, screw it. Oh, I see, I see, I see. You know what? No, not screw it. I'm gonna get it. We might be here for an extra half hour, but it'll be worth it. Wait, save room? Oh, <laughs> wait a minute. Yep, it's, yep, it's exactly that. Yeah, let me just kick this spiky dude while I wear sandals. The spiky dude with the big armor. Yeah, that's, that seems, that seems like a really good idea. They're not sandals, they're kung fu shoes. Right. Un, du, tre. Pirate hat. It's even a little bit better than the other one. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah! Jeeple. Uh, like I said the other time I played this. So, Sleeping Beauty. You've decided to awaken. It's not a, um... 
It's not a villainy name enough. It needs to be like a Kakulak or something like that. That was my my idea. Count Kakulak. What the alchemists did was reshuffle our bodies. What I intend to do is reshuffle the world. <laughs> I'd say I've earned the right. Villains. Join me, Miriam. You're the only one who understands the pain I feel. What it's like to no longer be human. What it's like to no longer be human. What? I will destroy the world because Miriam, they hurt I me. I hear those words from you. Uh, 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 Master Jibo, we must return. Excuse me, who are you? <laughs> who the fuck are you? Miriam. I That's Jeebles Kamek. With you. Come, Gregory. We're leaving. Gregory? Did you see her waist? She's like a size negative three waist. These unrealistic standards they put upon alchemists. Oh boy. Oh god, I remember this. Chat, do not look at the Robertsons directly, and I won't get banned. Wait, did I just shoot her in the tit, and it did critical damage? That that was an accident, right? That was just like... I'm pretty sure that was just happenstance, and not in fact what it looked like. I, no, it was the heart. I got I shot her in the heart. See, there's a little bit of difficulty, even though I did s not, not too much grinding. Almost no grinding. But I did kill a couple extra enemies. I'm not dying. Not here. Not now. I'm about to die. I'm dying here. No- Oh, I'm not dying! Three potions. That's good. I don't want this to be Symphony of the Night easy. This is- This is a good thing. Clutch that shit. Thrashing tentacle. Attack foes with one of Vipar's tentacles. Thank you, David Hayter. I- it's always nice to hear you. Squeeze my hawk. Miriam versus Gerbil. Gerbil, can you hear me? <laughs> it's me! <laughs> so that sword, though. That's a nice-looking sword. I remember they- they asked me what I wanted, what kind of item. It could have been a hat. Bone toss. It could have been a hat, it could have been, you know, an axe or whatever. Or armor. I think armor, I'm not sure. I remember they gave me a couple options, and I just said, I like swords too much. And uh, I told them, like, a, you know, a corrupted blade with, like, a, a, a vine theme. And they were like, yeah, we can do that. <laughs> Johannes' run cycle. Big feet! I'm sorry, Igarashi-san. Come back if you need anything. I'll get a workshop running so I can perform alchemy for you. Hey, speaking of alchemy, does anyone know how to make a diamond pickaxe reach level- What is that walk? He looks like Jar Jar. That was a Jar Jar walk. Does anyone know how to get a diamond pickaxe enchanted further than level one? You need more bookshelves? Oh. Fiddlesticks. I have made arrangements so you can buy and sell items here. I would okay. have liked to provide what She's the hammer of this game. But seeing as we are or the librarian from the church's funds out here. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. What are you looking to buy? Um Got any vape pens? Red bean. Sulfur, ectoplasm. What the fuck kind of shop are you running? 8 Bitcoin, 16 Bitcoin, 32 Bitcoin. Intradasting, I don't know what that is. Someone said buy the Garbo hat, sure. I didn't even see that there was something called a Garbo hat. Oh, it's Greta Garbo. It's not like a garbage hat, chat. Come on. What are we transmuting this time? I had a weird dream last night that maybe wasn't a dream, which was that a spider made like a small web in my nose. And... I don't think it was a dream. When I woke up, I was like, what is that? And then I... Uh, anyway, what are we doing? I can make so many things. Including bat wings. Ingredients to prepare new food. I can make no food. 
Oh, this spear is awesome. Look at that thing. Look at that animation. Vinny, what is the best Radiohead album? Stop! Don't make me choose. We do this like once a month, and I don't know how to do that. Sometimes I say, okay, computer. Sometimes it's in rainbows. Sometimes it's Kid A. I don't- I don't know. Oh, it's a warp. Okay. This poor little village. Where they- they can't even afford a loaf of bread. But yet they have a room that transcends time and space. Oh my god, that tentacle! Holy shit! Yeah, the spears are good, but very precise. You don't have any arc to the swing. You just stab. But they got some good range, and they're fairly fast. They're- they're good. Swords are probably better suited to many more situations. Elf ears. Now, Link. He come to town. Come to save! The prince is- I don't know why I'm doing this. I haven't even heard that song in years. Then he go left for more NPCs. Maybe I don't, I don't want more NPCs. Maybe I just want to kill. That's one more villager we can lay to rest. Here's your reward. Rice! Thank you. Caleb? <laughs> Wait, there's someone named Caleb here? Like, what is the origin of the name Caleb? I thought it emerged from the fucking swamp of California. It's in the Bible? Oh, really? Caleb? Oh, yeah, it is in the Bible. Holy fuck. I thought it was like a new name that people made up. I don't know, I'm a dope. I'm a dope. I'm a dummy. B uh, Bible spoilers, sorry everybody. Oh my god. They actually show up. Summon rat. <laughs> it's like, put me back! The elf ears were in the demo. Yeah. <laughs> These things yeah, I'm not gonna remember any of that, sorry. That knowledge is already good. I just remember fighting Zen- Zen- get Zen- I remember fighting David Hayter. And I remember the castle a little bit. And I remember this wasn't as fleshed out. I like the splatter of the, the demon blood or whatever the fuck it is. Ow. On the buildings. I also like decapitating the demons. That's fun too. So I have a bit of a problem in games like this. Where I'll go a little bit one way and then I'll just have to run the other way. But I'm like, nope, that's not the right way. I gotta go back. Whoa, 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 whoa. I think, um, I, I maybe complained about this blood fountain when I did a reaction to the, the trailer, the comparison trailer, and the Bloodstained team commented on the video that they would take a look at the fountain, and they did, and they made it better. I want you to know, Bloodstained team, I've given the game a little bit of shit, and I appreciate the work you've done to improve. If you're watching. It's been- it's been a hell of a fucking thing to watch. Oh god, he's got- oh, it's got a chainsaw! It's like one of those classic Castlevania enemies with the giant armor and the, like, super overpowered weapon. I- trust- trucidating Geyer? <laughs> Spin towards enemies and transfer the momentum to your blade. Wait, what do you want me to say, chat? I'll give you one, because I'm happy the game is actually good. Spin. Spin! Okay, um... Gandalf? Oh, it's, uh, Old- Oldman. Old. It can't be. From Curse of the Moon. One of the characters that I used. Old. All that is in the past. I'll now be defending my actions to you. Why are you posing? <laughs> what, what, what are you doing? You were like a father to me. You know full well my power exceeds yours. Take Miriam and leave this place. It's like an edgier Anakin Skywalker. The plot twist is that Johannes dies on the way back to the village because there's a lot of fucking demons and he's basically Jar Jar. Funnier character than we've ever had. This is all new content that was not in the demo in any form. What the fuck am I looking at? Plume Parma. 
Miriam, there's a flying hog. I think I have a permanent... I now have a permanent summon. <laughs> so dopey! The hog is very overpowered if you level him up. Oh, I see. What is your face? Why? Are you offering one? I could take you someplace most interesting. The rub, of course, is that obstacle standing squarely on our path. See? Go around it? I doubt I would be able to push it aside. A shame you don't have a giant hand. Ah, the wild and crazy thing one could do with a giant hand. Yeah, that's pretty weird, dude. That whole speech was weird. Warhorse's key is required, okay. You know, if you read Warhorse very quickly, it looks like another word. I'm not gonna say it's Whorehouse, but something very similar. I'm just gonna pretend this is Bungie from Pennsylvania. The Gigglebone Gang. Oh, <laughs> yup. I think, um, I think he's my favorite character in the game so far, to be honest. I mean, if we're gonna just judge purely on dialogue alone, the only character I relate to. Yeah, they did a pretty good job with the lighting. I'd say. That room looks cool. Is the moon in front of the building? Mm, yeah, yes. Uh, actually, yeah, why, why, wait a minute, why is the moon in front of the building? What? Maybe that's not a moon. That's no moon. Take a look. Look, look. Mental. Not sure if it's worth it. Very expensive, Douglas. Check out my new move. It's called the spin. Stop right there. Oh, God. Here we go. I knew what you are. That ghastly air about you. You reek of sorcery, Shardbinder. Me? I am your executioner. What? Face the hog! David Hayter's worst nightmare is that goddamn hog thing that he did. Hog! Oh! That hurt a lot. So... Wait, she, she wants... This. The Brigadine, right? For pizza? I don't know if I want to make that trade. I mean, normally I would, but... This Brigadine is actually quite a bit better. I mean, I'm sure it's good pizza, even though it wasn't fucking invented yet. What are we transmuting this time? Okay, we're gonna transmute... Oh my god, a cowboy hat is actually in this game. It was real. A scarf that makes you quick on the draw and increases firing rate. I like that. Yes, I like that. I'll go with this. Yes. There. All done. Yes, that's good. Yes, that's good. I'd like to be a cowboy in this game if I could. 8-bit coin gives you Renee's Requiem. Or any of these. Oh, oh god, I want to see what all these are. Hang on a minute. All of these. So, a Dawn Blade? It's not a Dawn Breaker, it's a Dawn Blade, and I can't get two of them. Where's Mono? Mono, this one's for you. Oh, he's not here. So many of these look so cool. I'd mostly be into this... ...pistol. A lightsaber with immense power. That's the encryption. 
you can buy more 8-bit coins at the shop for a lot of money. I'll go with this. Let's do it! Get it. All done. Considering I got the scarf, that seems like a wise decision. Are you eating properly? So, what will it be? No, actually. Here, let me let me eat properly. I'll go with this. It increases max HP Thanks. and con. Mm. I, that wasn't an attempt at like Marge. It. People are doing like Homer and I'll crump with you, sweetie pie. No, that was that was an attempt at Yoda. That was Yoden. It was I was supposed to be Yoden. Mm. Ah, crump I will with you, sweetie pie. Is there anything I can do to help? Well. <laughs> uh... I do enjoy a good meal, but I can't remember the names of the dishes I like. Did they hire a 23-year-old to do the voice of this old lady? That's it? How did you wow. know? Oh, oh, I can't wait to try it. Crump, I will with you. It's delicious. What's that one picture of Yoda where I think he's saying, I'm, I'm going to cut you? Can I get a... Can I get that real quick? I'm gonna need that. What the fuck is this? This isn't the picture. What is this? Why Why does this exist? Yeah, this is the one. I think that's still photoshopped. I don't think Yoda actually ever looked like that. Like, without a little bit of, um... The first one was so much funnier, now that I, you know, comparing the two. <laughs> like... Yeah. You posted cringe, bruh! Vinny, will you also be streaming CTR when it comes out? Yep, that's the plan. Have you learned I would like new? to stream it tomorrow, but remember, I won't be here Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday for streaming because I'm going to convention. Vinny, are you going to be streaming CBT tomorrow? Yeah, for sure. Look, chat, Miriam's waving at you. <laughs> Stop right there. Well, shit. Oh, yeah? You, you got, like, ninja stars? I got bone. Ow, and I'm dead. Okay, I'm going to very desperately need to up my game here. I think the whip is a good choice, but I, I just don't think I have... I gotta get the skill down here. There's a bit of skill. This is not Castlevania Symphony of the Night. You can't just spam attack and win. This is especially not Symphony of the Night randomized. Oh. Shit. Cease this at once, Zangetsu. The alchemists were the gunmen. The shardbinders the gun. All must be dismantled. I can't not hear it. I'm just glad he's getting work. But Miriam is not like them. I mean, it's nice to have Raiden and Snake back in the same game. You can hold me to my word, Dominique. But don't presume to tell me what else I can or cannot do. Can I? I can play as Zengetsu. <sighs> Not now, but eventually. I apologize for my acquaintance. Vinny, who does Raiden's actor play? I was just messing around. I don't think Quentin Flynn is in this. Zangetsu He's is not. a demon hunter. Gotta explain the joke. It's a bad joke. Oh, get no respect. Oi, wait a minute. Are you human? What does it look like? Um, you, you look like a pirate elf? I, I'm not sure. Your body is covered with body decorations. Uh, yes, but these are... These are all the rage in Paris. Oh, Paris. Wow, I've never been to Spain. Uh, the name's Benjamin. Wow, Benjamin, good job. Uh, this will help me escape. Yes, picture your house. And don't let go of that thought. All right, all right, I'll try it. I think it worked. <laughs> We're gonna find that he's in Paris. He's in an alternate dimension where Paris is actually in Spain. I was thinking of Spain! You said Paris! My brain was a little rotten that day. I hadn't eaten in months. I'm not going to even attempt to pronounce that. Arise, myself and my shadow! Oh! Oh no. No, 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 no. I don't like that. 
Please stop. Please leave. Stop! God! That was almost death. <laughs> he doesn't know what to do! <laughs> That's amazing! <laughs> Fuck off! It's it's a demon. I I want to read up about this this particular demon, reanimated cat that perished inside the castle and has a grudge to settle. Got it. It does not, in fact, summon a giant cat. Rigatoni! It's a macaroni. Yeah, I like this spell. I'm surprised the cat just gave me the spell, but I'll take it. A demon! Wait! I'm a good killer barber! What? Cast them aside! Sweeney Todd. If I could take them off, I wouldn't be cursed! Someone just said Sweeney uh... Todd Howard. <sighs> the name's Todd. What? The... Wasn't this the original hairstyle? Or am I mistaken? No, right? It was- was it always this? Or was it- what, I don't know. That just looks like Shinoa from, uh, Order of Ecclesia. Someone said I think that's the point. Well, yeah. Mermaid waifu. I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to say it. It's clipping. What's oh, the scarf that's clipping? I'm gonna go for the red after all. The look suits you fine. Oh, no, no, that's just the hair. Yeah, no, that's- that's hair. Well, you got over that hairstyle quickly. That is so clippy. At least the original doesn't clip. We haven't mastered hair physics yet in video games, alright? We'll get there eventually. I'll tell you what we can do. We can turn... Todd Howard... Shrek, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Tommy Wiseau, and all the other friends that we have on the internet into dogs, like I did two days ago. That we can do, that's no problem. See, he's got his own Rigatoni spell. Maybe, maybe I should save? No, I'm, I'll be fine. That scared me a bit. All is fine. This church looks nice. There's gotta be a flying sword in the chapel. I mean, Mr. Igarashi knows what we want, and a flying sword in the chapel is important. Familiar shard. Bloodbringer. Summon forth Bloodbringer to help you. Wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I get my own sword? S slice! Slash. I, I am going to say it now. I really, really like this game. Like, really, really like it. Sure, it's got its crust. There's some crust, but I'm I'm enjoying the fuck out of it. Then he even pizza has crust. I like that analogy. That's a good analogy. Boss. You defeated my minion with pigs! Yeah... Yeah... That was cool. Manipulative shard, magic that will have continuous effect by using MP, grab onto certain objects and manipulate them. Oh, it's the big hand. This is what that weirdo zombie was talking about. No! 
silver knight. Summon forth the silver knight to help you. Look at this lad. This this lad looks cool. It would be nice if the ghost were to sit down next to her. They could just have a conversation. A ring that amplifies the restorative properties of items you use. I see that as a win. It's an absolute win. Oh, is that the, the line? I wasn't actually quoting... Um... Hulk Hogan. Hulk. I mean, if you've watched my streams, you know this already. Just like how I thought lactose... Lactose intolerance was... was lact... Lack toast, like you're lacking the toast. But when I was younger, I thought Hulk Hogan was Hulk Hogan, just Hulk Hogan, H O K E Hogan, Hulk Hogan, like all one word, Hulk Hogan, H O Hogan. <laughs> okay, I guess I have this now, so <laughs> so that's fine. We'll just wear it. I like how many times my lad stabs. Heretical grinder. Extend a shaft of rotating blades in the designated direction. So you were the one they call shaft. It's pretty fucking cool. Oh, here's the cat again. Poor bastard. I, I love that enemy so much. Most of these enemies have a lot of character, and both recall Castlevania. Um, you know, I mean, a bat. It's a bat. It's whatever. But, you know, you get those those big armor knights. Like the ones from Symphony. You get some original enemy lads, too. And then, you know, you get a whole host of other things. It's great. It's just really good variety so far. Give me the soul. Give me the soul, yes. The shard, sorry. This one's also good leveled up. Yeah, it seems it. I mean, that was just one hit. That was amazing. Still no double jump. Blunderbuss. Good Jack White album. Um, I didn't see the trailer, no. The release trailer for this or whatever. But I did see that Sh Shovel Knight was um, talked about as being in the game. I don't know to what extent Shovel Knight is in the game, but I thought that was pretty dope. Is that what they say these days? Dope? We drank the blood of some people, but the people were on drugs. And now I am a wizard. That's this whole game. Well, this, this game isn't so much about vampires, is it? It's more demonic and arcane. The vampire angle is taking a bit of a backseat. Kindly remain seated during the journey. What, um... What does the river man say in Symphony of the Night? I'll take you to a place you might find interesting! Something like that. It's about the same thing. What is this outfit? My character no longer makes any sense in a fashion sense. Release Toad. Release a toad in the designated direction. I will have the enemies... ...quaking in their boots. Now that I have released Toad. Oh man. I'm coming for you, Jeebel. Man, you never get bored. <laughs> There's a million fucking pieces of equipment all over the place. Check out how the vest looks. Oh, it doesn't work that way. See what I mean? You don't get any... ...visual changes with the body. Knife boots! Get out of here! I forget, someone in... Who had knife boots? Recently. I feel like I've seen knife boots semi-recently. In something. Kano... Logan, the, the Joker, Raiden, it was, was there someone at E3 that had knife boots, or am I losing my mind? Kingsman? I don't know what that is. Jester in tabs. 
Wow, okay. Good memory. Yep, that's exactly it. The Jester unit in Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Come. This frog is not helping me at all. You don't play the piano, do you? Okay. Gotta wait. She does play. Minor key song of healing. That is a nice song. Luigi. I'm gonna get her soul, um, so she can sing the song with me. That's why I, I stopped playing the song, because people in chat were like, if you get her, she accompanies you. Life is pain for this fairy. Now I got the grind down. She heals. Oh, that's good. Cinder and blight veil the air, bring the night. Oh my God. And your eyes they close. Sweet repose, suspended. The hours Ooh. fly. Years go by. The morning comes, <laughs> shadowed by the moon, and colors weave. For whom you speak, cry for light, cry for all of us. Shards of hope gathered in the name of the me. Okay. You know there's um, a Twitter dedicated to destroying Stretch Armstrong, right? Jeff told me about it, but I just... People have been retweeting it, and I've just... I've been... It's really weird. It's a really weird fucking Twitter. Um, it's called Stretch and Destroy. And it's just Stretch Armstrong being mutilated with blow torches, with knives. With hydraulic press, um, grinders, staples, you name it. Just wanted you to know that. If only there was a way to upgrade the vine sword so it would be viable later on in the game, too. Read all books in Lazy Harrison Ford narration, please. Okay. An unpleasant game of cat and mouse, but the monsters forced me into retreat. But then, while stealing through the garden, I noticed that a blue treasure chest I had plundered once before had been freshened with a new item. Who on earth could have put it there? Harrison Ford is so fucking lazy, he couldn't even be bothered to do the trailer. For the movie. Seriously. Well, not lazy, he just didn't want to do it because he knew it would be terrible, but... The trailer for Blade Runner has, um, a dude that sounds like Harrison Ford. It's actually Holden, the guy in the beginning. So the, the actor's name is Morgan Paul. He did the voiceover. And in the trailer for the movie, he goes, That's me. My name is Deckard. And he's just doing it like, a, like lazy Harrison Ford type shit. Is there a secret here? Seems like secret would be here. No, I guess not. Oh, oh, the map. Oh, shit! Okay, I think this is a good place to stop.
I, I, I love this game so far. I, I think it's, um, it, it retains... ...a lot of elements from Igarashi's previous games, um, that make it familiar. But it's just a lot of stuff. There's a lot of items, there's a lot of moves, a lot of different shards. The castle itself is cool, it looks better, way better than it used to. And, um, the mood is nice, the music is nice. The only thing that's a little crusty are some of the voices and, and like, the cutscenes and stuff, but... ...some of the animations, but overall, I mean, the core of gameplay... ...is, is pretty fucking spot on. That extra year of development time really came in handy. I, I really like this. And, uh, I'm looking forward to digging into the rest of it. So, finally... ...it's here, it's good. I know the fiasco with Mighty Number no. 9 scared people away from Kickstarter, and as it should, I mean, you gotta be real careful what you back on Kickstarter, because there's been a lot of... ...shady dealings and a lot of failed... ...and, uh... Well, I wouldn't say failed, but just, like, kind of undelivered promises. So it's good that people are cautious about it, but when you have someone that actually gives a shit and a team that cares... ...you might end up getting something good. It's both nostalgic... Mostly nostalgic, but also feels a little bit new, too. And looks nice and invokes a lot of good feelings. So, I like it. I'm... I couldn't be happier. Who's this? Alright, so, um, yeah, before we do Crash, though, we got plenty of this ahead. So, what did I just get? Circular Ripper. Ow. Shovel Knight? Wait a minute. I think Shovel Knight's playable. Yeah, that is Shovel Knight. It's Shovel- Shart. Sh sorry, Shovel Armor. Shari. Boy, even with upgrades, ranged weapons, not all that amazing, huh? Sapphire. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to Crash. Like I said, it's uh, a game I played a little bit of. I never played the whole thing, so I'm probably gonna stream all of the story mode in Crash. Obviously not right away, but when I get back from the convention. Seems like the easiest way to farm this dude is to just, like, get in there. Um, I, I wanted to talk about the convention a little bit for people that are going. So I have a panel on Friday at 4.30, and then the next day I'm signing at 3.30, and I don't know where I'll be signing. I have, I've had people email me and say, Ben, where are you signing? It'll be easy enough to decipher when the time comes. Someone will be able to tell you. I don't even know where I'm signing. But it's different every year, so just, um, you know... I guess, you know, stop on by and take a look. But as of right now, I couldn't tell you. Ah, oh, fuck, this is Sapphire. Vinny, will you sign my chest like Happy Gilmore? That, my friend, is how you get arrested. I will not be signing any body part this year, or any year. I'll sign your Super Nintendo. I'll sign your cat. I won't sign your cat. Oh, I got the shovel. Attack 27, a shovel that functions as a weapon. I can be Shovel Friend, too. Uh, yeah, so... There will be a booth... ...where you can get some info on the Vine Sauce Charity Stream. As well as you can get, um, a chapstick. And... ...a Vine Sauce Hand Sanitizer. However, I'm gonna say this, I'm not always going to be at the booth, so if I'm not there... ...don't be too discouraged, just come back. Um, and also, I'm gonna need some time to, like, decompress, and there's a chance that... <clears throat> I, ...I'm gonna be doing the signing on Saturday. And there's a, a very high chance that there will be moments where I'm just like... ...I need, I need, like, an hour. So, just... 
want to let you know, because I've had a lot of people ask what's going on at this thing. Otherwise, have fun. Make friends, respect personal space, and eat healthy. And also, I'm overloading on vitamin C. Vinny, you should invest in a body double. I'm telling you, I need my own Gooigi. You didn't get Shovel Knight's best two drops, the shard, and something even better. I, I guess we're grinding. Hopefully a fucking Nova Skeleton doesn't end my stream. And my life. Before you know it. Alright, everybody, stream's over. Time for uh, CTR, and then I have to leave for my convention. Don't forget to turn in the quest for the pizza reward. Right. And then I can turn in the pizza for more reward. I will try Shovel Knight five more times. Channel the luck from the randomized Symphony of the Night stream. I will. I'm gonna be really overpowered if I keep killing Shovel Knight. The rigatoni is real. Oh, there we go. Call forth a shovel-wielding knight and set it upon foes. So what's the other thing? Like, I have to decide whether or not I even want that, because I might not. His armor? Um... An armor that turns you into him? Damn it! Alright, two more times. Yeah. Steel? No. One more, one more, one more. Alright, one more, one more, one more. It's rare, it might take a bit. Alright, then fuck it, I'm not gonna... Maybe another time is my answer. If I don't get it here, then another time. Didn't get it. Moving on. You know what? I gotta go back, because my health, look how low my health is. Holy shit, why he's so big? Why'd that happen? There's a 3% chance of that happening? That was amazing. Okay, this is it, here. This is the last chance, and then I'm moving on for real. For real, real. And we're moving on. The 3% chance on the rare drop from Shovel Knight. Oh, okay. This waterfall is very familiar. Holy shit, what? What the fuck is this? Nonsense. I just missed an opportunity. God damn it! I was trying to leave the chair, but could not. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna do the chair thing again. How do, how do I exit? How do I exit? I need to exit the chair. There we go. Curry powder. Nice. Curry dish. And a painting of a backer. Vinny, did you get a backer portrait? I don't think so. Remember, I am an influencer. They reached out to me. So I didn't, you know... I would have gladly backed the game just because of Igarashi, but... They reached out to me and they were like, Hey, we want... We want your, um, your soul. Vinny, based on, if I may, based on my experience at PAX East, you actually do a pretty good job at carrying a mean meaningful conversation for the two minutes you spend interacting with people. I've had some horror s I've heard some horror stories about guests at cons who essentially blow people off or ask everyone the same three questions before sending them on their way. Well, I, I like, um... I like to get to know people a little bit as best I can. That's a genuine thing. But... I have definitely been short with people. When I say short, I mean like, I've definitely had my moments where I was too tired to carry on any kind of conversation. It's, it can be tough after a couple hours. But thank you for saying so. I, I, uh, I'm... I figured, listen, if you're there, and you go out of your way to meet me, even if you're already at the con and you just walk over to where I am, I want to do my best to en engage in some kind of conversation, and also, that's one of the reasons I give out free shit. There's a part of me that has that imposter syndrome where I'm like, why, why would people want to meet me? And I feel like I have to give them something to make it worthwhile. So that's, you know, it's one of the reasons that, and I just like collecting all this stupid shit. I have like a little collection of dumb vine sauce items that I've amassed over the years, but I'm happy to give them away. 
and, um... Yeah, I do like conventions. I do. I may make it seem sometimes like I don't, but I, I enjoy them. Just not too much. Just a little bit. And, you know, there's always some weird interaction. Like, I'll give you an example. I'm gonna spell it out. I love meeting people, I love getting to know people, and I'm glad that you want to come hang out and see me at a convention. My one request, maybe this is a little too far, but my one request is you don't follow me around the convention. If you see me. Because that happens. That's happened. It didn't happen at PAX this year. It didn't happen a couple times. I mean, it's definitely something that happens rarely. But, you know, there's also, like, a level of social interaction that I think needs to be a little bit more expressed. You can follow my YouTube channel if you want. But yeah, I'll sign- I'll sign your stuff. I'd be happy to, and I'll be sure to give you some Vine Sauce items, some charity stream stuff. Um, I'm looking forward to meeting you. I genuinely- I genuinely like getting to know people in the community on a one-on-one, -on -one, face to face basis. It's surprising how much you can learn, and how much, like, Everybody does different things. You'd expect, you know, most people to maybe, like, be in the same field. Nope. Everyone does something different. It's crazy. Engineers, doctors, people that make games, people that just play games, people that eat games, meat clowns. Cosplays are usually on point, too. And, you know, some older people, too, not just people my age or younger. Like, I've met people in their 40s, I've met people in their late 30s that actually have careers. Pretty fucking cool. I gotta go back to the safe point, I think. Oh, wait, wait, did this- she heals me, right? Any food? Yeah, I guess I could just eat. I have all these food. They don't give me HP, but... Unless they do, I don't know. Does cheese make me have more HP? Eat corn? I can't eat corn. They're materials. Can't eat corn. She only heal heals you if you have fairy potions in your inventory. Oh, okay. This is not good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate having to use potions. I'm playing this game like it's Symphony of the Night. Which is not a good idea. This this is actually more difficult. Yeah, just tanking everything. Yeah, the Zangetsu fight is a- is a kind of an eye-opener. I watched, um, what did I, I- no, no, I listened to Macaulay Culkin's new podcast with Tom Green. For some reason. And, um, they talked about Freddy Got Fingered, of course, and, uh, you know, and other things, too. And Tom Green has seen the Red Letter Media review of Freddy Got Fingered, where Mike calls Tom Green a secret genius. So that's a thing. It was entertaining, it was genuinely entertaining, learning about how he lost a testicle, and... ...all his weird antics. Dude was like... ...either before, or ahead of his time, or of no time. People compare him to Andy Kaufman. Which, you know, I've been talking a little bit more about Andy Kaufman on stream lately, because I saw that interview with Orson Welles... ...and Andy. And no, Tom Green is not the same level of genius as Andy, but there's some stuff in there. There's a couple things that I feel like- I do feel like Freddy Got Fingered was just a piss-take of the whole genre. Of all the gross-out teen movies that were happening at that time. I think there was some intent behind it. But I don't think he's a genius. The handbag creation with Monica Lewinsky was absolute genius level outsider comedy. Unless he is genius, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe he is! Vinny, you said you were going to play my friend Pedro. When is that happening? Any specific day? Well, the embargo- I mentioned earlier the embargo is up. Wow. The embargo is up tomorrow. At like, 6 p.m. Or wait, wait, 10 a.m. Eastern? So I can't stream it tonight. I'll be at Too Many Games, um, tomorrow, so next week. It's just unfortunate timing. Vinny, are you going to meet Scott the Waz at TMG? We talked about this the other day. I'm going to give him hand sanitizer. 
I, I think it's just funny how the convention name went from too many games to WazCon. It's weird how that happens. Eventually, all things become Scott the Waz. Oh, fake Medusa heads. Cool. Great value Medusa heads. America's choice. I'm more than content having this game and not Castlevania. If we're not gonna get Castlevania, this is- this is fine. And, you know, if this becomes a series, that's great. Curse of the Moon was excellent. This is good so far. Very good, in fact. I'd say very, very good. That's my review so far. Um, but Konami is content with letting Castlevania either rot, or just, you know, be in collections. But then again, based on that Contra thing that we saw at E3, I think I'm good. I think I don't need them making another Castlevania anytime soon. There's so many developers that could do Castlevania better than Konami could at the moment. Like, you know, people who are fans of the franchise, people who grew up playing Castlevania, people who love it as much as we do, as opposed to, you know, just like Guns for Hire that... I don't even know what state of order Konami's in at the moment. Like, I have no idea if they're even able to function as a developer. Vinny, fans don't make good games. Okay, so, alright. I don't disagree with that statement. Let me revise the way I put that. I think... I think you're right to some extent. But, then you have stuff like Black Mesa Source, Sonic Mania, you have, um, people on the team that helped make Resident Evil 2, who were fans. Another Metroid 2 remake. I mean, it's possible, you know, it's- uh, we were talking about Final Fantasy VII Remake being developed by fans. I'm not saying fans alone could make a good game. But let's say developers who grew up... ...loving the games that their, you know, their games are inspired by. So if you have a developer like, um... Like... Oh god, um, the people that made Hat in Time. Give them Banjo. You know, give them the resources, give them Banjo, give them more, you know, people to help make the team. Um, you know, give give them more team members, I mean. And maybe they could make a good 3D platformer in the style of those old games. Now, Hat in Time is different than Banjo-Kazooie. It's not the same game by any means. But the influence is there, and it's a good influence, and it was done really well. Give them more to the resources. Then you have, like, Inti Creates, who did Mega Man 9 and 10, or 10 and 11. No, wait, it, yeah, 9 and 10. Inti Creates... ...does a really good job with, um... ...Mega Man and Mega Man-like things. And... ...that was not what I wanted to do at all, actually. Fuck. I wanted to get to that warp. Damn it. They did help develop Mighty Number no. 9, but if... ...if you ask me, that was a whole... ...load of... of blame. Gonna use a Waystone? Oh, you can... How many do I have? I have one. Sure, why not? So, what'll it be? I would like. I don't know. Something to stab with? I'll go with this. I'm interested in this. You know Robbie Please. Belgrade's in this game? I don't know if we've heard him yet, but the uh, voice of Alucard <clears throat> is in this game. It's kinda nice, right? Get him in there. I met him once, he had a drum. I told that story a thousand and one times, I'm sure. And another of us was researching how to create giant organisms. Why? Anyway, just be mindful of the facility's existence. They're gonna Dynamax the it. Knowledge... This is good, new game mechanic, big! They wanna make big so they can... I, I guess they can fight. That's really what it boils down to with most stories. Want make big so can fight. Oh wait, I have to actually make more food. Um, Vinny, do you agree that Pokemon needs a delay? I... I don't know how I feel about it because, um... That first... Initial trailer for Pokemon... Looked great. And then the more I hear about it, and then the more I see crusty fucking trees... The more I think, yeah, it might need some extra time in the oven. I'm just saying, like, it, it... Someone said it needs new management. 
like again, the more I learn about the game, about Game Freak, about you know the development, I don't think it needs you know like a complete overhaul, but maybe some more time, maybe uh, I don't know, maybe a better engine. But I'm still thinking about playing it. You know, I'm probably gonna stream it. Here's your reward. Someone said, um, Nintendo equals Bethesda. I'm not sure what you're referring to. Are you referring to crusty-looking trees? Because Breath of the Wild had some good trees for an open-world game. Hang on a second. Um, someone just said the game has only been in development for six to five months. What? The build was a month prior, I believe. The wild areas are originally non-free cam, but was later added. This causes some of the trees to crustify as they weren't to be seen up close. I don't believe the game was only in development five or six months. Did we have confirmation? Thank you. That's, I mean, what they were able to put together in five or six months is, is kind of crazy, if that's the case. I think they were working on that while they were working on Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. I don't think it was in development for a terribly long time, though. One year dev cycles. I wouldn't be surprised if it was a year. Yeah, that wouldn't surprise me. It really wouldn't. But I'm just saying. I'm still probably going to get it. I still like the region. I still like some of the new Pokemon. I still like some of the quality of life stuff. Did you bring but yeah, little by little, I, I hear about the crust. That's it. How did you know? I'm like, oh. It's delicious. That's a shame. Someone just said that's BS, it's been in development ever since X and Y was released. I think I'm going to, to look at the game and not the chat anymore. Thank you, chat. Oh, I did get something interesting. I got these glasses. Everything looks bigger. Big! <laughs> what? That's the less S FOV option. Hey, at least it does something unique and interesting. I'll just, uh talk about one quick thing, which is someone in chat a minute ago said, I just kind of love Pokemon unconditionally. And, you know, you're allowed to. And if you, if you enjoy the things that people, you know, say you, you enjoy the thing, and other people don't enjoy it, I think that's great. Just enjoy what you enjoy. But, you know, just understand if there are... If this game comes out, and there's some stuff that people want that they're not going to get. It's going to be very vocal. It's already been very vocal. Someone said Pokemon's always going to be fun to me unless they completely fuck up what it is at its core. I think I'm not a big enough fan of Pokemon to have super, super highly opinionated things in regards to the game mechanics. I think I like the games. I enjoy them, and I have fun with them, but I don't... Um, I don't think I could tell you what specifics change from game to game, because I've just not played most of them, you know? I know about the gotta catch some all, as opposed to gotta catch them all, and I know how frustrating that is, but for me, it's just like, yeah, if it's fun, it's fun. But that tree is fucking ugly as sin. Just looking for a place to, to go. I, am I going the right way? Or am I gonna hit a dead end again? Just to save me some time, anyone know? You're good? Okay, thank you. I mean, here's the thing, I wanna say, and I've already mentioned this, but... I wanna say, though, for whatever disappointments E3 has brought to Pokémon fans, Luigi's Mansion fans are probably very happy right now. I'm not the hugest Luigi's Mansion fan, I mean, I've played one. I, I loved one, I've played it multiple times. Um, two I played through, I enjoyed it. But... Three looks like it's, it's got the potential to be the best game in the series. I love the way that game looks. Also, maybe the best looking game visually on the Switch. Just based on the footage I saw, it's a really, really nice looking game. Strong art direction. Um, a lot of personality and character, good animations. Let's just see if those portrait ghosts are as good as they, they should be. Someone said, I don't know about that one. I love the- oh, I love it. Streaming has made me, like, quite the, um, 
I argue with myself in my head even when I'm not streaming. I, I always have to play devil's advocate to myself. But it's been good for me. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here with this. This whole hallway is just japes. Yeah, that looks like that looked like my old dog. That looked like Molly. Vinny, does the game audio not get repetitive to you? Falcon punch! Doria! Not really. I'm used to it. The animation <laughs> when the dog howls is amazing, isn't it? Really, I find the audio obnoxious. Sure, you can find it obnoxious. I don't. I think it's- it, it does get repetitive, for sure, but it's not- it's not killing the experience for me. I mean, again, Symphony of the Night's one of my favorite games, and Alucard throughout the whole thing- You got the materials, but not their soul. Okay, I'll try to get the soul. What happened to the music? It's- it's an atmosphere thing. Some areas in the game don't have music. It's like that in Symphony, too. Chat, do I continue? I see a lot of yeses. I'll try a couple more times. Put on your luck items. I don't think... How many luck items do I have? Santa hat. Okay, yeah, there's two on this side, so I'm gonna... I'll try it a couple more times. Considering there's two of them, it'll be a little easier, and... Hopefully it will be worth it. Sword that was cold blooded. Soul is really worth it, not japes. Just because it's anime titty, it's actually excellent for combat. What do you mean when you say anime titty? I was just about to say I don't maybe maybe I don't need this. Bunny morphosis. Transform into a Is this really that much stronger? Well, actually... Yeah, the pick is pretty good. As you rank up, you get more moves. Well, I got the soul. And, uh... Boy, there's gonna be a lot of happy people in the chat right about now. I think we finally found Bunny Yasando. After all this time... It's alright, David Hayter's character, Zangetsu, at some point... He turns into, um... A demon boy. And he, and he wears, like, um, one of those Merkins. This camera's tripping me out, man. Fucci and the Lieutenant? Oh, I don't know where they are. Yeah, I haven't seen that show or heard from it in years. That damn Fucci and that Lieutenant. That's not an original creation. Kuchi Lieutenant is actually Mystery Science Theater. But we, uh, my friend Dan is a huge fan, so we used that name on his behest. And it was, uh, it was good. Bunny Isando, I believe, is a totally unique and original IP. So, uh, I'll copyright that one. It's a better clock tower than we've ever had before. The way it fills in the map is kind of amazing. This is actually a really nice little evolution of uh, Igavania level, you know, map design or whatever. I mean, we've seen stuff like this in other games, but this works. It's cool. Just in case. Okay, what did I get? Flying Edge. A blade that has been magically endowed with flight capabilities. Wait, is this the rune sword? It is! <laughs> well, it's more like the heaven sword. It's not verboten. It's pretty good, though. This weapon kicks ass. Someone said, no, you kick ass. No, you kick ass! We just made our very own E3 moment. 
How much you want to bet next year companies are going to hire more celebrities to do shit like that? They're going to find the most likable celebrities they can, give them a little cameo, have them go on stage, and try to, like, get a meme moment. Hey, baby, it's me, Regis! Wait, no one knows who Regis is anymore. Never mind. Okay, hello, everybody. It's me, Tommy Wiseau. I am here with Mortal Kombat 12. I am in-game. I am Monster Vampire. This game is stunning. Silence, as Tommy waits for someone to call him stunning. No, no, you stunning, even though nobody says it. Vinny, what if we see you up on stage? You'll, you'll know if I'm, if I'm up there, trust me. You mean Sam Rockwell? It's gonna be Jim Carrey, in character as Andy Kaufman, as the spirit of Andy Kaufman enters him, and he becomes a massive asshole. Which Andy Kaufman was not. Well, he kind of was, but apparently, just privately, he wasn't as much of an asshole as Jim pretending to be Andy. Sable. Oh. Well, well. Look at all the shards you've amassed. How does it feel to command the power of demons? Well, how does it feel to have been in Richard Gere's bum bum? It feels like nothing. Gerbil? Just power. All the people who don't get it. Oh, is that an outdated reference? Oh, man. I should have said something about, like, Tanya Harding. Or, like, Winona Ryder stealing from stores. That would have been more topical, right? No? Anyone? No? Okay. The ground is gonna burn. I'll get mine, too. This monkey's gone to heaven. Nope. Well, we're doing more references that people don't get. Okay. Shit. Uh, Andrew Dice Clay. Tick tock, eat a cock. No? Andrew Dice Clay made a career of doing nursery rhymes with curses in them. Does that sound hilarious? It's funny because that, that kind of content... I, I'm gonna call it content. The, the only reason, I mean, Andrew Dice Clay had some good jokes. He did. It's not that he didn't have jokes, it's just a lot of his jokes were like... It was like a song. Like, you get to the part of the song where everybody claps. And then he would go, OH! But now, you can get that content from like... You know, some- like an 11-year-old on YouTube? For free! Or a 34-year-old man-baby streamer. Another comic that I never really understood, Sam Kennison. I mean, sure, I watched some of his material, but the dude was just loud. I just remember- I, I liked his voice when, it, when I was younger, because he was loud, and loud was funny. But he actually, he did- he was just an- he was an angry dude, but he had a lot of jokes, that's the difference. When I was a kid, I only remembered the loud. And then I listened to him years later, I was like, oh, no, 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 he's actually- he wrote jokes. There are jokes here. Vinny, I think you'd like Todd Barry. Oh, I like Todd Barry. He was Todd in Play of the Concords. So, uh... I went down another weird Norm Macdonald rabbit hole, because it just- his videos keep getting recommended. It's not his videos, it's someone... whose channel is, um... It's called I'm Not Norm, and it's just a bunch of Norm videos, like, him on talk shows. And there was one with Jay Leno. And, like, Letterman could keep up. Conan played dumb, but could also keep up. J Leno was like, oh, okay! That's great, Norm! Ultra Leno? No, I don't think we're gonna get Ultra Leno tonight. I have to configure settings. I've- I've been told I use too many voice modulators. Even though I don't think I've used one in- in weeks. What if... This is a voice modulator? What if I've never actually even sounded like this and I'm using some kind of, like... Insane... Filter system to sound like this. My real voice is... Yes, hello. It is me, Binti. Explain con footage. It's all doctored. All of it. Some by myself, some by others. It's a big, you know, it's like a, a network of a conspiracy. Like, there's- everyone's in on it. Now, if I made a 45-minute YouTube video about that, 
and I just kept going down this rabbit hole. Hang on, getting a drink. Um, and I kept on, you know, coming up with things as to how my voice is actually an elaborate fake. If you make a convincing enough video, people will believe it. So I have a repeat uh, review of, of, a, of a liquid, of a fluid. This is my second time ever having this. And I don't remember the first time. So I have something here called San Pellegrino. Some of you may have seen this. It's an Italian sparkling lemon drink. It's in a can. It's got some sugar, so I'm a little bit reticent about that, but I wanted to try it. Sparkling lemon beverage with 16% lemon juice. So, I had the orange one, and I like the orange one. Let's see if the lemon one is, is any good. Why not bad? That's pretty good. You do taste the lemon juice. Someone said the blood orange one is really good. I gotta get that. Anything blood orange. I don't know, that might have been the one I had, or do they have blood orange and regular orange? They do. Oh, I gotta get the blood orange then. Cookies? I can make cookies? This library makes me think of uh, my own adventures in Minecraft to build a library. So, I finally build an enchanting ta built an enchanting table. And I have... Uh, three library blocks. That's as much as I could do. Three. Those things are very difficult. You gotta kill a bunch of cows or llamas to get the leather, and then you have to actually, like... You know, you gotta farm a bit. You gotta farm them, um... Them, what is it, sugar? They're a pain in the ass, is what I'm trying to say. And they take a while to grow. Steal bookshelves from village. I haven't seen any in a village. I might want to build, like, some kind of teleporter first, if such a thing exists, before I go out venturing to different villages, but... Anyway. Sugarcane grows super fast, though. Really? Maybe I just need to, um... Be more patient. There really isn't a teleporter, per se. I know, you have to walk through the nether, right? But I, I really want a good library, so that it'll both look cool, and it'll upgrade the enchanting table. Yeah, this lemon juice, this lemon water is really good. It's not as good as banana water, but I haven't had that in a while. Time to use the vine saw sword. Um, does anyone know if this sword... So that's, this sword has a very specific, um, move. It's not unique to this particular sword, right? Like, it's- it's on other weapons as well. Did chat die? Did my stream die? Chat is frozen. I have no dropped frames. I don't know if I'm live currently, but my chat is totally frozen. Warning server not responding. Um, can one of my mods let me know if I'm still live, maybe? I am apparently still live. Weird. And chat explosion. What the fuck? Suddenly, a minute and a half worth of messages about all at once. <laughs> Thank you. There's something I can help you with, human. Wait a minute. Blaylu card. Hmm. That aura about you. <gasps> You're a vampire. And what of it? Will you murder me for that alone? I've picked no quarrel with you. <laughs> That's him. My name is Orlog Dracul, <laughs> but you may call me O.D. O.D. As long as you are here, why not avail yourself? The name Orlok comes from Nosferatu? That's awesome. So I can just borrow these. One at a time. Okay. It's just like one buff to choose. Increases standard attack speed. I always like that. Fortune Tome sounds nice, too. Extra luck. This is a library, not a bookshop. It's got such a deep voice, that Robbie Belgrade. Look, look, you can even, like, do the thing underneath. Nice homage to Symphony. 
You can see it right here. I don't have the ability yet, whatever the ability may be, but you can, like, do the jump thing. I love this. Wait. It's not cheesy if I just fill the arena with flying pigs, right? No, because they didn't... I just wasted all my magic. Nice. Double jump! I was just thinking I was gonna get a double jump based on that treasure chest. This is a long-ass time to go in a game like this without a double jump. Something you usually get a little bit earlier. A hair accessory? Adorned with beautiful plumage. The plumage don't enter into it, mate. Still can't get up there. Gonna need something else before I can enter the vampire's ass. Oh, I have dropkick now, too. Cool. Now I can be like Richter Belmont. Did I do mostly everything here? Well, no, there might be a couple things before I go there. It's good to know that's there, though. This music is sophisticated. It's library music. The Sophisticator. Some of you probably aren't aware of my concept of the Sophisticator. I've had three original ideas in my entire life, and that's one of them. Arguably. The book shard gives you a new good companion familiar. What? Watch. The books... Oh, the books drop one. The book soul. I didn't get it yet. Okay. Before I warp on up out of here... Check something out. Vinny, what's the Sophisticator? He, he fists. His real name is Sophisticles. But he moonlights as... So anyway, if you want to meet me, <laughs> and you're at too many games, I don't know what I just got. Oh, uh, a hairband fitted with gadgetry. It's it's steam, it's like steampunk headphones. What does this have? What what is that ability? RT zooms. Oh yeah, I guess it does. Stone resist? Okay. Someone just said she's Luca now. Uh, close enough. Needs helmet. Vinny, do you like games where the character always stays in the center of the screen while everything else moves in the background instead? Um... I suppose so. Sounds like a Jay Leno question. So you like to brush your teeth? You like to make big stinky poop? Vinny, I'm starting to think you don't like Jay Leno. I just like- it's, he's just a funny voice to do. I don't know how this whole meme of him started, but... Um... I don't like what he did to Conan. Or Dave. But I don't hate the guy. I, I think, you know, I've heard him in some, like, podcasts and interviews and stuff, and, and he's got some interesting stories, and he doesn't seem like a bad guy. Or a terrible guy. I mean, as a late show host, he was like as standard milk toast as you could get. But I don't, I don't hate the guy. Come on! Carnot's Rebuke. Is that me? Am I Carnot? A greatsword whose internal steam engine adds incredible power to each swing. Wow! 
You can charge it. That's cool. Wow! It's in... Yeah, it's Doria. Yeah, it's pretty much Ganondorf's. Um, smash forward A. Let's see, do I want to go back to the boat, finally? I can double jump, so I have a lot of different options. Big map, by the way. That, no, that was not my intention there. Hairdresser? Upgrade weapons? Where do you upgrade weapons? Back in... Back at the town, or...? I don't recall having been able to upgrade weapons. I know you, well, you could upgrade abilities. Then you don't change the subject. What, what do you want me to say? I have people in chat wanting me to switch to the bunny outfit. I accidentally get a look at the Robertsons, and now I'm the bad guy. So we, when chat says upgrading weapons, do you mean upgrading shards? Or can you actually upgrade weapons? Your Rube sword-like weapon can be upgraded. Hmm? It will appear as a new one, but it will use the old one in the list. Okay. Oh, like this. I need the 16-bit coin to upgrade Renee's Requiem, for example. Flying Edge, I can turn into the Oracle Blade, but I need a lot of materials that I don't have. I see what you mean now, Chad. I get it. <clears throat> but I'm still a little ways off from any upgrades. There's another thing I saw. Enhance... Double jump. Promise you'll stop double double jump. No well, extra jump. Got any tug? Here's what I've turned up on the monsters. Poor Trevor. Poor Simon. Rest in peace, Simon and Trevor. You will never return. Kill those murderers dead! Who, Konami? It's too easy. Yeah! Konami bad. That's right. They are. Yeah, they they are pretty pretty shit. Remember, just because someone doesn't like something and then you post, uh, post something bad, that doesn't negate criticisms of said thing. I know that's the cool thing to do these days. It's like I was shitting on Bethesda. Not even that much. Just a little bit. A little bit of ribbing about Fallout. I still like their games, you know, I'm still gonna play Doom. And whatever Starfield is. And it was just a bunch of, like, people who love Bethesda that were like, Bethesda bad, right, Ben? Yeah, sometimes. I think, um, Bethesda... is frustrating because I want to love them. Because they've made so many games that mean so much to me. But they're just really easy to make fun of, especially at E3. When they're doing their, you know, like, employee and fan reel. I forget who said it, but I watched some video where they were talking about how, um... Bethesda wants to show that they're, like, not a huge publisher, and that they're, like, a family company. Even though they're a huge publisher. And I'm fine with them being a huge publisher. I don't really... I mean, I just like their games. I like their... their worlds. I like... I like Todd, even! There, I said it. I like Todd. I do. I get a kick out of him, and he... and I... I'd love to have a beer with the guy. That said, though, you know, I... We're sorry. Um, I got an invisible blade. A blade that has been made invisible through sorcery. It's interesting. Just the effect, but no blade. Elder Scrolls blades. Which I do not like at all, by the way. Did nothing for me. That Elder Scrolls blades game. And I was actually kind of looking forward to it when they first announced it. Like, hey, maybe it'll be cool. I just, aside from the uh, monetization, I just didn't like it. Um, I don't know what to use here. I'll, I'll try Tentacle. Why not? And people want Bunny Morphosis again. People will always want Bunny Morphosis. Oh, yeah, that's true. Vinny's favorite Elder Scrolls game. Um, I have not played all of them. So remember, I'm not exactly the biggest Elder Scrolls nut. <laughs> But, I loved Oblivion. Oblivion was something else, man. When I first played that game... Strike enemies with lightning that finds them no matter where they are. Oblivion was, um, was good enough for me to play it with 
the worst video card possible at like 240 by one whatever resolution. And uh, with all the settings turned all the way down. And then, then eventually, and I loved it. And I, I enjoyed the fuck out of it. And then, you know, I stopped playing it because of one reason or another, but I put many, many hours into it. And then finally, when I upgraded my computer enough to play it, I started from scratch. I actually bought a copy the second time. Don't tell anyone. And you know what? It wasn't quite as good as when I was playing the crusted version. I think it was more to do with the fact that it was just so cool to play a game like that for the first time. And also, it felt like, oh, I can actually play this, it's amazing. And then I got, you know, I played through it. I ended up not finishing it, but I think that that was... That was an experience. I never, I never really played a game like that, like that open world style before then, aside from GTA, maybe. So yeah, Oblivion was pretty impactful for me. And don't get me wrong, I enjoyed my Skyrim playthrough that I streamed. Janky as fuck, and we just played it to laugh and meme. Oh god. It was still a good playthrough, and I enjoyed the fuck out of it. God, this is crazy! That was a weird end to that. That was- it was scripted, I'd imagine. It, it appears to be scripted. Oh shit, look at those trees! I know another game that has trees that look like that. But that was a cool fight, it just- the ending was a little anticlimactic. Not in a terrible way, but I just- I was like, am I dead? I thought I died. I don't actually think the intention is for me to come back up here. I think- I think I was supposed to be, just stay down there and go off-screen left. But I missed some spots. I wanted to check those out. Finny, you weren't supposed to be dragged down at all. You just killed it while you- while it had you and weird stuff happened. Oh, so that wasn't even like... a thing. Oh, I couldn't even get that stuff if I tried. I wanted to get 100% map completion. Vinny, that's not true. You're supposed to be dragged down so you see the chest and get the silver bromide for story progression. One guy and Vine Jape could be combined into the ultimate stream killer. Alright, game continues to be good. I like this game a lot, and I am not disappointed. So... Fantastic. Just a fantastic game. Whoa! Alright, Bloodstained, that's how you know it's getting started. Um, I haven't played this in... just under a week. Considering... convention took up my time, and I was, like, really itching to play it. But here we are. Alright. Now I can continue, I'm totally at... Where am I? Oh, I don't know where I am, actually. Good. Alright, I'm lost. Someone said Steam Remote Play is out, I can play this on my phone. Well, I'm good on that. Oh, whoa, okay, so, um, yeah. I have the Switch version, I haven't played it yet. There were some reports that the Switch version was pretty subpar. And today... Whoa, God. Today, um, the Bloodstained team made a tweet that they were not happy with that, and that, um, their patch version was not that good, and they're going to work on it and improve it. Vinny, was this your- was your first session before version 1.02? If so, your save might be fucked. I don't think so. My save seems okay. Hang on, let me lower the game a little bit. Um, but yeah, they said they're gonna work on the Switch version and try to update it a little bit further, and, um... 
Let's see what happens. Now, anyone asking about Etika, I did uh, both a tweet, and when I started tonight, I talked about it for about five minutes. So go back to the very beginning of the stream tonight, and, you know, you'll see it. I know I'm gonna get Etika questions all night, so if anyone wants to just direct people to those things, that would be very helpful. Vinny, 150 millisecond input delay and drops to 15 frames a second at times on the Switch version. Yeah, that's not good. But, um, but yeah, that's bad frame rates, the Switch version. I'm playing the PC version, I'm very happy with it. Go to the base and talk to Dominique. Okay. I'll do that. Oh, right, I can't do this yet. Okay. Yeah, I'll go that. Um, back to the base. Yeah, the Switch version is unfortunate. There's, like, apparently no shadows. The lighting is very... basic. I mean, part of the reason this game actually does look better than it did is because they went back and overhauled the lighting. Um... So, yeah, I mean, it's portable. But... are you willing to take the sacrifice? Okay, I haven't done any of this yet. Um, the Vine Saw Sword is... I'll show you this one right here. Yep, it's cool. This will probably be every stream I do of this game. You'll have to see this. You'll have to suffer through this. By the way, I searched through my old um, correspondence with Iga's team, and apparently I wrote that. A sword of vines that utilizes an ancient corruption magic. I forgot that I had written that. Um... So... yeah. <laughs> Shit memory continues. Vinny, do you think you'll check out the Risk of Rain 2 update? Sometime in the next few days. Maybe not the next few days, but, uh, I would like to, sure, yeah. It could happen in the next few days. Let's- let's see. Let's see, because I still gotta uh, do my dream stream. And see what's going on in that game. I'd like to do more Pedro, and, uh, what was the other game I'm streaming at the moment? It was, um, Pedro and, um, oh, oh Mario Maker 2 and Crash. Crash Team Racing. Creates... A field of incinerating force. I've been told this is a good one. I'll go with this. Oh yeah, Half-Life 2. I'll wait for Half-Life 2 Episode 2. Maybe a week. Maybe I'll just finish the shit I'm doing now and then I'll do that. But, uh, soon. Vinny, have you ever thought about checking out Hollow Knight? Um, I'm new here, so I don't know if you have. It's good, I streamed it. Yeah, I'll be streaming Hornet's... ...game. Hornet thing, soon. Good game. White dot on top of the screen. What? Well, it was my mouse, I think. Okay. Speaking of mice, um... I got a cool mouse pad from Elizarin that's like a Chrono Trigger mouse pad. I really like it, but it's those one of those gooey ones. It's like a soft one. And I've been using the same mouse pad for like 10 years, which is just like a hard plastic one that I got when I got a Dell computer. Maybe longer than 10 years ago. No, 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 it's, it's not a, a titty pad. It's not- it's just a regular mouse pad, but it's like... Um... You know, you know what I mean. I just like this- this mouse pad that I've had for so long. Here you are. One photograph. Keep it as a memento. It looks exactly like me. How strange! Wait. Does it look like you? With- with a mask on? Equipment, um, where is that? Anyway, inventory... Fortune Tome... Oh, this is probably gonna come in handy later, okay. I have more strep wine. I'm looking forward to getting more strep throat from it. I mentioned it last night? Oh, well, let me go grab it, hang on. No, I'm- I'm looking forward to getting sick. It's gonna be great. Um, thank you, Sin City, for this. It's, a uh, Merlot. The previous one was a Cabernet. I don't know what that, any of that means, really. It's red, but I'm looking forward to trying it. It's gonna twist off! Doesn't really quite- there we go. Alright, let's give it a shot. Here's the review. Yep, that's wine. Twist off wine. Quality. It's almost like getting your wine from a box. I know a lot of people uh, enjoy wine, and, uh, I- I enjoy. I do, a little bit, here and there. I have, um, no palate for wine whatsoever. The so I cannot give you a review. What's- I- I have no- I don't have anything. ...things to compare the wines against, other than, like, 
Mountain Dew or Ecto Cooler. So compared to those things, it's very harsh. Dismantle duplicate equipment, please. Okay, well, let me actually kill some stuff first because I'm, uh, I feel like I want to play the video game a bit. Um, I have double jump now, so that opens up a lot. Um, go to the vampire? Oh, fake Alucard. Yeah, 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 okay, okay. Where's the, the dude who gives you haircuts? Where, where's the haircut dude? The cathedral? Just here? Oh, okay, good. Todd has mastered a new hairstyle. That name. That name. That name, Todd, always and forever. I conjure up the image of one man. One man's quest to ruin his franchises. One man's journey. One man's time. I kind of like this for now. I mean, I'll change up randomly just for fun. Like the best weapons for- oh god, right. Nyapon. Overkill? Nothing. Okay, I think I need a different shard. This one. And I have- <laughs> bunny- bunny morphosis is still happening. Um... Rigatoni! Anyone read any good Playboys lately? I only read Playboy for the articles. I don't even think, like, half the people here even know what Playboy is anymore, and that's not... That's Rigatoni. not me shaming you for not knowing about Playboy, it's just, why would you ever need to buy porn? No nudes in Playboy anymore? Oh. Oh, so they just do articles? That's weird. Yeah, years ago, I guess, like, you know, you, you think about Playboy, you think about people posing with their Bertsons out, and... And then, like, you know, I read an interview every now and then with, like, some famous musician that I like, and it's, um, it's like a Playboy interview. I'm like, wow, okay. I guess they did do articles. Playboy reviewed Splatoon? What, what did they give it? Everyone's saying two nuts, two nips. Uh, 6.9, 69 out of 100. Yep. Yeah, of course. Oh, that was a question that was destined for failure. Still haven't gone down this way, whatever this way is. A poor bat. Like, there's just so much to this castle. Um, yeah, so the, the, again, I got the Switch version. That was the one I ordered the physical version of. And, um... At this point, it's just a collector's thing. Like, I don't actually plan on playing it. I might. I mean, I might check it out at some point, if they ever, like, um, you know, fix it up. But, the, um, the slipcase is great, actually. It's really simple, really stark, it looks nice. So... At least there's that. And yeah, this area is bunk. Cannot go. Um, I hope, yeah, the responsiveness issues are fixed. Vinny, how do you catch a prostitute? You use a hornet. A hornet. Oh. So, as I was saying, the physical version is, is kind of nice looking. It's got a nice box. It's got a good slip case. I'm still waiting on the other stuff. That, that stuff hasn't gone out yet, right? All, like, the... bonus stuff. Also, there's already a mod for this that puts every painting in the game as Kramer. The Kramer painting. Um, Black Mesa Zen has... released, what, in beta? Or something? Where they showed footage of it? Like, wait a minute. So... They showed footage of it, but is it actually three maps? It's a teaser? Okay, okay, I gotcha. I thought it was the whole thing. The footage, though, the first- I saw the first minute and a half. I didn't want to spoil myself. But I did see a little bit of it, and it looks fucking amazing! How did they do that? They have engine license. Like, they can modify the engine, is what you're saying, right? I think we talked about that in a previous stream. The closed beta for the Monkey Ball clone came out today. It's really good. Um, yeah, they sent it to me. I was gonna check that out tonight, but I, I think I was more in the mood for relaxation as opposed to rage. I think I did enough rage yesterday. Um, I will check it out soon. The IGN gameplay was so bad it missed several fucking amazing details of Zen. That's fine. I mean, sucks, but I'm, I'm okay with it because I'm not watching it. I'm gonna wait for the full release before I play it. I'm not gonna spoil myself. 
And when it does come out, I will stream Black Mesa. In its entirety. I mean, first I gotta finish Half-Life 2. And then you'll get the prequel. So, when, um, the video footage of the panel is online, you'll get to hear an exclusive story. But, I'll just tell you for now, David Gilmore's guitar auction raised, what, 32 million dollars for charity? His Black Strat, like the one that he was famous for using, um, on the wall, Dark Side of the Moon, Animals, used it live. Basically, his most famous guitar is now the most expensive guitar sale of all time. Sold for 3.3 million dollars. I was actually, um, not too shocked by that one, but every one of the lesser guitars that he sold, like, probably, I think he sold about 120-something guitars, 130-something guitars. Even the ones that were, like, shitty and were never used on anything Pink Floyd, or just, like, newer, random, weirdo guitars that he didn't want anymore. Minimum, like, $40,000. Vinny, where do you keep 120 guitars? You keep it in the storage warehouse that the Pink Floyd money bought you. You keep it in your mansion that you got from making Pink Floyd music. But even he realized it was too much. He was like, yeah, I may have gone a little far in a few places, which is why he did the auction, and he did it for charity. And, um... I mean, it was nice. I actually did buy the Rock and Tours record. I found a record store on Staten Island, can you believe it? Holy fuck, I thought they were all gone. They got two of the Rock and Tour record in. The new one. Two of them. And I got the second one. I also got Station to Station, because I didn't own that one. I figure if I'm gonna own one Bowie record, it's gonna be Station to Station. Um, okay, so where am I going for Alucard? Vinny, did you find a record player? Not yet. Someone said record stores have now officially outlived video stores. Kinda. But the credentials must carry your photograph in order to be valid. My what? Ah, that's right. Your kind hasn't invented photography yet. Wait, vampires but... have? Um, speaking of records, the kerosene and what could go wrong records come with a download code. Except, people aren't getting the music because the, the music isn't there. So if you go to download the MP3s from the download code, and you haven't gotten it yet, um, be patient. I'm gonna get that fixed in a couple years. Vinny, get the book shard. It's way better than the sword. Where is the book shard? You have it? I've killed plenty of books in my day. Just left the chest. What? Hang on a minute. Shards. I thought I had, um... Familiar. Oh no, I don't. You missed a chest back there? Oh, I did. I guess while I'm here, I may as well get the book. Vinny, have you ever wanted to meet Robert Belgrade? I have. Briefly, but he was at too many games a couple years back. That was just a materials chest. So, okay, so I'd like to kill books. Still. Um, where am I going? Um, book. Book. Where is book? Is books here? Oh, here's books. These are the ones. I finally watched all of the Black Mirror Season 3. And yes, technology bad doesn't make show bad necessarily, but... I didn't love this season. It's, it's seen its better days. The Miley Cyrus one was, uh... Hey... <laughs> the best part of the Miley Cyrus one was the fact that they remixed Head Like a Hole by uh, Nine Inch Nails into a pop song, and Trent Reznor actually, like, I think he signed off on it, and he was like, yeah, sure. Like, he got it. It's a shame the episode wasn't better, but that was actually fucking hilarious. Um, okay. So yeah, so I guess it had a couple moments that I didn't- I didn't mind. Dantalian. Whoa. Book face. Did you see the Bob Lazar interview? I did. I did see Bob Lazar's interview. I've followed too much of that man's career. I say career, but mostly... ...just that documentary and just all the stuff that he did over the years. 
I have no idea if he's telling the truth or not, but boy, is that a compelling story. Someone said I can use the book as a weapon. I don't seem to have it. Dan Aykroyd's interview with last podcast. He meant the familiar- Oh, I see. Okay. The sword I can use as a weapon. Let's use that as a familiar. It's a buff. Alright, let's do it. Um, no, thank you for telling me about that, Dan Aykroyd, on last podcast. That sounds nutty. Delightfully nutty. I've never tried his vodka, no. You missed an important quest line where the bouncing chair was. You can access it now. Might be a little late for that. This kind of looks like Rev. A little bit. Not too much, a little bit. I, I mean, hi, Rev. Rev, what do you think? Percentage that this painting looks like you? He just said, kill me. Alright. Done. I'm gonna get some more of that wine. No, 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 you know, I'm fine. No strep throat yet. Winnie from Wine Sauce. Well, if I ever need to go into a new profession, I could be a wine taster, and I could just make shit up. Which sounds actually pretty much like what you have to do anyway, so I could make shit up. I'll just call it wine sauce. Yeah, it's perfect. I'll save, but remember, chat. Let me, um, let me be surprised by the game a bit, too. You know, if I ask for help, that's one thing. I don't mind a little bit of advice. I don't mind a little bit of, like, hey, Vinny, you missed an item. Accidental boom boob zoom in? I didn't do any of that. Wait, how do you zoom in? Oh. Boom. I think I just said boom. I've been made aware that something I said during a Metopia stream has taken a bit of a life of its own. Not too much, but it, it's apparently gotten very popular, which is the Snoop Dogg moment. Where I'm talking about how, how I made a reference to Snoop Dogg. And I called him Smoke Dog and Snope Dog. Um, and I called David. I said it, I called it David. So, it's just kind of funny to me. The things that become popular. I didn't come here to fight. Strange. Is this a ghost train? Oh man, can I suplex a ghost train, please? Well, what is the what is that? What was that? True story, the original um, name of the song, Ghost Page, was Ghost Train. When it was first written. That was the placeholder of it. Oh, that's that's a little wonky. I, I get it, but it's it's wonk. Wonk house. Um, it's also a gorilla song. No, Ghost Ship is the gorilla song. Ghost Train is, is a gorilla song? Oh, oh, Ghost Ship is a blur song. My bad. What album was Ghost Train on? Is it like a B-Sides? I got my Damon confused. That's... that's... wow. It's on uh, G-Sides? Oh, okay. Honbami. Oh, I'm accidentally zooming in on Robertson's again. I didn't mean to that... I swear. Um, this is... The nip a Nipponese halberd refashioned into a sword by the swordsmith Toshiro. Oh, it's faster. Looks cool. This game definitely has some jank, but I don't really mind it too much. Oh god, oh god. Hey! Bad. Very bad. Can I just let David Hayter kill this boss? Good enough. Hammer knuckle. Yeah. Thanks, David Hater. Colonel. Hey, do you think if Colonel Campbell cares about Snake, that would make him concernal? More wine. More wine. Camp Bell. Corn is concernal Camp Bell. I feel like there's a secret area. It's like there's so much space for activities in secret areas. Secret in train section, look for chair. There's more to do on train. Okay. 
There's a breakable wall to the right. Sure about that, dude? Okay, I'll try. One wall left. Yes! Correct. Nicely done, chat member. Jape prevention. You've been using the vine sauce chapstick, I see. Anti-jape gave out a lot of chapsticks, as well as hand sanitizers at this convention. Sorry, lip balm. It's not chapstick, it's lip balm. Someone said, lol, I've never heard of this game or seen anything, but honest to god, it looks like a really bad WiiWare game. Oh, this right here? I know, man, WiiWare looks just like this. I mean, it's one thing to say that the art art direction or the, the visuals aren't up to snuff, which I think they are. Sometimes they aren't other times. It's another thing to call it a bad WiiWare game. This game looks like an N64 game, bruh! Uh, she looks like a bad WiiWare game. Dominique, Some of the character graphics here? aren't so great. Yeah, someone said the art- the art style is inconsistent. That I agree with. It does feel like it was developed- like, there's so much to this game, there's so many different types of areas. And some of them feel... almost kind of like different games. But I guess for a game this big, it's- it's understandable. And the fact that it wasn't made by a triple-A studio also has something to do with that. And I believe there are a couple different developers on this as well. Or did WayForward only help out later on? WayForward stepped in to help last year. And I don't know if they actually ended up designing different areas or they just polished things. WayForward came in very late? Okay. Art play, Inti creates WayForward, Monobit, and, and Daiko. D-I-C-O. Dicko? I don't- I don't want to say Dicko. How do you say that? So yeah, if it has that many different developers, then uh, I kind of... Yeah, that makes sense why this, the art style would be all over the place. It's also very possible that, um, this is... As this is happening, Castlevania is rising again somewhere on the other side of the world. Bro! Oh, that's awful. Come on. Yes! Big hit. It's like when you get that final hit with the greatsword in Monster Hunter after a big charge. Reflector ray. Travel along a ray of light. You can reflect off walls to reach new areas. You can become Madonna. Do you believe? Oh wait, no, it's not Madonna. No, Madonna has the Ray of Light song, that's why I said that. <laughs> Fuck! Yes! Well, looks like we got our very own Nova Skeleton moment. Mother... God damn it. It's gonna go fast. I gotta got I'm gonna get this. God damn it. It's too busy thinking about Sharon Madonna. Just remember, if you have a bad moment when during your stream when you're playing video games, just blame Cher and Madonna. You won't even see me. This guy's got like a goblin-esque voice, I like it. Even better that time. Mega awesome! As a musician, shouldn't you be blaming Yoko Ono? You know... Just watched a video today about that very topic. There's a YouTuber called The Holly Hobbs who does a lot of videos about classic rock, and specifically Beeple. And the video was, why did the Beatles break up? It was like 25 minutes or so. And, you know, the starting point is always, oh, it was definitely Yoko. Not really. I mean, according to the video, and I've, you know, read all this before in the anthology book, and I've seen it in documentaries, and... When they stopped touring, their motivation started to lessen, and then... There was a lawyer that got involved, uh, much later on, like a music lawyer. It was 
really bad. Um, Yoko was only one part of the equation. Then Paul started taking over musically. George was finding less and less things to be excited about in the studio. And Ringo... Well, Ringo was there. Actually, Ringo quit the Beatles for three weeks, I think. Because the, there was like a lot of negativity in the studio. And he felt unwanted. And he was like, yeah, baby, John. And then he quit. And they sent him a letter while he was away. They said, you're the best drummer in the world, Ringo. Come back home. And they left flowers on his drum kit for when he got back. And then he came back. I mean, they all ended up being, you know, friends later on in life. So the band broke up, and that was probably just too much fucking stress for them. On top of a million other things. And just them growing Riga apart. Doing. Doing. It didn't help that Yoko Riga was doing. telling John how to do his vocals. And the other Beatles were like, what the fuck is this? This poor dog, he was sleeping. It ain't, ain't it deserved that. I had a kind of a sad moment today, actually. I wasn't gonna mention this on stream, but I, um... I'm gonna... I'm gonna do the sad moment. I'm gonna tell you about it. I was, um, cleaning and doing a bunch of stuff and, and, you know, going through all the stuff that people gave me and reorganizing some stuff. Like, I have a bunch of tea people gave me, so I needed a place in my cabinets to put the tea. And so I'm going through my cabinets and, of course, there's penis pasta. It's expired. But I'm not getting rid of the penis pasta. Um, and I clean out some, like, old jelly <laughs> that was expired. And then I found several wee-wee pads from, you know, from Molly. That was very sad. I didn't, I didn't like that. I was like, oh, that's, yeah. From, like, s seven years ago, maybe? Six years ago? Yeah, I don't think, I don't think I'd like to get another pet anytime soon. Sorry to bring the mood down. Oh good, let me- oh good. Let me just do exactly that. That sounds like a good idea. OD has something for- what's OD's full name again? Old Lucard. Obladi. Oh. Doug. Alright. So I got the fortune tome. Um, any other good tomes? This is always a good one. This is a library, not a bookshop. I'm happy they got Robbie Belgrade to do some voice acting. He's got this wonderful, deep baritone. I think he's... He could be utilized a bit better. I mean... I don't know if this is gonna be a hot take opinion, but I'm gonna say it anyway. The voice acting in Symphony of the Night... ...was not its main draw. Even Robbie Belgrade's performance. Someone said it's bad, but it's iconic. Okay, just just so we're all on the same page here. As much as I like Robbie Belgrade's performance, it, it's not <laughs> an award-winning performance. Oh, I see, okay. Mother of fuck! Someone said uh, Star Fox 64 will always be the king of campy 90s voice acting. It's up there. My Emperor! I've failed you! I still can't believe that there's a line. Daddy squealed real good when he died! What the fuck is that? How would they do that in a Nintendo game at that time? That's such a dark line. Pigma Dengar is a terrible, terrible, terrible person. And I'd be really okay with eating his bacon. Yeah, Vinny. It's me, Zangetsu. I hear you like eating hogs. Yeah. Vinny. Vinny, am I crazy or did I see you at Target the other day? Hang on, I need to click on their name. Tell me, uh, where are you from? Which Target? Manhattan? No. You didn't see me there. I was at Target today. But not that one. Freaked me out a bit, because I was like, wait. The other day? No, maybe they mean today. Maybe they saw me and they were, like, stalking me through the aisles. Vinny, if we do see you in public, is it okay to talk to you? Um... Yeah, I think it's okay. 
I, someone um, saw me at a restaurant several months ago, and they waited for me to finish eating before they came over to say hi. That was really nice. That was really, really appreciated. They were really... I liked meeting them, and they didn't, like, come up to me while I had, like, um, a hoglet in my mouth. Um, okay, so something weird's going on here. You can pick up the bookshelf with craft work for the button. Okay. Oh, right, okay. Good. We're good. We're good. Uh-oh. That was weird. I got stuck in the doorway. I think the game thought I was in, like, some kind of weird state of motion that I wasn't. So, who here is going to watch the Avengers Endgame with its new DLC? People are debating on whether or not it's, it's okay for them to do that. So they can beat, um, Avatar as the most profitable movie of all time. Okay, so, for people wondering what's going on, they're- they're doing a re-release of the movie in theaters, but they're adding one extra scene that was deleted. Someone said, sure, Disney could use the money. Help them out. I had someone today at, um, at a store, where was- it was like, by... Where the fuck was it? It was actually just some deli, I think. And he wanted me to hire him. He's like, do you need any work? I was like, no, I don't- I don't need any work. He's like, okay. He's like, alright. No, it wasn't Target. Not, no, it wasn't Target. It was at a deli. I should have hired him to do some streaming. You know how to stream? Oh, yeah, man. I've been doing that for ten years. My controller is throbbing. I, I assume because it's supposed to, like, emulate pain. Of, of Miriam having taken so much damage. Okay. I am very bad at this boss. <laughs> One damage. Change familiar. Um, no, I'm familiar with this one. All right, I'll try a different one. Um, inventory, shards... I'm not funny. Like, I don't know why people come to my panels and stuff at conventions. I'm not funny. Stop this. Stop perpetuating falsehoods about me being funny. Because then I say stuff like I'm not familiar with the familiar and then, come on. Not bad. Not a bad fight. Some good hog work. <laughs> Wait a minute. Apparently, you're supposed to get a shard for that? Don't worry about the shard, you will fight it again later. Okay. That's just a regular-ass enemy, huh? So, chat, how do you like your coffee? We're gonna be here a while- oh, never mind. Extra cream, some sugar, nothing. Alright, the reason I ask is because I now have a new coffee maker. My old Mr. Coffee was getting grungy. And even though I had cleaned it several times, it was still like a little grungy and weird. And I saw one today at Target for 20 bucks. And it was a small one. And it, it's good. It's, it's smaller than the previous one I had. But it's really only me that needs the coffee. So why would I need to, like, have a giant Mr. Coffee coffee maker coffee machine, right? It's got a timer. Previous one didn't have a timer, so now I can wake up to the smell of coffee. Mithril. I think Tolkien invented the word mithril, or am I incorrect? No, RuneScape did. Oh! Oh, gotcha. Mithril is Sindarin, apparently. So, it's an elvish word. Sindarin elvish. Right? So Damascus, though, that's not a Tolkien invention. Unless Tolkien just invented everything. 
Damascus is a, sti a city. No, 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 <laughs> Damascus steel. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just being jerk. In my mind, Damascus was associated with Alexander the Great. Am I correct or am I incorrect? I don't remember a lot of my history. It was founded a thousand years before him. Oh boy, my history is off. Damascus steel is real steel. It's when it has that funky pattern. Oh, so it's like Valerian steel. Which, um, is something that George R. R. Martin wrote. Who, as we know, was invented by Tolkien. The original way to make Damascus steel has been lost for centuries, but we have a new way of doing Damascus steel, right? Like, we can still do it, but it, we just have to do it in a different way? I, is that what's going on there? But it's not quite the same. It's similar, but not quite the same. Interesting, thank you. See, we get a history lesson tonight. Who says video games rot your brain? Yeah. Go! Flying hog versus demon, who wins? This is a glitch that needs to be fixed. This has happened to me several times. Someone just said, is this a bootleg Castlevania? It is. Made by the creator of Castlevania. Well, not the creator of Castlevania, but... The creator of Castlevania Troid... Metroid... Vanias. Of Symphony of the Night. But yes, it's an official bootleg. It's as good as you're gonna get, and I like it quite a bit. And I think if this is just the first game in the series... Well, Curse of the Moon was also really good. But if this is the first official in this type of game... I am down for this series to continue. And I hope it gets even better. Because this is a really, really fucking good start. Whoa, horse! It's the horse from Kid Icarus! Flocks! Celeste's key, Gram. I, I had Gram in Castlevania. Iga! There he is! What the fuck is this?! No way. No fucking way. Konami needs to hire this man. 8-bit skull, eh? Nice. 8-bit fireball. Should I go back and save? Apparently this is, like, kind of a nightmare. Coming up. You can't? Oh, okay, never mind, then I guess I'll just die. Uh, I will eat meat and potion. Let, let's see, do I have enough food? I have sponge cake. I have pizza! I'll be real careful with my HP. I say as I take damage. Vinny, this is actually Bloodstained Curse of the Moon. Well, I played Curse of the Moon, I don't remember this area from it. Is this- was this actually in Curse of the Moon? Or is this just a bootleg Castlevania 1? Yeah, I think th this is just inspired by Castlevania 1. It's just Iga being... ...sassy. Did Iga ever say why he had to leave Konami? Was it his choice? Was it Konami's choice? Was Konami just that much of a dumpster fire that he left on his own? His ideas were being banned by Konami? What? Konami destroys their employees. I mean, that's definitely something I've read about. There were some articles about that. Ego wanted to make more Metroidvanias, but Konami said no one cared about the genre anymore. Oh, that's cool. Thanks, Konami. Oh. Oh, this is fine. Oh, okay, we're doing that much damage. Oh, God. Vinny, this guy is harder than the final boss. Cannot use Waystone. This is going to take forever! Oh man, I was totally unprepared for this. Um... Okay, yeah, no, we're- I don't think this is gonna happen. Damn. Cool as hell, but uh, I'm gonna have to come back here way later on. That was just too goddamn much. I'll tell you what, I'm going to stop in a second and switch. I switch games, but I'm gonna just go back to that secret area real quick. 
At least I kind of saved near it. Oh, God. Go up the stairs before you wrap it up? Okay, sure. Why not? I'm enjoying this. Look at Ego with his shit post face. He's got the shit-eating grin. He knows what he's doing. Putting that boss in there, of all places. He knows how many people are gonna die to that fucking boss. Hell Horse Hoof. Vinny the horse drops a good weapon. Craft more food. The staff buffs are invaluable. Next time I play this, remind me I will craft more food. Increased damage from shoes. This horse does not. Okay, then I won't attempt to get horse weapons that don't exist. I just can't believe that people don't want to play this genre anymore. I mean, really, who who, uh, who even played Hollow Knight? No one. No one likes this genre anymore. Konami knows best. That's why we're getting Contra Crust Core coming soon. To an N64 near you. I can't take her seriously with the glasses on. Next time. Oh shit. Press the button by accident. But uh, anyway, Iga has this thing about sitting in chairs. You're facing the wrong way. <laughs> Alright, game over. We'll put this game to bed now. Never have to play it again. Okay, I need... I need four... Over? Um, Cockatrice plumes. I need to wear the sunglasses. I need to press up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA, start. And then I need to also collect the seven mystical scrolls of the Coxsoom. And then I get the true ending. What would you have us do? It's out of our hands now. Perhaps, but... What just happened? Was that really just the bad ending? I didn't like skip a scene, right? You have boss rush now? Oh, Alright, well I unlocked something for that nonsense. That was fun. I mean, I'm only halfway through the map. Less than halfway through the map. So yeah, there's there's gotta be a way to save Gerbil's soul. Gotta get him out of Richard Gear. Gotta get him out of there. I will, I will, I will. But not now. Alright, um, good, good game. Still enjoying this. It's the best Metroidvania I've played since Dawn of Sorrow, or Portrait of Ruin, or Order of Ecclesia. And I like a lot of other things that they've done since then. Different games, like Hollow Knight, is, is obviously one of my favorites. I love it. But I still like these a little bit more for some reason. I don't really know why. Hollow Knight is great, but maybe it's nostalgia, maybe it's the, um, the Ega touch. These types of games just, I don't know, they're just great. I enjoy them. So we're going to take a quick break, and I will be back with Minecraft. Can't believe I'm actually saying that non-ironically these days, but I'm very okay with that. Well, my micro SD card now has 127 gigs free. I'll tell you all about it. Vinny, did you fix your resolution issue? Nope! I have more adventures in resolution. I I'll tell you about it. I'll tell you about it. Vinny, did you lose all your save data? No. No, um... Anyway, welcome to the stream. This is... This is Bloodstained again. Um... You know, gonna continue this and then do some dreams. Mario Maker 2 will be tomorrow. Early. 
And someone said, where's Half-Life 2 Episode 2? Patience, my friend. Patience. I have not listened to Tom York's new album yet, for those asking. Um, and I'm wondering which song I should play during the BRB from it. Play ch track one? What? <laughs> What's the most inaccessible song on the album? That's the one I want to play. Take a look at Dungeon of the Dragon Knight. It's like Rimrock. Can you remind me about that? Someone said, imagine not taking advantage of being an early streamer of Super Mario Maker 2. Good. I, normally I would, but I, I don't... I want to get it physically. I mean, I'm really looking forward to it. It's, it's just a, a game I, I'm going to play, you know, tomorrow. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. What have I done? Wrong way. Okay, nope. This is not what I want to do. Sorry, Jeeble. <laughs> Enough talk. Fight! Die, monster! We'll do this again. Um, I, I gotta figure out... If any Twitch still says... CTR? I don't think it does. So yeah, I got a bunch of stuff to talk about. Um... Played Dragon Quest Builders 2 demo. Very good game. Very good game. Um, some frame rate issues when you get to the highest mountain and you look around and see everything. But... Got any targets for me? Yeah. Otherwise, it's great. Here's I had almost... I, I think it was a fantastic work. game. Yeah, the Switch version I played. Vinny Mario Maker 2 stream. Not even a question, just saying Vinny Mario Maker 2 stream. MM mm 2 -hmm. stream, please? Vinny, I've been asked, I've been asking this a lot, but by any chance, any chance of Banjo Tooie any anytime soon? And I've answered that a lot, and um, I I get like heartburn when I think about Banjo Tooie. Um, so that's my answer, kind of. I thought that said breast milk. Oh God, it says beast milk. At, at some point, I'd like to play Banjo Tooie. I just I, I know that it's gonna piss me off. I know it's a huge fucking game. Um, and I know that when I played it back in the day, I had, uh, some issues with it, but I- I will- I will absolutely- I will absolutely get into it when the time is right. I'll go with this. Oh, I can upgrade double jump. Feed the granny? You want me to feed granny? Okay. I can't really- I don't have a lot of ingredients. Oh, then I'd better keep my distance. That you should. She, I can't take her serious. I, I cannot take her serious. Um, see if you can craft high jump. Doesn't look like it. No. Promise you'll stop. What? Why? Why can't I take her serious? It's the um, the the glasses. Craft, not enhance. Oh. Hi. What are we My bad. Craft. I can um make. Uh, let's see. What can I make? No. It's over here. I need, um, bovine plume. Vinny, thoughts on bruh backwards being herb? You're a herb, bro. That was- I was, like, you know, thinking about growing up recently and how we used to call each other herbs. If you weren't cool, you were a herb. Sick joke, right? Did you well, um, so, so she wants, um, spaghetti? Well, oh, fries. She wants french fries. Hmm. I can't get that for you yet. I don't have that. That means even the slightest wound in her presence would put me in danger. She won't be easy to defeat. You had best go in prepared. Uh-oh. What are you looking to buy? I am looking to buy, um, food, right? She's got all these new weapons, too, like this one right here. There's an ice sword. Oh god, that's expensive. That's really expensive. I'll just continue to find weapons, I think. Red bean. Okay, I need to make, um, french fries, right? So, so, fries. How do I make fries? You got any potat? Potato? No? <laughs> no? I'm looking, I don't see the potatoes. I- I see egg. Is this rock? Thank you. Egg! I see flour. Plant them with potato seeds. I gotta find potato seeds then. I'm just gonna buy a bunch of different ingredients so I can I can continue making cool stuff at some point. 
Right now, I can't make very much cool stuff. Vinny, you can buy seeds here. Oh, potato seeds. <laughs> My favorite uh, voice at the moment is doing, saying the word potato as um, Scarface, and I hate it. I absolutely hate myself and it, but I can't fucking stop it throughout the day. And like, I even do like a shoulder gesticulation while I'm, while I'm doing that. I got uh, some new stuff. I got this, this weird ring. What's this ring? Ring that makes enemies more likely to drop gold. Hmm. So, I get a bunch of things from her as well. Go back to the boat to get the item drop ring. You know, I've been meaning to go back to that boat. I may as well. What, do you, what does she need exactly? Uh, bat wings? Okay, bat wings. Bat... wings. Um... I don't appear to have bat wings at the moment. You can craft those. It's, it's a scarf? Okay. I'll get her to the scarf. Who, why did they have to, like, have the sword have the most annoying voice? Like, the sword is the coolest familiar, and yet... Wow, it rained very quickly. I know we've established this in a previous stream, but... I can't get over the fact that it rained so quickly. So I upgraded double jump, which means it I jump a little higher now, because I'm not really noticing it. It gives you a bit of iframes. Iframes when you do jump. And I guess it's always a nice bonus to go back to... ...this... ...and get, uh, treasure chests that have respawned. So yeah, they need to fix that. Speaking of fixing that, once again... ...keep in mind... ...the Switch version of this game is apparently very rough, currently. So, if you're gonna get a version of this game... Maybe wait a little bit. Plunderer's ring. That's what I want. I don't think the Switch version's ever gonna be fully, like, on par with the PC version or the console versions. But if they can just fix some of the input delay and the visual crusts, you might be able to, like, kind of get something out of it. But at the moment, I would recommend the PC version. PC version's good. I haven't had too many issues with it. Um, but at least they said they're gonna work hard on it. So I give them credit. They had, like, this press release where they're like, Hey, the Switch version's a little crusty. We know it's crusty. We're gonna work on it. We're gonna spend our time on it now. So I, I have faith in Iga. He was able to deliver a very good game. And uh, I hope that that trend can continue. <clears throat> and, and the updates that are planned for this game seem numerous and and very interesting. There's a randomized mode on the way. I mean, there's so many things that, that um, are happening in this game because it reached all of the stretch goals. But I still, again, you know, that's... The game was delayed a year and it still needed more time, especially the Switch version. So I'm not really okay with them putting out a version that was subpar. They should have held off on that a little bit longer. But, so far I haven't had any major complaints with this one. He's good! Vinny, be careful, the new FFMMO expansion is hitting tomorrow at 1pm. Wait, you- why- be careful? Well, like, it's gonna steal my viewers? I don't mind. Watch out, motherfucker! Cloud's coming for you! Download speeds? Oh, Twitch might get throttled. Oh, I see, I see what you mean. It- well... Okay. If everyone's streaming the Final Fantasy expansion... I don't know if- is that gonna be enough to take down Twitch's... ...servers? You can reach that chest easily with double jump and the technique for Kung Fu Boot. Boot! Thank you for killing- thank you, sword. Thank you! I needed that. It's spelled B-H-U-T. With an umlaut, by the way. Oh, fuck. Oh, God, I didn't even see that. I missed it the first time, too. Oh. Well, that would have made life a lot easier. Culverin. It's probably shit by now, right? It's actually the best one I have, currently. Are there techniques for guns? Only one? 
Just, uh, the rapid fire. What, what was the rapid fire tech again? Take this! Take this! Quarter circle? This gun does not appear to have that ability. I kind of, like, you know, early on, one of the complaints was, Vinny, don't the voices annoy you? Of, like, you know, the character screaming every time she attacks. And there are so many video games that have that exact thing. But the truth is, it, it does get annoying. It absolutely does. Especially, like, when you're shooting a gun, and you're like, take this. Vinny, whoever told you you need that ring was lying. Or you can get that ring now was lying. You need to, um, high jump. I've been told. You can't get the chest here, you can't get the plunderer's ring. I have the plunderer's ring. You can try to reach it by bouncing on enemies. Um... I tried that. Someone said you, you can get that ring with reflector and double jump. Let's see. I don't know if that's how reflector works. Reflector doesn't work in air. Well, what if you do, do this... ...and then you jump? Nope. No, they fixed against that. They fixed that. I need to flutter jump. I need to become Yoshi before I can actually get up there. Now, if you speed that up, 15, 20%, it'll sound exactly like Yoshi. And if you slow it down, you sound like the sword. I suppose so. Yes, that's right. Have you... Here's what so, I, I've been watching a little bit more of the Fifth Element. Good work. And, uh, boy... <laughs> ...does Gary Oldman ham it up as a Zork. That, um, that movie is just a, a classic... Late tonight. ...in insanity. Transmuting this time? I got to... what part am I up to? I, again, I grew up watching the movie, so it's not new to me, but... I got up to the... where they arrive in Floston Paradise for the opera scene. And that, like, bad shit song starts playing. But, uh, yeah, I, I love I love when Zorg is talking to the evil shadow thing, Mr. Shadow, and uh, he starts bleeding like oil from his head. And he's like, well, 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 uh, Zorg. What can I, what can I do for you, Mr. Shadow? It's like the acting is just on, on the next level of life. Jibo and I got into a fight over some stupid thing. And I shouted, How long are you going to pretend you're human? We're monsters now. Uh. But I'll never forget what he said to me. If we ask for the demon's power, then we're monsters. But if people force us to take it, then our power doesn't make us good or bad. Our choices do. It just makes us shitheads. I, I almost didn't feel like a person the ability to choose. at this past convention I went to. But when I got back home, and I went into um, a supermarket, and nobody stopped me... Not that I mind being stopped, but at too many games, it's just every, like, you know, 30 seconds or so. I was like, oh, I feel human again. It was nice. Someone said, imagine being really famous. Like, real-life famous? Oh my fucking god. I mean, look, I've always joked about the Z-lister thing, but when I'm at a convention, you know, it, it can get pretty intense. I wonder what, like, kind of meditation regimen Tom Hanks has. That's gotta be... That's gotta be very interesting. Surumaru! Vinny, Dragon Quest II uh, Builders 2 is laggy on Switch. PS4, 60 FPS with occasional dips. Yeah, I, I know. I played the demo of Dragon Quest Builders 2. I'm gonna talk about it. Staying up late um, I might so, still get the Switch version because of the portability. It ran really well until I got to the top of the mountain. Um... Let's see. It's, it's, let's see, it, I mean... If it's fast... It's very fast. It's like when you go into Magus's castle, it's like you have to fight all 100 enemies in Magus's castle. I was like, really? 100? That'll take forever. Forward, forward, back forward for katana technique. <laughs> Thank you. Vinny, random question, but is Chrono Cross worth playing? I think it is. 
I think it is. I, I think it's it's gonna be up to you entirely. I have but something. I like it. Maybe watch some of my streams of it, and then determine for yourself. Just to plug my streams. What are you looking to buy? But um, I think it's a good game. Just is has its right issues, you? but it's it's worth. I love it. I mean, I I have so many good memories of um, Chrono right Cross. And it, it is a game that that's the music makes me happy, and the um, the characters are pretty shallow. But when there's good ones, there's some real good ones. Thank you. I'll just don't expect Chrono Trigger too. Okay, so let's see. Um, so Dragon Quest Builders Two, I think, is a fantastic game. Wait, I need corn chowder, but I need bread for that. Let's see. A bread. Wet bread. How do I make wet bread? Bread. I need butter. Okay, well, how do I get butter? Butter. I'll go with this. DMC I like the way the game plays. I like uh, Dragon Quest Builders 2, I'm talking about. I like the, um... I like the like the, the the style of the game. It doesn't look amazing, but it looks pretty good. And the building is good. Going into first person mode is excellent for building. I like the skeleton lads. Um, I haven't played the first one, but I, I think I can see myself having a lot of fun with it. Really rewarding um, gameplay so far that I've seen in the demo. And uh, yeah, you can just like you can build. You can do anything. Someone says it takes a pretty high IQ to understand Vinny humor. Yeah, like somewhere around room temperature. Ha! 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 Oh, Jesus Christ. Sometimes I lose control of my voice. And what was supposed to sound like Miriam swinging the sword ended up sounding like that. Bring it? Oh, it's delicious. Oh, her mouth freaks me out. An apron was originally called a napron, N-A-P-R-O-N, but it was changed to apron. An apron. Baked dish. Covered in white sauce and has a crispy bottom. That, what is that? Um, welcome to Bloodstained, where I just buy bread and cook food and do no killing. You can buy all the food you just made, that's cool. I guess we did get another Cooking Simulator stream. And if you're wondering why I didn't do part two of Cooking Simulator stream, uh, I'm just waiting for an update. Like, a couple good ones, maybe. So it's, um, macaroni gratin. I need, um, white sauce and pasta. So let's see if I can make this. White sauce and pasta. There's white sauce. I need beast milk. I guess I gotta find the beast milk. So that's not gonna happen for a bit. Pasta I can make. I know, I thought it said a different kind of milk myself, chat. I, I too thought it said something else. It's, um, it's the flying cow in the garden? Now, I need another cow-related thing. Does that cow also drop that? No. Okay. Um, well, I also just got this apron here, which I... ...don't need right now. The bovine plume is much later in the game. Okay. Another thing I like about about Dragon Quest Builders is the uh, the blueprint system, where it tells you what to build and how to build it, and then you can you know just build your own shit. But you it gives you like a starting point. That's kind of cool. Um, yeah, it's got it. This is a lot of motherfucking dialogue in that game. Um, Red Letter Media hit a million subs. I'm very proud of them. I like their reaction video to hitting a million subs, where they just kind of, like, walk away. I'm like, yep, yeah, that's kind of how I feel about it. Vinny, is your day job secretly at Red Letter Media? I, I work behind the scenes. I, um... I write their Star Trek references. Again, I'm still, like, fucking shocked that it took them this long to reach a million. If any channel deserves a million, or, like, way earlier than them, or way earlier than they did, it's them. 
I remember there was a time where I had more subs than them, and I, I, I thought that was a crime. I could write that into a lyric. There was a time, but it was a crime, when I had more subs... ...than the bubs. Uh, I don't know. This game scratches every itch... ...for this type of game. And even, you know, a couple extra ones I didn't know I even had. Which is why I know it's like a, a long game, I know there's a lot of stuff in it... ...but the fact that there's so much DLC... ...most of it free, right? If, if not all of it... Vinny, did you see that the Pokémon mobile game... ...there is a Pokémon mobile game that has more effort put into it than the real game? I'm sure that's gonna be a cool opinion in chat. People are gonna love that. I don't even hear about it. Is it, is it an officially sanctioned Pokémon game, or is it just some, like... ...landlubbers that made their own Pokémon game? Pokémon Masters? What the fuck is going on with Pokémon lately? There's so much of it! Oh, here's the bull. It's Pokemon Gacha for trainer waifus. Um... Well, it's a very concise description of it. Thanks. Beast Milk. No. Monster Horn. What is this, Monster Hunter? Um, there's some kind of blockage up there anyway. Chad, you know how to get that green chest up there? Can't get it now? Oh, okay. I thought it was just maybe like something I wasn't doing properly. Got it. Should I like stock up on that maybe? Maybe get an extra one just in case? Yes, it's used a lot. Okay. Oh, that's good. Alchemic Bounty. Alchemic Bounty. Occasionally, the number of items obtained from crafting increases. Ooh, there. The room to the right of the save room has one. Okay. Hang on, I gotta turn off my, uh, my air conditioner. I'm gonna drink some strep wine. Anyone want? It's a merlet. That is actually, genuinely, a tasty... ...tasty wine. I I'm not a big fan of the taste of alcohol by any means. But this stuff is, is kinda delicious. Hayes Ranch, that's the name of it. That's good stuff, thank you. <laughs> Here's a piece of trivia, does anyone know what game I was in the middle of streaming before I got the, uh, strep throat? MGS2, that's right. Well, Dead Cells as well, yeah, I was doing Dead Cells. But I was, uh, the long-form game I was playing was MGS2. Which is a better game... Then another game that has three letters and a two after it. Vinny, you have the milk. Stop killing the bull. No! Yeah, I got it. I got the thing I wanted, which was actually that. I wanted to upgrade that. Ah! Oh, God. Oh, that is terrible. I'm so sorry. I gotta, like, up the power of my limiter. I will use the alchemic bounty when I craft. Does Vine Sauce actually enjoy the taste of this new wine, or is Vine Sauce pretending to be a critic again? Are you talking to me or the chat? Um... I actually genuinely like this wine. I think it's good. I'm not... yeah, I mean, in terms of wine critic, you know, I have years and years of experience drinking Kool-Aid. So, of course, I'd be... equally as well equipped to handle wine tasting. Um, yeah, I have no idea what the differences are from between most wines. I couldn't... I really couldn't tell you. I think Penn and Teller did some bit about wine tasting on their bullshit show years ago, and that's like... ...kind of where I'm at when I go into, um... ...that sort of thing. Where I just don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I just know... I know one is white, one is red. Oh, they did water tasting, right? Okay, yeah, like, they did, like, Mount Fiji water, it was just tap water. Some, like, lunatic in the back of the fucking store with a hose. I remember that now. But, uh, yeah, I definitely enjoyed this... I definitely enjoyed this wine. It tastes like it would go well with some kind of food. Which food? I don't know. Cheese? And meat? You know what it would go with? A rustic... Um... Meatloaf. <laughs> no, it would go, uh, what would it go well with? Like, salami? Any kind of cured meat, plus like a, a sharp kind of cheese. Like a sharp 
Provolone. What is this? What was that? Wait, what was that, chat? Just wait? Okay. I thought that was the secret. I thought that was the thing. I was like, oh, is that Dracula's castle? Alice. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 what the hell? The fuck? <laughs> oh, shit! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. What the fuck did you do to me, chat? What is this? Wow, okay, this is okay. This dude's got a lot of HP. What the fuck, man? Oh, I got a shard. Resist curses. Increases your resistance to curses. Huh. On the first try? Is that really that hard of a shard to get? Wow, I got really lucky. Heal and save. I will just... I will save. Um, did I get everything I need here, or are there are more secrets? Also, there's no Nova skeletons in this game, right? Just checking. Yeah, I love the amount of secrets that are in this game. All the little weird things like that. I mean, that was one of my, um... My favorite parts of Arya and Dawn of Sorrow, too. All the weird little mysteries that Ego put in the game. Like Bigfoot. Chat, what, what's, um... Was... Bigfoot's dick, what is that? Was that a thing? Bigfoot's dick? Is that from a movie or something? That's from Anchorman. Oh, okay, thank you. So that was the thing I didn't just make up. I'm not that much of a lunatic. Good. Good to know. You missed it in the library, but the chair mimic drops a shard. The best shard in the game. Kappa face. Kappa face. Jape face. Oh, I believe you. Totally. Yeah, that sounds legit, dude. Do you remember that Ant-Man was in Anchorman? He was, yes. Ant-Man is going to be in new Ghostbusters, because that's something that we're still trying to do, aren't we? Listen, I like Paul Rudd. I'll watch him in anything. I, I like... I just think he's great. But, um... Yeah, I don't know, man. Ghostbusters 2 wasn't even that good. I feel like they struck gold with Ghostbusters 1, and then Ghostbusters 2 was like, you know, it's... It's like kind of just a decent sequel. It wasn't like... Uh, some people love that movie. I loved it when I was growing up. In fact, most of my memories of Ghostbusters are of Ghostbusters 2. From when I was a kid, because that's the one that came out. I remember seeing that in the theater when I was young. Um, the first one was, I think, 82. I was not born yet. So I love Ghostbusters, but Ghostbusters 2 was my, you know, the one I remember. Years later, I watched Ghostbusters um, 1 and 2. Number 1, I loved. And I thought it held up great. It was really smart, witty. And number 2 was fun. It wasn't a terrible movie, it had some good moments for sure, but it was also, um, it felt more designed to sell toys. Vinny, as a New Yorker, I thought you'd find offense with the movie's core conceit of New Yorkers are really mean, you guys. We, well, we, I mean, we're not, but we also kind of are. I mean, I got no time for nonsense. Whoa, what's all the commotion? I got no time for commotion. I do walk really fast. That's my most stereotypical New York thing, aside from the fact that I like pizza, I guess. But, um... And yeah, I mean, you know, if someone is slow in the city, they're walking slow, they're driving slow, or someone says something dumb, you know, then yeah, I'm a New Yorker when it comes to that stuff. I love delis and bodegas. I don't think I'm, um, a mean person. I don't think I am, at least. Oh god, am I? Hope not. Um, but I definitely understand why New Yorkers can be. You know, living in the city also can, can sometimes suck. And, uh, you know, it smells like trash and it's piss. It's real hot. 
And there's a lot of people. I mean, when you're surrounded by 8 million people... Vinny, secret on the far left? Oh, at this oh. here? Or is that bullshit? I wonder what this mimic has for me. It has a grotesque shell. Yeah, this feels like japes. Yeah, that's- that is a very good ability- OH GOD! You already got the shard from the mimic? Okay. Maybe try pickpocketing the mim- um, I think it's a passive ability. Pickpocketing. Okay, that- yep, that's not too- what? Cool weapon! Why did it just make me go through the cat? Cat hurts. Cat ears. And... Toxic Storm, whip up a poisonous whirlwind in front of you. What? Well, it's cute, not much else. The defense is way less. Intelligence is up a bit. Vinny, I can confirm building Mario Maker in docked mode is painful. Hopefully you can live with it. May have to design levels off stream. I've heard mixed things about that. I've heard some people say that they're okay with the controller designing. You get used to it. I mean, it's not going to be as good. The Wii U version, that's always, for me, going to be the main advantage. The fact that I could stream and make levels at the same time. Um, but I do have a stylus. Which I can use in portable mode. Docked mode is just going to be a lot harder. It's going to be a lot slower. But I'm still looking forward to it. Most of my Mario Maker streams are going to be me playing the Marios instead of making the Marios. Vinny, what's a Wii U? Ah, oh, my sweet summer child. Let me- allow me to tell you. The Wii U was a poor, misguided idea that had some good games on it that are now mostly all on the Switch. I wonder what the used Wii U market is going to be like in a couple years. So, I need white sauce. Which is really good on- on, um, gyros. And, like, chicken over rice. If you're ever in the city and you find a good chicken and rice truck, which, I know that's a very vague statement. But, good chicken and rice, a little red sauce, a little white sauce. Holy fuck. I'll go with this. Oh, I forgot to equip the thing. Ah. Oh. Dan and Dave are going to New York Comic Con. Yes, they are. That's gonna be fun. They're going to have an audience of paid question askers. Don't mention Game of Thrones! It's gonna be like an episode of Faulty Towers. Is there anything? How, how am I doing that? Daggers. Um, surprise. Pearl and maneuver behind enemies attack their blind side. Teleports behind you. Okay, so now I have to figure out how to make cookies. Cookies. I need butter. Those are my cookies. Jamie, please. I have something. Please, I need you what to get to give buy? me. I need you to give me the cookies, Jamie. Is this Please. Right? Let me have a deal. Okay, I'll, I'll put the shard on this time. Vin, you're scaring me though. Then you must have missed my Super Paper Mario streams where I, where I was absolutely losing my my mind. Transmuting this time. My, I was losing my fucking mind. Where's the cookie? Drank the blood of some people, but the people were on drugs. And now I am a wizard. That's it. You're welcome. This is how you actually win at the game, by the way. You have to just feed this old lady forever. Something spicy for a cool weapon, eh? I suppose. Okay, I think I can make that one. It's curry and rice. There's any curry sauce, and I uh, got this one. Old lady feeding simulator. Wait. Yep. Promise you'll stop jeep. Promise you'll stop jeep. Jeep. You have to stop jeep. It's got on far enough jeep. I know the cloning experiment went wrong. Did you but you need to stop and come back home to your mom and me. I'm just bored now. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, this is fine. But, I have to entertain myself. Wrapped in yellow and is tricky to prepare. What the fuck is this one? There's no picture of this one. You didn't accept it? Oh. 
Oh, fuck. That just looks like an omelette. Mental. I kind of want an omelette now. So, it's, um... Omorice. Maurice. She needs eggs, tomat, and consomme. Tomato drops from the bird enemy upstairs. I have. What, which bird enemy what upstairs? Oh, I really don't have any tomatoes yet, huh? Um, Comorice, I don't have either. What was the other one I needed? Memory bad. There are a couple birds outside the village that dropped tomato. Alright, I'll get a tomato re real quick over here and then. Wait, those are bats. Oh, this is a bird. What the fuck are these birds doing with tomatoes, anyway? Finish that. Finish that word. Oh my. And, uh, I'm not gonna make it the primary mission of tonight's stream to get this, whatever that it stuff is, the cons... But... Anyone? Any ideas where I can get that? You craft it? You gotta make it? Alright, fine, I'll do that. Real quick, I'll try to do that. I, I kind of enjoy making this food. Weirdly enough. Oh! Oh, here it is. Oh, I got plenty for that, okay. Uh, there it is. Got it! It's clarified meat broth, usually usually clarified with an egg-based raft. Stop back off to- oh, oh, okay. I'll take your word for it. Did oh, God. It? It's- it's Gordon Ramsay. You know how in Hell's Kitchen, Gordon Ramsay wears masks and, like, disguises? And then he, like, steps in with the group? And then he, like, tears his face off? Oh, God, you're fucking shit! All of you! You're so fucking unprofessional, you're not chefs! What the fuck is this? This old lady is- is Gordon Ramsay in disguise right now. That's it! You lost your passion for cooking?! I, I'm not a cook, Gordon Ramsay. I'm actually not at all a cook. You fucking disgust me! You donkey! Whoa! Holy shit! That's amazing! She's still hungry, huh? A rolled up treat. Guess we're going fast at the cost of magic. She wants this Brahman Crip and flower dragon egg. I don't believe I have a dragon egg. That that's um I think I've hit the wall on those quests for now. Vinny, what's your opinion on Tom York? T-O-M York. Different guy. I like Thom York. He's he's the guy I like. I'm gonna play one of his songs from his new album. I like I like Thom York quite a bit. Speaking of Thom York, I realized today that I don't have any Radiohead on vinyl. I, I showed uh, a little bit of my vinyl collection on, uh, on Depression, on Depression Land, aka social media, and um, I made several, well, two mistakes, three mistakes. Here's here's the collection I currently have. I have more. I have there's several more that are not in in frame. But um. The middle one's the new Tours album, which has a nice cover. I don't know why I like that, but I do. Here's the mistakes I made. One, top left, laser disc. I thought it was the Blade Runner soundtrack. I forgot it was a laser disc of the movie. So, that's mistake number one. Number two, there is one Pink Floyd album here, and it's the Endless River. Ugh. I was just excited that Floyd had a new album coming out, so I bought it on vinyl. Still have not listened to that album at all. I have not heard it. I only know the main song from it. So one day I'll listen to it, I'm sure. Um, again, it's not... I'll, I'll explain it. I'll explain it in a bit, what that album is. It's, it's not even really like Pink Floyd as it was once. Um, and then the, the last mistake is that there's no radio head here. But, and I guess a minor mistake is that the picture is a little yellow. Black Keys album comes out today. Yeah, I've said this before, I was excited to just hear anything new from them, but then they called their album Let's Rock, and I'm very disinterested in this album. I'm gonna listen to it for sure. They say don't judge a book by its cover, so I won't. I'll... I'll you know, I'll check it out. I haven't liked this, any of the singles from it. 
We'll see. We shall see. Todd has mastered a new hairstyle. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Wednesday Adams? I don't know, I kind of like her original hairstyle for some reason. <laughs> a slime girl appears on your doorstep. I probably made that exact joke already, right? Yep. Almost certainly have. If not you, then 30 other streamers, right? Of course. Vinny hates Germa Raid? Oh, Germa Raid? Why Germa Raid? Hi, Germa Raid. What's up? I didn't even see that. I was too busy, like, making a waifu. <laughs> Wanna get up there. Can't get up there. Well, there's an area I have to... Wait. Well, maybe I... I I'm gonna try to go up there anyway. Vinny, Germa played Space Engine today. The stream... The Steam build is pretty cool. I haven't played Space Engine in, like, three, four years. I liked it. I enjoyed the fuck out of it, but I just never came back to it. Vinny, you played it more recently than that? What are you, some kind of vine sauce historian? You might be. Oh, I got stuck. If you wait long enough, it auto picks up. Okay. Just need more magic. Hey! Okay. Oh. Vinny, the wall. I the wall is a great album. I should get that on vinyl. What wall? Because I got, like, smashed into it. This isn't a hidden wall. I think I'm pretty much good here. I don't think there's anything left to do here. Oh, so that Pink Floyd album, The Endless River, was not a full Floyd album at all. So, obviously, Roger Waters isn't on it. It's from 2014 or so? 2013? 15? I don't know. And it's just stuff from 1993 with Gilmore, Wright, and Mason. Just jamming. Stuff that wasn't used. Basically the leftovers from the Division Bell that were not used. I'm sure it's cool. I've heard it was good ambient. It's mostly instru uh, instrumental. And they fixed up some stuff and they added some new parts here and there. But it's it's mostly an instrumental album and I just, that's, you know... I don't know, I guess I just didn't want to listen to it. I was like, oh, if I listen to this and I hate it... At least I like the Division Bell somewhat. Like, a lot of the songs on there are great. But, what if I don't like any of this? I don't want that to be like the final, you know, thing that they've done in my mind. It's, yeah. Vinny Animals is their best album, do you agree? It depends on when you ask me, but... Mostly, I say yes. How do I feel about the new At The Drive-In record? I haven't heard At The Drive-In's anything. I've heard a couple of their songs here and there. It might not be for me. Like, I like several of their songs, for sure, but I never went album by album. Um, I hope they do more Mars Volta. I know they're, they are doing more Mars Volta. So that is what I'm looking forward to. That's more my, my style. Vinny, what do you think of Buck Cherry? I want to tell you something about Buck Cherry. The quote from the lead singer, uh, Chuck Berry. Man's a genius. Words don't seem to have a lot of meaning these days. So when he says, and words, man, we made him up! When he says words, man, we made him up. I'm inclined to, like, agree. He, he may have, like, you know, he's, like, really ahead of his time. Really smart dude. This demon drops a very powerful shard. Demon likes to eat. I got a cursed ring. A ring that embodies all the hatred in this world. Oh. Uh, I wouldn't just blame the chat. People are saying that ring is the chat. That ring is just internet in general. Three times. Three more times. I got it three times. One. Two. Vinny, I meant the bird demon, not the ghost. Oh. Alright then, never mind. Well, fuck it, let's get this thing shard right now. 
Here it is. No. Oh, fuck. All right. Well, there goes that. I'd say of almost every song in this game, this one sounds most like it could fit in Symphony of the Night. A lot of them do, but this one feels ripped like a, a bonus track, like an alternate reality track from Symphony. I mean, it is the same composer, but... It's just really great to get more good music. I think people are mistaking secret walls for getting, like, the walls crusty from damage. That can certainly happen. Well, I really didn't have this yet. Familiar Dulla Hammerhead, huh? Scrambled eggs. I wrote a song called Scrambled Eggs, John. Check it out, it goes Scrambled Eggs. Oh my baby, how I love your legs. I don't know why Paul McCartney sounds like that, but that's just what he sounds like. <laughs> I wrote a song about an octopus. You're writing songs about scrambled eggs. Who's the idiot now, Paul? Who? That's right, your baby. In my mind, when Ringo says, your baby, it's there's some kind of like threatening aura around it. Like he he says it as a threat. Chaser arrow. Shoot a homing arrow. Okay. Yeah, it's like that other one, but homing. Good. Good one. Oh, the bell cleared the scum. New scum was created. Oh shit! Oh, that's how you get up here. Hair apparent. I just got more haircut. Yeah, I'd like to get that bird shard. Uh, the bird shard apparently makes you attack faster and do more damage. That just sounds... That just sounds good. For every situation. <laughs> it's, it's so good. Shame about that vine saw sword not being useful past the first hour and a half of gameplay, though. Which sword? Oh, well, let me show you. Thank you for asking. It's funny you should say that because um, I, I would love to show you the vine saw sword. <laughs> Take a look at that. Isn't that great? Every stream, at least once per stream, I realized I hadn't mentioned the Vine Saw Sword in at least three minutes, so I had to. I need more blood. What? Oh, this was in the trailer. Like, how are they? How do they stick out so so much? They defy gravity. Hey, I need that blood. Oh, fuck off! What is this shit? Oh, yeah. I guess everything's bloodstained now, huh? Oh! Shit! Vinny, did you really spend $2,000 for an in-game weapon? No, it's an influencer thing. Guys, it's because I have influenza. I mean, I'm an influencer. Vinny, read book. Oh, right, there's a book here. I didn't even see that. Oh, okay then. I still gotta figure out how to upgrade, because people- yeah. Apparently there is upgrading. I wanna go get that, uh, that bird soul real quick. Monster bird tear. Oh, it kinda- of, it got a little corrupted for a second there. Boy, this is a lot harder when you don't have magic. We'll get it. Stone mask gives you one luck. I mean, I don't know if stone- if that one luck is gonna be the difference between getting this and not. Quarter circle, hold attack with Graham. Yeah. Yeah, I'm aware of that one. That's the- the squall- I called it the, the fucking cloud thing, but it's the squall thing from Final Fantasy VIII in the beginning when he's fighting Cypher. Cypher. It's- I call him Cypher. Some people call him Cypher. I think it's- it's Cypher. But anyway, I got the thing I needed. Wow, that's actually a really noticeable difference. You can make Optimizer a passive if you upgrade it enough. 
Every yellow shard can become a passive at rank 9. Interesting. So much information. There's so many informations for all the things in this game. Okay, that's happening a lot earlier this time. Come on, don't do your blood rain bullshit. Oh! 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 Scarlet. Ah! Scarlet, die! I, I took some pretty heavy damage there. I almost fucking died myself. Blood steal. Absorb blood from nearby enemies and restore your health. If I've ever I've needed an ability like that, it's exactly this moment. The sword changed. Blood steal. Oh. You can use it in that room. Oh, too late. It's weird that when I use it, she goes, Doc Metamorphosis! Blood steal! Oh, that's not the room you guys are talking about. That was the room, and you just left and ruined it. Oh, when- okay, I could have just taken the blood from the ground, then. Blood steal! Oh, that's how that works. Oh, okay. Well, I got this cool umbrella now. Super cool. Umber. Ella. A. 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 Ella. Whoa, that's fucking awesome. This is how the villager from Smash- in Smash Brothers attacks. This is the villager's tilt A. Tilt's- yeah, neutral- uh, forward tilt. <laughs> yes, villager from Smash Brothers. Most known from Smash Brothers. Famous. Made famous by Smash Brothers from Smash Brothers for Smash Brothers. <laughs> Excuse me, what? I refuse to believe that that's a real enemy. I'm assuming that enemy was like a Kickstarter backer. <laughs> Is her soul good? Or, or, or a shard? It's a summon? Can you look at her archive? Gladly. Tom Tomoko Death. A battle of the band's guitarist who melts faces, both literally and figuratively. She drops a smoothie, which increases MP regen rate permanently. Oh, man. <laughs> now Mad Max Fury Road. <laughs> it's getting insane. I love it. I love it so much. Oh shit, dragon friends. Uh, oh boy, okay, okay. This dragon has an ingredient I need. And it's got a good shard. Okay. Alright, well I mean, you know, farming is not my most favorite thing to do on stream. Oh, we got some clipping. Vinny, equip your luck items. I, I kind of am wearing my luck items though, aren't I? Ooh, got one. Draconic Rage. Rend enemies with Dragon Claws. Okay, well, here's the soul they wanted me to get earlier, so... Summon Chair. Call forth a chair? Ah. Well then. Huh. It probably upgrades with a nicer tri chair, the chat is now saying. Oh, clearly. Dragon talons. What, what did I need? Dragon meat? Dragon bread? Dr dragon beef? Dragon egg. Wow, dragon versus dragon. This, this might take a little bit. Yeah, I'll try not to die. I'm gonna attack. I'm going to Atenga. 
the dragon a couple more times. On Dragon Egg. Dragon Scale. Boy, Monster Hunter is really... really changed. Vinny, I don't think this level of dragon drops egg. That was one guy. Okay, apparently it does. Well, let me go not die real quick. And I will get back to you on that dragon thing. Uh, to answer the Mario Maker 2 question one more time, tomorrow around 3 p.m. Eastern, depending on when I get the game. Oh, yeah, right. Oh, no! I I'm alive. Alright, we'll stop here. Actually, let me buy a couple things Stay while I'm here. What are we transmuting this time? More potions, please. I have to buy waystones? I can't just make them. Or I can't... Wait. Waystones are limited, yes? Waystones are cheap. Okay. Let me go buy many waystone. Alright. Why don't we, um... Why don't we stop here for now? I, I could just keep going, but I want to check out Dreams before it gets too late. Uh, I'm still enjoying the fuck out of this game. And looking forward to the next stream of it, which may end up being Saturday or next week. So, you know, we'll, we'll make that old lady more food next time. Alright, so a little bit of bloodstain tonight. Not too much. Uh, Mario Maker took up a lot of time. But, uh, I can play a bit. And, uh, of course, next week there will be more extensive streams. I'd like to, next week, play another My Friend Pedro stream. Before I play Final Fantasy IX, I want to wrap up a couple things. But we're, we're definitely making good progress in these games. I needed to make a weird... What did I have to make this time? Stop back off to... All right, I had that. Uh, oh, um, strawberry thing. All right, let's see. Um, yeah, the granny food quests are really good. You get some excellent stuff from them. So, uh, let's see. What did what did granny need? All right, so granny needed some creep, cream, crepe, crepe dough. I need dragon egg and flour. Okay, where? Stop back. I can get a dragon egg, but I'm not. I'm not gonna grind for that just yet. So yeah, Fantano put out a really good uh, Queens of the Stone Age tier list. Um, and I thought it was pretty much on point, except I like villains. He said uh, S tier was uh, Songs for the Deaf, which I agree. Um, a tier, like Clockwork. I would put like Clockwork S tier. And villains, he put uh, C tier, which I disagree with. I I'd give that at least a B. I think that's a pretty good album, but it's it's not my favorite. So otherwise, good list. Um, he did one for the White Stripes too, which I love. Get behind me, Satan. I'm a weirdo. I think that album is great, and uh, a lot of people think it's their worst album. Vinny Fantano's knowledge on music seems seems inconsistent. Hard to take his reviews seriously. Well, I guess that's that's the thing about reviews. It's it's all just a personal opinion. You know, you don't have to know about everything ever to do a review. You could just do a review. That doesn't mean it's a good review, but what the fuck is a good review? <laughs> um, yeah, I don't agree with a lot of his reviews. I don't watch all of his videos, but sometimes I like what he has to say. Um, again, I fundamentally disagree with Get Behind Me Satan being so low on the list. And I think Icky Thump is a great White Stripes album, too. Maybe I'm just too forgiving of the White Stripes. But, um, also, Era Vulgaris, the Queens of the Stone Age album, after Lullabies, and before, um... Before, like, Clockwork, is great. I fucking love that album. It's weird. Maybe I'm weird for liking it as much as I do, but... Great fucking album. That I don't like the first record of Queens of the Stone Age at all, and, and I cannot listen to the White Stripes' first album. It's just too bland. I don't... I don't... So, you know, I like their second album, but I don't like their first one. So, between the two bands, I think, um, 
Queens of the Stone Age had the better first album. God, it, it's this game is loud. It's too loud. Hang on a minute. I am yelling over it a bit, yeah. But again, it's it's very inconsistent volume. Vinny, you lost the guitar shard. Oh yeah, you're right. Ah, oh, damn. I mean, if you're talking about Jack White, Jack White, like overall, without White Stripes, like Raconteur's Dead Weather and his solo stuff, Blunderbuss is my favorite thing he's done, which is his first solo album. I don't know why, I really like that album. No one's talking about Jack White, I just... I am, but... I like the Raconteur stuff... a lot, but Blunderbuss is still... I don't know, maybe it just hit me at the right time in my life. You, does that ever happen to anyone? Where maybe an album isn't that amazing? I mean, it's good, but it's not as amazing as you think it is, but it's just the right... album for you, at that time. That's kind of how I feel about... Get Behind Me Satan, actually, the White Stripes record. It's just good timing. Astro Lounge by Smash Mouth. There was some YouTuber or streamer that was talking about Astro Lounge recently, and I felt like messaging them, messaging them and being like, I know. They said that they feel weird listening to uh, Astro Lounge because that means you like Smash Mouth, not ironically. But I like that album. I, I think that that album was like stuck in my CD player for weeks. Months, even. But yeah, it's the meme. It was the meme of, of Astro Lounge and, and Smash Mouth in general. <laughs> Smash Mouth is a meme and all, but they're cool dudes. They seem to be, um, good lads. But I mean, they're just, they're Smash Mouth. Which is... a problem. <laughs> Why is it a problem? I, I don't know. A lot, you know, the real issue, I think, is that a lot of their music is just very samey. And it's just like a lot of mindless pop. They kind of did this weird transition from, like, almost punk. Like, they had this really interesting sound on, on their first album that was, like, a little bit of pop, but mostly just, like, really punky. And then they went straight, like, pop. So they lost a lot of street cred. God, after playing Mario Maker 2, now I'm, like, looking at how these levels are being built. I'm like, oh, I would do that. Toradar. What the hell is a Toradar? It's a weapon. Hey look, Blunderbuss. It's a long matchlock used for picking off targets at a distance. It's not really that good. What is this? Oh, shortcut? Okay. Um... Well, I could farm dragons. I need their eggs. Vinny, you just closed a shortcut? Wait, what? Oh, man. I wish my memory wasn't trash sometimes. All the time. How are you going to cross over there now that the bridge is closed? I don't know. I didn't even remember hitting that switch. Dragon egg. Okay, now would be a bad time to die. I said now would be a bad time to die. Vinny, how do you feel about Tool from someone named after a Tool song? I feel... I feel... Fine. About Tool? Yeah. I never got as obsessive about Tool as a lot of people did. That ga that band has some fucking... ...heavy... ...fans. There is some, like, severe Tool passion. That almost gets annoying, actually. Actually... Um, but yeah, I don't know. I, I like them. They're fine. I, uh, I really liked Anima. Lateralis I love, too, obviously. And Maynard's Dick is a great song. I hope their new album is good, because if it is good, that would be great. First album in how many years? 12? 13? How do you feel about Cheap Trick? My fa- um, a member of my family arrested one of the members. <laughs> what a story. Hello. <laughs> how can I help you? 
I, I like a couple of their songs, sure. Is this thank you? Is this Rob any thanks? <laughs> thank you. Is this any thanks? Is this when we have it? Is this thank you? I guess he really did surrender. Ah, surrender. Surrender. Up late. What are we trying Whatever to the fuck the rest time? of that song is. Mommy's all right. Daddy's all right. Just seem a little strange. I was rebellious. I was like, no, they're not. They're not okay, cheap trick. Stop trying to trick me. But it's a cheap trick. What are we transmuting this time? Mommy's all right. Yeah. Daddy's all right. Uh huh. All right. You know the rules. No more coffee, Vinny. I, I'm, I'm like a weird, delirious, tired, but also coffee. Wait, did I get raided by GDQ or did they just like? Is it over and now people are just here? Just ended. Oh, I see. Oh, cool. How much money did they raise? Three million. Good. I'm glad to hear that. That's a lot of money. When's Vine Sauce gonna raise three million? Uh, four or five years from now, maybe. Maybe, maybe one or two if we're lucky. We're we're trying. We're trying to raise as much money as possible. Now would be a good time to plug our charity stream coming up there. Hey, check it out, everybody. Yep, July 19th. We're starting our charity stream. So if you want to do some more good in the world, we're a Pediatric Cancer Research Foundation charity. We're going to be giving money to them. It's a good one. Okay. So I got some equipment. I got a feather robe. Oh, it's got a lot of extra... It's got defense, it's got intelligence. This protects against evil. This... is so feather light a single hit may send you fluttering away. Oh, okay then. I wonder if Granny's still hungry. Is there anything else? Yes, actually, I'll help... Oh god, Granny, please. Saucy strands? I don't like the sound of that. She wants spaghetti. Imagine eating a strawberry crepe before spaghetti and after like 14 other meals imagine it's just not it's it's not within the realm of 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 reason well there's berry spaghetti and um no you need the recipe oh i don't even have the recipe for this one well eventually i'll find it i guess let's maybe try to advance the plot a novel concept, I'm aware, but... Oh, I should... Eh, I don't need to save. Somehow, a Nova Skeleton, a copyright... A copyrighted Nova Skeleton just gonna appear in the game, even though they never coded the Nova Skeleton into the game. And it's going to destroy. That would be my luck. Um, that looks like an area I haven't done a lot in. Should I go there? Blood pool at the entrance? I can do that now. Oh, I can do that. I forgot I have the shard that can eat blood. So where's blood? I see it. Okay. So I've been thinking about this game's music. Every now and then a melody will pop up in my head and I'm like, oh, where'd that come from? Bloodstained? Oh, okay. So that's the mark of a pretty good soundtrack, I'd say. I'm pretty, uh, pretty happy with it. Okay, blood. Blood. Must drain blood. That's pretty fucking cool. What does she do with all that blood? We drained the blood of some people. But the people were on drugs. So how was the Chrono Trigger run, run anyway tonight? I am probably going to watch that at some point. Yeah, it was good. 5.5 hours. Will I learn new things about Chrono Trigger? You do, Hootie? Well, that's good to know. Yeah, I mean, every time I play that game, I learn something new. Even if it's just one little detail that I missed. It was a 100% run. A 100% run in 5.5 hours? Jesus. What does a 100% run c consist of? What do you have to do? All the side quests? You don't have to get all the items, right? Glitchless 100%. Oh wow, okay. That's a crazy time for that. 
All quests and side quests glitchless. Okay, I understand. Speaking of a year of good music, it's possible Damon might do something else with the gorillas. He said he has another album's worth of material. So, I'd love for them to get back and do another Blur album. But I don't see that happening. So, um, I'm getting one of those weird things again. Those OCD moments where I can't figure out which direction to go. Too many paths. This central room is, is like... There's too much. Vinny, what are you playing this on? Is it okay on the Switch? Um, I would wait on the Switch version. I'd recommend the PC version if you get it on anything. If you really need it portably, wait like a week or two on the Switch. They're patching it. It's got some problems. Apparently, it's very playable. It just looks a little like Aeth. And also, um, there's some some stuff they're patching, like input delay and other things. So, I haven't played it myself. I couldn't tell you. That's only what I've heard about it. Bloodbringer. Enchanted sword with potential. Oh, this is my lad. I hear if you set a shortcut, you can use it at the same time. Huh. Glitch. I like glitches, especially ones that work this well. So you can use your own familiar as a sword while your familiar is attacking and helping. <laughs> and yeah, it's the double Dawnbreakers all over again. What blows my mind about the Switch is this game does not seem all that graphically intensive. And I understand maybe like scaling down the resolution a little bit. But one of the things that confuses me is I, there are some beautiful games on the Switch. And this is not one of those games, necessarily. And if it runs, like, someone said it runs 15 frames a second in one part of the tower. What the hell is going on? Did they just get lazy porting it over? Because the Switch is not a powerful system. But you can also get Doom on there. Like, the new newest Doom. I mean, granted, it doesn't look great, but it's... Like... This is not Doom 2016. So, I think, yeah, optimization is extremely important, but I didn't realize it was the difference between 15 frames a second in a 2D... Well, not 2D, a 3D side-scrolling game. In a tower area. Or Doom running at a solid 30 throughout. So... I hope they fix it. I hope they find a way to do it. Or they just give it the panic button who does the best Switch ports. Panic button... It, it's just... It, wizards. That's why, um... I was a little bit worried about The Witcher 3. I'm not gonna get The Witcher 3 on the Switch, I don't think. Again, portable Witcher 3 sounds nice. But... You know. Um, but apparently, there's some wizardry... in there. Like, the, the port... has everything in the game. And it runs well. It's just really scaled down. So, I don't know. I mean, I'll see it when I, you know, I'll, I'll believe it when I see it, but I'm interested. The truth is, you can't do worse than accidental leg shot. You can't do worse than, um, than, than Ark. Apparently, the port of Ark is just nightmarish. Even to other consoles, not just the Switch. But the Switch version, it looks like, um, N64. Most things, that's true of most things regarding Ark. I've never played Ark. I hear it's a DLC selling machine. Mahogany. Do you remember that terrible John Carpenter movie, Vampires? And James Woods is like... Is he a priest in it? And he keeps... He's not a priest, he's a vampire hunter. Of all the actors they could get to be a super cool vampire hunter. I've talked about this movie on stream before. But the word mahogany sticks in my mind specifically. Because he keeps trying to ask the priest if he's excited in his pantaloons by, like, naming different types of wood. You got a little teak? In your pants, father? Padre? You got a little mahogany? A little chestnut? A little oak? And I just remember, like, mahogany from that, and I- I hate it because it ruined the word mahogany for me for the rest of my fucking life. Eucalyptus? That movie- I really- you know what? One night I would like to stream that movie. I mean, watch that movie. 
It is a very silly movie, and it is not John Carpenter at his best by any means. But it's like entertaining bad. It's funny how John Carpenter went from making some of the best movies of all time. For me, at least. Halloween, The Thing, um, They Live. What else did he do in the 80s that were amazing? Escape from New York is cheesy, but I love it. And then he made Escape from L.A. Ugh. Ugh. The Miami connection. Oh, Big Trouble in Little China is great. Just a dumb Kurt Russell action movie. You know, so there's a lot of, like, great stuff in his 80s catalog. And late 70s. And then you hit late 80s, early 90s, mid 90s, and then it's like, what happened? Someone said, I don't like Big Trouble. Yeah, it's- that one's a divisive one. I- I can see people not digging that movie. It's- it's very dumb. Aqua Stream allows you to swim by launching water in the designated direction. MP is not consumed underwater. Really? Underwater horse? It, it, did I just, like, get early swimming? Or is this the only swimming? No, this is how you progress? It's- it's one of two. Okay, good, because this is not swimming I'd like to do for the whole game. Early swim, real swim is later. Okay, thanks. I don't know why I'm asking these questions. I'm, like, spoiling myself. Um... Not really a spoiler, is it? Vinny, what is your favorite musical note? Um... E? I- I play- I tend to work best in- in the scale of E, in the key of E. Um, to the point where I actively have to try to avoid it a little here and there. E minor in particular. Love me some E minor. He said he didn't say scale, he said note. Alright, E. But the E minor scale is my real answer to that question. But, um, as much as I try to avoid E minor because it just gets- it turns into Pink Floyd, um, I fully embraced it on a song for the next album, to the point where it's like, I- I just indulged. I just indulged completely. So, now you know there's a song in E minor on the next album, and, uh... I like it. Spoilers. So play an E minor chord, and then you can figure out the rest. Here's a tip. There's a D in there as well. A D major. So if you can bridge the gap between the E minor and the D major, you can actually write the, the song. And I won't have to release it. Wish You Were Here? No, Wish You Were Here is uh, in, in G. It's in G major. And Well, it, it goes to E minor after that. Yeah, it does. The verses are E minor. And then it goes all the fuck all over the place. Damn it. Blood steel. Um, there's a glitch here, by the way. I can't jump. I, I am stuck. Still can't jump. That's weird. Um, it was happening with the Kung Fu shoes. And then I was able to jump eventually, but yeah, I can't jump at all. It, apparently, it's from sliding into the water. Oh, okay. Uh, well, that's... yep, that needs to be fixed. God damn it. Someone said upgrade the vine sword. Um... I don't know how to do that. You can exchange special weapons for better versions with new coins. But I don't think the Vine Sword can be upgraded. Well, like the fellow once said, Ain't that a kick in the head? Like the sailor said, quote, Ain't that a hole in the boat? Vinny, you should make that into a song. Yeah. Yeah, I wanted to, but then I found out that Dean Martin sang it. Like, 60 years ago. This is the song that usually pops up in my head when I think of this game's music. It's got like a classic video gamey Castlevania feel in the best possible way. Vinny, who do you think will be the last DLC in Smash? I think we've, we've done this a lot. Who do I think it will be? Uh, ooh, shit. I, 
I think it could be it could be Doom Marine. I really do. I think that could happen. I mean, the most you probably want to go with a franchise that has a lot of history. Um, I Crash Bandicoot could be in there. Dante, Tony Hawk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just, it's hard to know. I mean, Nintendo is going for maximum, like. They went for the the list that people voted on, like the characters that people wanted to see. They actually followed through with a lot of that, which is great. So I don't know. I mean, it's it could be anyone. I just don't think it'll be anyone from Nintendo's own roster. I think they realize at this point that the DLC that does the best and gets people the most excited is the stuff from. You know, other consoles. I wonder, is there like a Sony character? Aside from Cloud and Crash Bandicoot, is there a character from... That's, that's so popular? I mean, Spyro? Well, Spyro's coming to Switch. Um, Ape Escape, I don't think that has enough commercial viability. Ratchet and Clank. Um... I don't, I don't see that happening. Rayman is a good one. I don't think it would happen, but... An ARMS character? I think whatever Smash Brothers game comes out after this one, we'll see an ARMS character playable. But I don't know. What about another Rare representate? No, I don't see Rare. I mean, we got Banjo-Kazooie. I think Rare is pretty much done. So we got Square, Rare, Enix... And we got Konami with Castlevania and Snake. We got Mega Man. Um, Resident Evil is a huge franchise that has no representation. A little Monster Hunter we got in there, um, but no Resident Evil, but Resident Evil would not fit, I don't think. I mean, yes, Snake is in there with, um, rocket launchers and shit, but like Leon or Chris, I think that would be just kind of uncanny. Dante would fit. Dante, I think, would really genuinely work. But I don't, I don't think a Resident Evil character would, would sadly. Do you think Doom Marine? Yeah, I think Doom Marine would. Give Doom Marine plasma cannon, melee, a chainsaw, no blood. Um, it's not a dude with a fucking Glock. It's like fantasy weaponry, you know. The BFG could be the, um, you know, the final smash. Um. Some kind of fantasy shotgun could work. Only Joker gets a gun. Yeah, I guess so. It's so... It, yeah, but Joker is still kind of... There, there's a... The design of the character almost... It makes sense for Smash more so than... Like, Leon or Chris. I don't know. Also, the gun itself, like Joker's gun, is just gun. It's not like a Beretta 9mm. I, I don't know, uh, maybe I am being a little... Because Snake works, so maybe I'm being a little closed-minded here. It's possible, and I would love a Resident Evil representative, because Resident Evil is like... a top 10 franchise for me. So, I don't know. That would be great. Don't see it happening. Doom Marine does feel like it could work. Joker uses a toy gun. Oh. Marvel vs. Capcom has Resident Evil, it's true. Shadow the Hedgehog gun? Oh. Guns and Smash is a really bizarre topic. Because on one hand, they've been kind of good at avoiding that. They didn't even give Snake any guns, aside from the rockets. And the grenades. And the, the reason was, they were like, yeah, Snake with a gun. And then, Joker goes ahead and gets a fucking pistol. And by proxy, so does Kirby. Oh yeah, Bayonetta. Bayonetta's like... Over the top ridiculous. I think, okay, okay, here's the difference. I think this is in my mind, and I'm struggling with this still. I'm trying to figure this out. I'm just, like, talking out- I'm thinking out loud. Because I'm not Sakurai, I can't control which characters are in Smash. I'm just trying to think out loud, okay. Here's the difference. Dante has guns. Bayonetta. Cereza has guns. But, these characters are in games that are so ridiculous and over the top. And they- their- their animations are, like, crazy in their own games. And it would make sense. Resident Evil is a lot more rooted in reality. Like, it's an over-the-shoulder, like, 
you kill people with, like, real guns. Um, and these people just happen to be zombies, but it gets... It, it's like, you don't see them moving in unnatural ways. That's not true. Holy fuck, Chris Redfield is perfect for Smash Brothers. Just take his boulder punch animation from Resident Evil 5 and turn him into a goddamn cartoon character. I was wrong. I have seen the light, hallelujah. Chris Redfield would be perfect for Smash. He is a cartoon character with giant tree trunk arms. I, I think, I think, yeah, maybe. Maybe it could work, I don't know. I still feel like Doom Marine fits a little bit better if you're gonna go for a character that's in like a really highly M-rated game. Doom Marine makes more sense because again, Samus... I mean, Master Chief would be a great one. But again, Master Chief and Doom Marine are very, very similar looking, for one. And they both use similar fantasy guns. But, you know, they shoot. So, I don't know, those characters might... if, if both of those characters are in the game, they could both be very, very similar to each other. And, uh, I'm sure many of you have heard me discuss this ad nauseum hundreds of times by now. But it is a good topic, and I, I like... I like trying to figure out. Like, I can't... I'm at the point now where I could not predict. People have been giving me a lot of credit for my predictions lately. And... I mean, let's be real, a lot of this was based on leaks, or even fake leaks, or just stuff that seemed kind of obvious. Um, other than that, just more mascots. I mean, Waluigi... It, it's still ridiculous that Waluigi's not in the game. We meme about Waluigi. And I happen to think that the character is, is just... silly. Like, really? Like, we, we care that much? About Waluigi? But still, I mean, if you're talking about one of Nintendo's characters that has some level of prominence... That has notoriety... That's been in a lot of fucking Nintendo games. Tons of them. Waluigi. Upgrade him from an assist trophy. Uh, Piranha Plant got in. Yeah, Piranha Plant. I mean, any of the enemies... The fact that Piranha Plant's in the game is an indication that... They could... <laughs> they could just keep going. They could just take enemies from Zelda. They could take a Dark Nut. They could get a Goomba. Piranha Plant was the joke character, though. They could- they could do more joke characters. Hidden Desert. And this castle's got a lot of biomes. Someone just said, Vinny won't read my suggestion. Y you understand that's not, like, an intentional me avoiding your suggestion, yes? Amaratsu, Travis, Touchdown, 2B. Okay. Well, those were the suggestions. Yeah. Well, 2B's in Soul Calibur. I don't know if Amaratsu, if I'm even saying that correctly, has the commercial appeal to engage in a project where someone has to buy the character separately. A, mul a multi-month-long project. Vinny, you do realize Okami is a cult classic, and you do realize that cult classic does not necessarily translate into sales. Yes? Blade Runner is a cult classic. Blade Runner 2049 nearly bombed at the box office. Ryan Gosling in Smash. Confirmed. Oh, I seem to have, um, skipped the save point, maybe. I'm gonna be very, very, very careful, because I have not saved. Mortal Kombat characters, maybe? Oh yeah, okay. That makes sense. And Mortal Kombat new is on the Switch, so that makes... Yeah, I could see that, like Scorpion. It's a popular enough franchise. Another dog enemy? Oh god. Rocky. Another backer's pet. Wow. Okay, so I... Okay. Alright. So, the save point had to be, like, here. Th there's no way I've gone this long without a save point. And yet I have. Vinny, yes? Yes, it was there? Oh, good. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? I'm running out of healing. Um... Uh... Pizza. Fuck it. I like that healing isn't all that common in this game anyway. Like, there's- it's there, but it's... It's not something you just, like, use every five minutes. You have to think about it. Actually, that's not true. You can make a lot of food. There's a lot of, of food in this game that you can make, which means that healing is, is actually a lot more common than I expect- than I thought it was. I 
bet this thing has a good spirit, or a good shard, rather, and, and good, uh, item. Yeah, it's got good drops. Yeah. Maybe if I find a save point near one. Well, I went through the whole desert area <laughs> without a save point. You skipped the only important part of the desert. Yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. Good. Speed belt. Speed belt. It compels the wearer to run, increases movement speed. I like that. More fast is good. Okay, chat, I'm thinking of a song. I'm thinking of a video game song. And I'm gonna, uh, give you a clue. It's a very, very, very small hint. And I'm gonna do the thing, and I want you to tell me what song am I thinking of. Ready? Ha! Huh. Lean Square from Chrono Trigger, yep. <laughs> you got it! The Undersea Palace. Where the fuck did you get the Undersea Palace so, from? Ha! Huh. Yeah, it's the Millennial Fair, Fair music. Good, you, you did good. Proud of you. Vinny, do you eat properly? Vinny, do you eat property? Oh, properly. Well, it depends on what you mean properly. I eat two square meals a day. Um... I had a salad tonight. Does that count as properly? My diet is, um, is, is sometimes shit. And there are other times where I will make something healthy-ish. And there are times where I feel like I'm eating shit too many days in a row, and I'll just, like, I'll eat a little less and, and it'll be vegetables or a salad or something. So, I don't eat amazing. It's a good question, I, I suppose. I don't know. It's of interest. Some... Damn stalkers. Also, the word stan needs to be removed. There, there is nothing flattering about calling yourself a stalker. Unless your name is Stan. I mean... In, in which case, that's... I guess that's okay. I mean, you could legally change your name. Vinny, you have no healing. Your dog, it has no tail. Vinny, you have healing bullets? What are you on about? Hollow point rounds, dude. What is Miriam needs? Oh, uh, Abigail, what, uh, what's her name? What does she need? What does she need? Bat wings. <sighs> I still haven't got the bat wings. It said on the top of the screen. Oh, okay. My, my eyes are not so good. Are you, what are we transmuting this time? Promise you'll stop G Oh, that's why someone in chat asked me if I was eating properly. Are you eating properly? God damn it! Bunny ears. That's Macaulay Culkin's thing. Did he back this game too? Um... Some people were telling me to upgrade the sword. Which I can't do, I need sword fragment. Come back anytime. Why does Macaulay Culkin have such a funny name? I don't know, I grew up with it... It's like, it's normal for me, because I've been hearing it since I was six. Because Home Alone was massive when I was six. And, uh... Yeah. Hello. So I'm just used to it, but it, it, when you really isolate the name... ...as just words... It, ...it becomes very funny. Which is why when Macaulay Culkin was working out, I called him McSwoley Bulkin. I've got one of those. Thank you. In fact, I've got two of those. Three! Even. Here's what you asked for. This is it. Toy shoes. This right. Shoes that emit an adorable squeak with each step. Nope. Look! Look at homeboy's head in the background. <laughs> now, is this an upgrade? When it says craft. Like, on Gram here? Uh, is- or do I just build it? No? So, how do you upgrade weapons? Gram can be upgraded. Well, someone told me to upgrade Gram. Some recipes use other swords, those are technically upgrades. Oh. Well, well. What's all this then? Like this, using the Ulfbre... ...sword. I can- oh, alright. I already have that. Make this- oh, I already have that. So if I were to upgrade Gram... 
Oh, I could upgrade it into one of three. It's it's the EV of swords. Fire, ice, and lightning. I just need those rings, them flame rings and light ice rings and stuff. And you can upgrade those even further. All three gets you the Durandal. Wow. Look at that. Capable, capable of sundering all things in the universe. Oh, that's all it can do then. All right. Um, again, people keep saying upgrade the double jump, which I did. It's totally upgraded now, and uh, it, it's just iframes, it, so you don't jump higher or anything. It's cool though. Um, okay, I would like to craft fire ring. I don't believe I can do the moment safe ring. I can make an ice ring, and I can turn Graham into the, uh, the thing. That sounds good. I'll do that now. Um, I need for flame ring, I need a ruby. Oh, fuck. Did I do that? Dismantle something for a ruby? Okay. Okay, need a ruby. Come on, ruby. Show me the ruby. No ruby. Buy the fire ring. Let's see if I can. If not, I'll just get it eventually. Um, it's getting kind of late too, so I'm I'm gonna stop shortly. But let's just see if there's anything here. Um. Ruby, no ruby. At least I got a cool sword out of it. Teleport to tower, go right, and the blue chests should have rubies. Um, okay. But what, what tower are you talking about exactly? The Hall of Termination? No. Um, the one with tower in the name. Um, clock tower. Do, do I not have that yet? Vinny, you just passed it. Okay. Tower- oh, oh! The bean yacht needs sleep, I think. Ruby! The room below the warp has a chest? Okay. Fuck it. Let's get it. Real quick. It's this massive fucking room. Oh, god. This is one of those things that's not- that's not a real quick. Vinny, my lady friend is visiting New York. Can she come see you? Okay. I- I was going to ignore that question. As I so often do the weird ones, but, um, let me- let me answer that because I- I feel it's... So, um, I do get emails from people saying, Vinny, I'm- I'm in town, can we hang out? And, um, I want you to know I appreciate that very much, but- but no. That's kind of weird. I don't really like this whole- this fame thing all that much on that level, where I would, uh, randomly go out. It's just too- too fucking weird, and- and it's like a bi-monthly thing where someone, you know, especially in the summer, where someone's like, Vin, I would love to, like, hang out. I'm like, well, I mean, you're in Manhattan, I'm in Staten Island, that's like an hour away almost, and, um, like, I don't know who you are. <laughs> It's nice, it's cool, I, I appreciate that you want to hang out with me. It's just, I can't keep up, and I, I wouldn't want to try anyway. But, that's why I go to conventions, so I can meet people, and actually, you know, try my best to meet everybody. I should be so lucky that people want to meet me, which is why I spend as much time as I can at those conventions meeting everybody, even if it means I have to sign for five hours. But I will not randomly meet up with someone, like, in wherever. Uh, that's... It, on, I'm sure some people are okay with that, it's just too weird for me. No can do. Too weird. Some people just don't know any better, chat, so don't be mean. Yeah, and really, genuinely, I don't think... Promise you'll stop. I really just don't I think some people... Transmuting this time? I mean, it's, it's fine, I mean, it's just a question, they just ask the question. I figure it would be a good time to address it live. But yeah, it's it's just not something that appeals to me. I'm sure there are people that would be fine with like hanging out with like groups of people or 
like grabbing a cup of coffee or a drink um, with with a rando. But I, I like to get to know people, and that's like almost impossible <laughs> when you have 7,000 people in your chat. So... And of course, again, it's like just, um... It's a bit of a travel, and I'm a bit of an introvert. And when I'm not introverted, I'm busy a lot, so it's, you know... It's also work, and I'm lazy. Vinny, can I human cannonball myself into your house? If you can survive that, you earned yourself a drink on me. V Vinny, my mom said you sound like her type, and... In quotation marks now, do you want to hang out? Alright, chat, listen. Listen, I'm gonna crawl into a hobbit hole. Okay? I'm going to crawl into a hobbit hole, I'm going to remove the internet, and cut my satellite link that I have, and my neural chat link that I have, where I get every message neurologically delivered to my brainstem. And I'm going to smoke Gandalf's long pipe, and I'm going to read tales of Durin Cockbeard, the famous dwarf that lives in the Scronely Mountain. And that'll be my life. And then I can live some semblance of a normal life without strange messages. <laughs> Oh, for fuck's sake. The Eye of Horus, a monocle that lets you look down on the world like a bird. Excuse the fuck me? What? Does, does this just zoom out? Yeah, just zooms out. There's one that zooms in, one that zooms out. Oh, what's that you want, Mordef movie? Isn't it weird that the Scottish lass gave this to me? Considering that the patron saint of FOV is a Scot. Vinny, I'm starting a cult. Do you want to hang out? Oh, well, we're gonna be in competition then, my friend. Alright. This was productive, kind of. We- we got the old lady some food. We got, um, FOV slider. Um... Came across some new areas. Uh, it's a shorter stream. So I didn't get too much done, but, um, this game has got a lot. There's a lot in this game. Which I'm very happy about. It's the gift that keeps giving. Um, looking forward to going here, next stream. The only important desert area that matters, of course. So, yeah, to be continued, yet again. No, you can't come to my house. We learned, we learned that tonight. But, um, yeah, have a good night, everybody. Hello. Welcome to game. Welcome to game. Return to game. Bloodstained. Okay, um, hi. Uh, so yeah, starting a little late tonight. Had a long day. Um, did you know that today was garbage day? Oh, now you do. Every day is garbage day here, though. Alright, let's do it. Let's get started. I want to just jump into this because there's so much of my time I spent not home. Someone said if I get one more ruby, I can get um, the crazy broken weapon, but I'm going to hold off on that. Also, there's been... Um, yeah, America Day. It's happening. People are already setting off fireworks. Today was one of those days where if you didn't know, like if you weren't prepared for 4th of July, you're just like, every couple minutes, you're just gonna be surprised. Even though fireworks are illegal, people were going mental. What did you need? Saucy strands. Oh, right. Um, spaghetti. Very spaghetti. What was the actual spaghetti? There was like a real spaghetti here. Somebody thought to my spaghetti! Am I? Why am I missing the spaghetti? Old meme unsubscribed? Ah, oh, shit. I don't know. Oh, it's- it's America Day! America Day! Did you- I'm- I'm trying to figure out what that is. Oh, I don't have the ingredients for that yet. Okay. Vinny, are you going to play the CTR 
brand picks. No. Submit tea dress. It's craftable. Okay, I'll craft it real quick. The first part of the stream is always going to be me checking my quests. There's, um... They're doing some stuff. They're fixing up some stuff. I need dreadful rag. Okay. I mean, aside from finally adding the DLC for this game, they are fixing the map so that it's always centered, and they're changing up some other map stuff that doesn't look so great. And they're fixing um, performance issues on the Switch version. I hope they do. Even though I'm playing it on PC, it's just... You know, you should. they should do it. That would be good. They should do that. Dreadful rag sounds like a euphemism for a period. Oh, that's disgusting. Thanks. Well, what about euphemisms for commas? Oh my god. So this game has a, a fountain of blood. You know, and you need blood steel to get through it. If you've watched my streams, you are aware of this. The fountain of blood reminded me of something. When I had, um... In first grade, I had a nosebleed. I don't know what made me think of this. Probably this game, but maybe not. I, I mean, this was something that I thought of the other day for the first time in years. But I had a nosebleed, and one of my classmates... It was a mental nosebleed. And one of my classmates said it was a fountain of blood, and everybody laughed at me. And then most of those people got nosebleeds later on in subsequent grades. And I took mental note. Every time someone got a nosebleed, and they made fun of my nosebleed, I would be like, so, um... Do you remember that time you laughed? It was a bad one. I think in first grade, it was probably... The one I had that was referred to as the Fountain of Blood was probably, like... Pretty fucking gory. There's, like, juice and meat coming out of my nose. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, uh, quick thing I forgot to mention. At Too Many Games, I met, uh, Family Jewels, who did the guitar... ...for Necrodancer. And we talked guitars for a while. The guitar for, uh, Cadence of Hyrule, in particular. Yeah, we talked for a while about guitars and music and, and, you know, how he got the job. And how surreal it was for him to do Zelda stuff. Nothing crazy, I just never mentioned it on stream, but he's- he was a nice dude. I was listening to some of the Cadence of Hyrule soundtrack again today. And I was like, wow, that's- I like that. That's good. But it's funny because I've seen him at conventions for years. And I was like, oh, that's the dude with the hair. With the metal hair. But I never knew who he was. Until now. That's right, Jay. Vinny, when was the last time you talked to someone you liked who turned out to be an asshole? You think I would actually say that? I wouldn't- I wouldn't share that story, even if there was a story. I met Angry Joe at PAX a year ago. And he was really, really tired and out of it from a long day. And he was still nice to me. That is the- probably the worst story I have. But even if I did have a story of someone being, like, a real cockknocker, I'm not gonna talk about that on stream. I know you want the juicy details, but I like to... I like to, um, keep my shit together. If you don't have something nice to say, don't say it, you know? You expose Little Dicky for being a line cutter, though. Yeah, but Little Dicky is... That story... Okay, so he's a line cutter. He cut... Okay, okay, alright, we need to talk about the Little Dicky thing. Good point. Good point. You got me. All right. So Lil Dicky's name is Lil Dicky. I didn't know who he was, and we're not in the same circles. And he didn't interact with me. He cut three spaces ahead of me. You, didn't you get a fresh pizza out of it, though? Yep, we got the one straight out the oven. So... So yes, he cut... Yes, Lil Dicky cut lines. He cut the line. But... It really, uh... It was such a non-issue, it was more of a funny story. Now, if Little Dicky, like, kicked me in the shins, and was like, huh? Then I'd be like, alright, chat, this guy's a fucking asshole. Honestly, if anyone at a convention kicked me in the shin, and was like, huh? Then I would probably tell the story on stream. But, I mean, just someone being less than pleasant, uh, that's not worth talking about. Vinny, we need more deli tales. That's like Veggie Tales. I should start like a series called Deli Tales. Okay, so, um, 
No, I don't have anything. I really don't. I'm trying to rack my brain for anything that may have happened. Got nothing right now. Vinny, my dad is a DJ. Today he was telling me stories of famous people he met. Turns out P. Diddy is super sweet and Maroon 5 is full of assholes. You know, that's not the first time I heard that about Maroon 5. But when it comes to celebrity, like, stories of, like, someone being an asshole, you kind of have to be a little bit careful about that because you have to understand it from the perspective of the person. And I have a lot more empathy now because what if someone is sitting down to have dinner with their family and, like, a fan or just some rando comes, Hey, I want a picture! And then they say, no, I, I'm good. I'm, I'm good. And then, oh yeah? And then they go online and talk shit about, like... You know what I mean? What if they go up to you in your face and they go, huh? Then he used the, the same example last time you talked about it. Pretty sure that's happened to you now. No, 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 it hasn't happened to me in that sense. I've had people come up to me around where I go to the convention. The one time I got recognized at a restaurant locally, the person waited until I was done eating to come over and say hi, and that was cool. But yeah, I've had, um... I've had people, um, be real rude to me. Like, while I was, like, you know, in a rush to go someplace. Um, but mainly at conventions. But it's not, listen, it's not that big of a deal, like, it, it's not something that, um... I was unable to handle. I've never had someone, like, actually be a, like, a tremendous cock to me. Everyone was always pretty nice. Um, but you got to imagine that some famous people, like the real famous people, not pretend famous people like myself, would probably, you know, maybe they're like driving their pet to the vet. Maybe they're like on their way to get like a colostomy explosion. Maybe they're on their way to get, um, you know, go to the bathroom and someone interrupts them and it's like, hey, can I get a picture? And they're like, no, <laughs> no, you can't. That's the 15th time today and I'm sick of it. So you never know. Hi, Alfred. Or I mean, old. Uh, the sigil was not meant for you, but we are far enough from the castle that it can contain you here. Goodbye, Miriam. Oh, you want to kill me, old? Stand down. Cool boss fight area. Whoa, old. How do you get such powers, old? Oh my god. Yeah, this is a really cool idea for a boss fight, this area. There's a lot of blood over here. Oh, it takes a lot more than I have now. Never mind. What is this? What are you doing? I need some blood. God, there's so I don't have enough for the blood. Oh my god. This dude is tough. It's nose blood? Look, it's meat and nose blood and nose meat. Alright, cool. So, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to save my magic so that I can use blood steel. Uh, because... What is it, what is it called? Yeah, blood steel. BLOOD STEEL! Because I think I'm gonna need it. And it's also, you know, he, he bleeds a lot. This old man can survive without his blood. Ow. Ah! God damn it, dude! Oh my god. Oh my god! I'm doing worse this time. Uh. Wow, even- wow, okay. No, you won. You won, dude. You won. I know your power better than you. Vinny, how's the Parmesan doing? Oh. Oh, hey, Sal. What's up? It's going all right. I was just talking about Parmesan the other day. How Parmesan cheese adds so much to any dish. How's the paper? Oh, the paper's all right. Gotta be good to the paper. Let the paper be good to you. Blood steel doesn't seem worth it unleveled. Yeah. Vinny, are you okay? 
Nah, I'm, I'm waiting for the paper to tell me what to do to it. I'm gonna give Bloodsteel a shot. One more time. So I can just, like, eat all that blood even though I have full health. Great! Waste of magic. Hey! Fuck! Um, so my cousin came by yesterday for a little bit. Yesterday was very productive for me. But my cousin, who I tell you about, not the fucking club cousin. Again, I had no, almost no relationship with the club cousin. And, and again, it wasn't even my cousin that owned the club. It was his cousin. Anyway, so... The one that bought me Chrono Trigger. The one that I played Secret of Mana with. And we talked about it a little bit. And, um... I was like, hey man, do you remember Chrono Trigger, the game that you bought me, that ended up becoming my favorite game? He's like, nope. Vinny, give him a name. Maybe I don't want to. Maybe I don't want to. Alright, we'll call him Cousin, um... Scro. Cousin Scro. Uh... He... He was the one that bought me Chrono Trigger. We played Secret of Mana together. So, we talked about Chrono Trigger a little bit, we talked about Mario 3, because that was our favorite Mario game. And then, we talked about Secret of Mana. And... He told me that he got a Super Nintendo Classic, and he's playing Secret of Mana now with his ki uh, with his kids. I was like, oh... Boy. That's- that's awesome. But also... I feel old. <laughs> but yeah, he's playing the game the same way we did back in the day. 20-something years ago. Fucking crazy. Time to steal my own blood. Okay! Well, this- this is, um... This is not a good fight for me. Don't stand in front of him. That's cool. You So, wait a minute. You're saying don't stand in front of the boss? Okay. I was hoping the pistol would shoot around. Like that the bullet would just loop around. <sighs> that curse is fucked. Um... How do you get rid of curse? Do I not have the proper item? Holy water bought in shop. Well, he went for a second, so I'm thinking I did some damage to him. That fucking curse sucks. Oh man, double curse. I'm having real trouble with this. Um, let me... Let me eat... I, let me eat a rice ball. No. Yeah, blood steel is pretty useful. It, it uses a lot of MP, but it's good. Let me steal blood. Yeah, good blood. Fuck! Ah! All right, I had to use two potions, this but I did it. You have is even greater than I imagined. Does Vinny know about doing little hops while attacking so he can do it faster? Yeah, I do. It's just it's a rhythm I don't have. I know I know about it. I'm just not good at it. Also, I smell garbage. That's not okay. That is not okay. What is this garbage smell? Oh, I see. I see. It was my, my garbage pail was open a bit. Not too much, but enough that I could, like, smell fucking trash. Vinny, it's your gameplay. Vinny, take a shower. Vinny, it's you. And then at a convention. Oh, Mr. Vine Sauce! I love your work, man! And then in chat. You smell like trash, dude! You fucking smell! <laughs> I, I don't mind, that's what I'm here for. I'm your schlock clown. <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> Deep stinker. <laughs> okay, well, I got that. I needed that. Vinny, do a joke. Alright, guy walks into the doctor's office. He says, hey! 
I don't remember Data's joke. That's all I got. So a moth walks into a podiatrist's office and says, Doc! I really need help, Doc! But um boom Uh, wait, what's going on here? Guy walks into the doctor's office. Oh, yeah, here. <laughs> the doctor tells him you need an operation. The guy says, I want a second opinion. The doctor says, okay, you're ugly, too. But um boom Was that funny? No. Data just wanted to be human. I can't wait for the Captain Picard show where they CG Brent Spiner's face so that he looks, uh, 30 again. So they can get Data back. I'd be okay with that if, if it was, like, you know, some kind of, like, decent... Uh, like what, what they did with, like, Kurt Russell or Sam Jackson in the Marvel Universe, but that's gotta be expensive de-aging. I know the Picard show is gonna be extra cool because Captain Picard's gonna set a collision course for a fucking solar system. That's how he's gonna save the galaxy. Looking forward to that. <laughs> That's the power of math. I, I love what they did. Like, I actually liked Star Trek Discovery a little bit better than Mike and, and Rich did, I think, but... I was so bored... by the end of the series that it took me several weeks to watch the final episode. Like, I just did not care. The first couple episodes were good. I felt like it was going in a better direction than season one. But then it was like, by, by the end of it, I just wanted to, I wanted to stop. I was like, please stop. But I'd still be down for a Captain Pike TV show. With his number one, Rebecca Romaine Stamos. I don't think she's Stamos anymore, right? Like her and John Stamos aren't married anymore. Anyway, yeah, the series, the Star Trek Discovery, started out pretty okay, had some decent plot points, and then by the end of it, I realized I just stopped caring. And that's unfortunate. But, I mean, it's also, if they do the same shit with the Picard show, it's gonna be... I'm equally going to... You know what? I'm gonna be more upset, because at least with Star Trek Discovery, most of these characters are either new or, like, recast inferior versions of the previous version. Like Spock, for example. The dude who played Spock did a good job. And Pike did an excellent job. But, that's not really Spock. That's Spock as written by Alex Kurtzman. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not upset. If they ruined Spock in Star Trek Discovery, which I don't think they did, not too much at least, um, I wouldn't be too upset because it would just be a different thing. It's like when Zachary Quinto punches Benedict Cabbage Patch, um, who plays Dr. Strange, according to Jake Gyllenhaal. When, um, when Zachary Quinto screams in anger and punches, uh, punch, punches, what's his name? Punches, punches Patch? Punches Crunch. It didn't really phase me because I'm like, alright, well, that's TV, that's movie Spock. That's J.J. Abrams Spock. That's a different Spock. But, if they fuck up Captain Picard's TV show... It's still Patrick Stewart. That's gonna piss me off a lot more. I already have to come to terms with the fact that movie Picard and TV show Picard are very different characters. Movie Picard is an elderly action hero <laughs> who swings from ropes and punches robots in the face. And TV show Picard is probably one of my favorite TV characters of all time, who is a role model, an inspiration, who's stern, but also forgiving, cares about his crew, but also he can be a bit of a hard ass. But in the movies, he just like sets collision courses for everything. And I think they're gonna use Movie Picard as a template for the new TV show. How do we get on this topic? I feel like all roads lead back to Star Trek. But Picard was an action hero several times in the series. Yeah, I know that. Alright? I know that, Trekkie. I know your name is Trekkie. And I'll defer to you for Trek wisdom. But he had so much more depth... ...than just action hero movie men. Something about you smelling like trash. Oh, right, right. Someone said the inner light still holds up. That's still one of the best episodes of TV I've ever seen. I'm biased, though, because I like sci-fi. The inner light holds up. Most of TNG holds up. 
I mean, there's some dudes with mullets, and like, there's some, like, specifically 90s fashion. But... The later seasons, it becomes a little bit less specific. Does Deep Space Nine hold up? It does. Yes, it does. The original series... Eh, not as much. And I love the original series very much. Captain Kirk, Captain Spock... Wait, he's not a captain. Commander Spock. Doctor... Doctor Spuvik. No, Doc... Dr. McCoy. I mean, those are the three best characters ever. And you put them together and you got classic TV. But it's a charming show. It just hasn't aged well, I don't think. And it still has some great episodes. So I'd still recommend people that like Star Trek check it out. Spuvik. <laughs> Wait, who was Spuvik? Oh, that was Tuvok from uh, Voyager. Oh, this sword hits multiple times. This is a cool one. Then he try using the familiar as a weapon. I, I have. I that's how I defeated old. Yes, you can use both at the same time. It's a glitch. You should get that enemy shard. It reveals breakable walls with the eye. Two. Three. Four. Five. Enjoy the stream. Six. Seven. Nine. Nine. Nine! It's eleven. Twelve. Thirteen, here we go. Un wow, lucky number thirteen. Make secret walls visible to the eye. Oh, you get like a little thing around you, okay. Remember that yellow shards can be made into passives. True, I could grind, th grind this to get it to level nine so that I don't have to equip it. It'll just be on forever. Um, but I have a feeling people would actually like never watch my streams again if I did that. That's okay. I probably, I would never watch my streams again, to be honest. If I had to grind for that that many times. You needed to get it to rank 9, not grade 9. I don't, I don't know what that means. I just enhance it. I, I can- I could actually do this. A higher grade makes the circle bigger? Well, is this- wait, 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 wait. If I get this to level 9 here, does that also- oh, wait, I can't. Grade is the number of shards you have. So I need rank 9, not grade 9. Rank 9 equals passive. Okay. Well, I don't have enough eyes for this. Now it wants a fucking longsword? Oh wait, oh! Wrong thing. Uh, I need demon eye. Tea dress, I need dreadful rag. So where do I get dreadful rags from? Archers in the garden? Buy jump jets and pulse laser? A am I a fucking Gundam? I watched that Tom York thing on Netflix, by the way, for his album. Staying up late. So, what and it was 15 minutes directed by Paul Thomas Anderson, and it's fucking weird. And his eye is looking extra gangly these days. But he is... I love his music. It's beep boop, but it's great. It's really good, and it's very memorable. Vinny, of course you did. What, what, what do you mean, of course I did? Yeah, of course I did. Of course. It's human music. Hmm. Farts are human music? Thanks, dude. That's true. The beans, beans, the m musical fruit. The more you eat. Come back if it be. So, okay, swords, right? So, here's the thing. I could make a gram and then turn it into the fire version, and then I can combine those into the Durandal. Durandal. So, in order to make the fire version, I need Gram and Flame Ring. So, I can buy a Flame Ring, or if I- or if I want, I can craft it. I think I'll just craft it. So, I'm gonna go- uh, I'm gonna go get some rags, some fucking dirty rags, some dirty bloody rags, and then I'm gonna go get, um, another rupee. Vinny, you should craft the Shard of Tisrosion, it's pretty powerful. Okay, I thought that was you trying to tell me which, like, pasta to eat. I was like, wait a minute, 
Rigatoni. Ah! There's more after Durandal? Is there... Oh, God. I was gonna say, is there Duran Duran? Just remember, whenever I'm not funny, you could blame me. You could. Or you could just remember that you're the one that chooses to watch this crap. Don't you like how I do that? <laughs> just get all that responsibility off me. It's fun. Vinny, but I came for crab, not crap. Okay. Well, it turns out Final Fantasy VII Remake is happening, so... These are the archers you guys were talking about, right? Dreadful rag. Okay, just need one more. Got it. Wow, that was quick. Vinny, why does my leg hurt? Did you sleep on it wrong? How does one sleep on their leg wrong? Um... Did you... Did you bump into a thing? Do you sleepwalk? Do you have pink eye? Pink eye's gotta be one of the most embarrassing things that you could get. Because everybody knows where you got it from. Texting on the toilet? Desert, my sweet summer child. That is a very, very good answer. But the truth is... They were texting on the toilet, that's correct. Mono in chat just said, imagine getting Mono. Imagine. Where is the treasure chest up here, anyway? Oh, uh, well, I- never mind, I got what I needed. And it's right here. I got two rubies now. Good. I will say, I do like how alive this world feels with all the drops. This is something Iga's very good at. But it's especially good in this game. Because you have different quests, you have the crafting system, you have the food system. It's really, really good. I feel like all the, of this is, is lived in. It's, it's great. The food system you ignore? No, I make the old lady food. Spaghetti recipe is in the towers, by the way. Do I need any, uh, am I gonna need special jump ability for that? I'll go with yeah, this. special jump. Wow, here it is. A champion's greatsword, capable of sundering all things in the universe. Look at that attack increase. I'll go with this. There, all done. Now, is this pronounced Durandal or Durandal? Oh, it's massive. Look at that range. Durandal? This is good weapon! So I have the ability to sink in water now. Mark Marin did an uh, interview with Steven Dorff. The guy who played Roland in True, True Detective Season 3. He was in Blade. He's in a lot of stuff. Space Truckers. And it was maybe one of the best interviews I've heard him do. It was fascinating. Steven Dorff seems like a really interesting guy. And, um... He did such a good job. In True Detective. Rebuy all the food you haven't eaten from Dominique and get permanent stat boosts. I... Yeah. What are you looking to buy? All right, sure. It's not here. This is just ingredients. It's in the potions ta potions tab. Huh. Scratches. I'll save the rest for when I need help. <clears throat> health, 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 health. Oh, consumed. Okay, first time bonus means you haven't eaten it, and you get- Oh, I see how that works now. Scratches. So wait, 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 wait. First time bonus, does it lessen when you eat it the first time? Just eat your stats. It's a permanent upgrade. The first time bonus is the permanent boost. You only get the bonus for the first eat. So the second eat doesn't give you a stat, like a permanent bonus then. After that, it just heals you. Scratches. Extra luck on that crepe. Scratches. Look at that luck on the chocolate cake. Fucking hell. God, that's good. Scratches. Scratches. I did it, everybody. 
I got the stat boosts that you so desperately wanted me to get. And I finally now understand why Miriam is a foodie. Craft laser shard. <sighs> Craft laser load. It's good. It's a good item. A laser load. M maybe it's just me, but I don't see a laser shard. I'm a dumbass. I was in the wrong tab. Laser shard, laser shard, laser shard, laser shard, laser shard, laser shard. Cobra mummy, cobra mummy, cobra mummy. <clears throat> That's as fast as I can do it. Cobra mummy. Do you think Chris Tucker was on drugs like cocaine when he filmed the movie The Fifth Element? Cobra mummy. Allegedly. Do you think Chris Tucker was allegedly on drugs? I don't. Um, I don't see. Yeah, I don't see a laser shard. There is a tab that is only shards. It's this. It's not called laser shard. I was looking for it. L-A-Z-O-R shard. I need a uh, diamond for this. Here's what I've turned up on the monsters. Monsters. There's a diamond reward here. I need to kill six demons. It doesn't tell you which demons you need though, eh? Oh, Richter! I have. Oh! Juiced! Cypher? Soleil, these are all Belmonts. I mean, I know this is all Castlevania stuff anyway, Trevor, um, Simon, but it's just, now it's like fucking blatant. Help Richter the kill those murderers. Poor Richter, he didn't deserve this. Is she saying Konami is monsters? Yes. Now, someone said that the quests are in fact on the map. So I need to kill Lamashtu. The little green things, they're the green things there, on the map there. Yep, I see them. Little green pages. I have to kill a bunch of namastes. I don't know- oh, well, look at all these, right here. There's a ton of them over here, let's go there and do the thing. Vinny, I never knew that. Well, you didn't say Vinny, but yeah. I didn't know that either. Thank you, chat. See, chat, you are helpful. I know you try to help me, I just read a lot of japes. I do appreciate, sometimes, good help. Sometimes. Vinny, you should make fireworks in Minecraft for 4th of July. Okay. Oh wait, a couple- a couple people said no. Sorry everybody, this is- remember, this is all- has to all be unanimous. If we all don't agree on something, then I can't do it. Vinny, I don't agree to that rule. Ah, oh, well, fuck. Okay, uh, more green pages. Green pages, um... So, for that diamond, the diamond boy, where, where, uh... Doesn't look like I have any more green pages at the moment, which means... That I need to make more progress. I'm looking at over here. This appears to be an important direction. I might need a key for that, though, I don't know. You know, I want to- I want to go fast. Goodbye, magic. But I think I went too far. <laughs> May have gone a little too far in a few places. Here's another... first time bonus... for MP. Well, that helps. Any extra MP... Regeneration, I will take. See, I was confused by the food system for a very, very long time. Because this is a new system for this game. It wasn't in Iga's any, uh, any other game that Iga has made. <laughs> Miriam's screams underwater are amazing. Woo! So many good games lately. So many games that I've loved. That have really brought me... Happiness. That have brought me nostalgia, but in a in a new way, like between this and Mario Maker, just those two alone. Mario Maker is is a classic game. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna play that for a long time. I think. I mean, classic in the sense that it's both a good game and also it it's it's classic Mario. It's nice to have classic Mario back. And then Dragon Quest Builders 2 comes out soon. And, uh, God.
one second here. No, I just- someone said I ignored their question. And then they got sad. It's like pissing into a lake. You know what I mean? It's like peeing into a lake. And then wondering why... That pee isn't found. By a sailor. Many years from now. I don't know. <laughs> just ignore me! Please do not talk to me. Do not listen to me. Do not understand. Do you understand life? Man, look at this. This sword's fucking gnarly. Take a look at this. I don't use that word lightly. That gnarly word. You know I don't use that word. You've never heard me say gnarly before. Maybe you probably find a couple examples, but I almost never say gnarly. So when I say it, you know it's a good thing. You use it. Uh, someone said I use it a lot. Oh, like you use it a lot. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, the the Durandal is an amazing weapon. It's very powerful, but. I'd be down for uh, a faster weapon now. Just anything, really. One with vines? Oh! You know, it's funny you should mention vines. Because there's actually some kind of um, vine sword in this game. And uh, so he says, Doc. Doc, my life is in shambles. My son, Gregor Ilovitovich. He's just... He's just left. He doesn't love me. I don't, you know, he doesn't care about me, and I care so much about him and my wife... Il Bel Belain... Yo... Bilit... Divit... Divit... Alright. Great, everyone's spoiling the punchline. Bel Il Belain... Yo... Ilovitovich, that's correct. Il Belain... Yo... I think underwater horse is very strange, but I'm okay with it. Like, I have my questions, but I'm... I'm, I'm fine. Seahorse. Yeah. Water horse main. Okay. Does anyone else main the water horse? Old? Oh, you main old? Yeah, old's a good choice, too. I'm glad they released demos of this game on a couple of occasions, just so they could get feedback. Try to improve those things. Amphibian speed increases underwater movement speed. Well, f fuck yes. Frog horse? Oh, now I'm triple confused. Apparently, this this horse has really good drops, including a mace. So I will make an attempt. I will kill five horses. That's three. Five. That's, uh, six. That's seven. Eight. And two more. Nine. Ch uh, nine. Oh, oh. Is that it? No. Fuck. Nope. Oh, that sound. I feel so- I feel so terrible. Oh my god. This is a really, really terrifying scream and I don't like it. Swordfish. Plunderer's ring. Another one? Do these bastards attach? Attach. Do they stack? Vinny, farm the eye for one more drop. It's all you need to max it out. Yeah, alright. Swordfish, a giant wooden sword named after a fish. Oh, okay. This weapon has about as much to do with a fish as a bird has to do... ...with... ...insert word here. If only I pre-scripted these streams. A gun? Fired all the writers. Yeah, writers are expensive, dude. Have talked to Transformer, generate a script for the stream. God damn it. Alright. Alright, you want to talk to ta Transform- <laughs> Talk to Transformer. Here. Let's get a quick script. Hey, everyone. 
Vinny here. Welcome to the stream. Today we're going to blank. Here we go. Today we're going to, I've created a guide for every possible setup you could come up with to help you achieve the highest scores possible. Some settings require a bit of practice in which I will provide tips and tricks for making the game run smoother on your computer and improve your score. We will be using one guide for every possible way we could, you could tweak the game, whether it be to boost low, medium, me, boost low, medium score and every other setting possible. I hope you guys enjoy learning the strategies of each setup to learn them all. Here, go watch my guide that I've created. This guide will include the guide on each setting for any setting that are, <laughs> that are left out. Feel free to get in touch about anything you don't know so no one comes off that way when creating a new game. I am in no way trying to give you bad advice. Rather, I am providing tips of my own to let us all learn the different combinations of things. I hope that you will see a future guide that will show you how to use these tips with my guide as well. The new guide will include all the tweaks for my setup that can go from low to top. Also, this guide will be a step-by-step -step guide with a video and explanation of every possible setting. Now, let's get started. And it just ends there. You mean we didn't start yet? Back in my day when the guide was the guide. Oh, I got it. That's all I needed, right? I just needed just that one, or do I need several more? I need two? Okay. Got it. I will know where all the invisible walls are now. Wait, what? That's Dominique. And Alfred? What? Miriam. Miriam. No way. You've seen too much. All that matters now is that I gain control of the Liber Logaith and prevent it from ever being used for evil again. All right. Papa King's behind it all. You. The book is the guide. The guide is the guide. It is a checklist of many guides. Today we're going to do one of our most interesting streams yet, where I try and take you deep into the world of Hearthstone. <laughs> This stream will consist of playing a single game against AI Hearthstone opponents every single episode, with an expected time slot of about an hour long. We're hoping to capture a lot of the excitement that the audience has for this game, and if we do well, we expect to continue the stream with even more content and some of our own commentary. I hope you'll join us when we stream to help us get a better understanding of how players play Hearthstone. As always, thank you for watching. Let's get going! That is real. Talk to Transformer generated that just now. With the same prompt of, hey everyone, Vinny here, welcome to the stream. Today we're going to... Oh, these are demon I need to slain. So many different areas to this castle. The dark elementals drop diamonds. Okay. Oh no! Oh god. Vinny Desert posted something interesting. Oh. Alright. All right, what is this? Oh, don't click it. You posted it, and then you don't want me to click it. Okay, fucking what is that? You... will never be trusted by me again. Your links are now verboten from this point forward. Thank you, Desert. You posted some corruptions, bro. Thank you for that. I appreciate that very much, Desert. Thanks. I like how meticulously balanced this game is until you turn into a bunny. Good work. All right. I can do it. I can get the eye. I'll go with this. Rank 9 eye. I'll go with this. I thought I was never going to get this. It just seemed yeah, all done. It seemed impossible. But now I have it forever. So this is the one you want me to have, right? Tis Rosane. This is the one people were talking about. I can upgrade this even further. I'll go with this. And that's as far as I can get it without diamonds. Come back anytime. 
So now wait, I just have this this circle around me at all times. Oh god. Oh, I'm Iron Man now. You can disable it if you want. That's fine. I'll leave it. Oh, I, I can um, make that thing now, right? Because I have the fucking shitty rags. Some scummy tea dress. <laughs> I don't know why I'm calling it scummy. <laughs> it didn't- the tea dress did nothing wrong. It didn't deserve that. So, chat. Chat word, what are your plans for 4th of July? I'm <laughs> specifically not Americans, please. Hot the doggo. I see hot the doggo. I see hamburgers, eat nothing, sleep, watch your stream, stranger things. I forgot that was happening. Uh, happening. Probably a barbecue, absolutely fu fucking nothing. Deep throat hot dog, please leave. I had a uh, hot the doggo tonight, this actually. This is the key. Right. I had, um... A Philly tube steak hot dog, which has uh, cheese, sautéed onions on it, but the cheese is like the nacho cheese type stuff. It's good. So melted plastic. <laughs> yeah, you'd be surprised. It was really good. Hootie, I swear it was good. I swear, it was it was surprisingly good. It's from a place called Criff Dog. They do uh, weird hot hot the doggo. But I also had a. One called the tsunami, which is uh, I talked about this on stream. It's a bacon wrapped hot dog with pineapple on it, soy sauce, and scunions, the green onions. That's okay. You don't have to. You it. Listen, it may seem like crap, and I would never try to convince you to you know try it. But I promise you, it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Vinny, I thought you hated pineapple. Oh, no, no. I actually like pineapple on its own. Or in this context, weirdly enough. I never thought I would like something like that, but I ended up really enjoying it. Just not on pizza. Please. Please keep that away from me. Um, quick question, because I wasn't paying enough attention, but what did I get for that quest? Hair? Oh, I got a, a haircut. Wow! Holy shit! Oh, and I have auto pickup too, with this. Holy fuck. Maybe they should balance this? Maybe this needs a little bit of balance? It's a, an amazing skill to be able to cut hair while someone is still wearing a hat. She looks like Meg White. From this angle. She's gonna, like, play Seven Nation Army with Jack. Original style is best, no? Yeah, a little bit. Someone just said she's a bad drummer. Yeah. But she... played those songs... with the drums and she hit them. And it was perfect for that band. Oh, you know what? Let me change the outfit as well while I'm here. Yeah, she's not a proper drummer. That was part of the style. The fact that she just hit drum loud. Hit drum loud. A little bit. <sighs> It was enough to let Jack do whatever the fuck he did. It's weird because for me, I, you know, I love what Jack White does, but I don't think he was ever as good after the White Stripes as he was with the White Stripes. And it was basically just a solo project anyway, it was just him and Meg. But, also, maybe it's him getting older. But it's funny because, yeah, the less he has to work with, the better he does, I think. It's really... It's really weird. Someone said you don't have to be a good... I, hang on, I like this. You don't have to be a good musician to be a good performer or make good music, necessarily. It's true. I mean, Roger Waters is a good example from Pink Floyd. Dude was kind of tone deaf in a lot of ways. But, amazing lyricists, pretty good voice. He could deliver a pretty good performance, an emotional performance. On stage, he doesn't do much. But he was able to write songs like Hey You, and Time, and fucking, you know, Comfortably Numb with David. No, he's not a great bassist. Roger Waters is a very, very simple bassist. Vinny, so in music, you're either great or shit and deserve to be publicly ex executed. Huh? The fuck are you on about? 
This is good conversation! I don't know what the hell that kind of hot take that was. This is one of those things that Iga always has to do in every game. There always has to be a clone battle. It would be cool if she didn't say Tis Resilient every time we use the spell. Maybe like every three or four or five times. Look at my combat style. It is unsurpassed. Inferium is dead. Inferium. Shadow Tracer creates a, a shadow double. I have a Guiji now. Plot twist, you are the clone. Oh my god. I could see that being the case too. So I've been watching that, um... Just a little bit before bed every night, I've been watching that Puexo Chrono Trigger run. And, um... I, I mentioned this the other day, like, I'm learning new stuff from the run. But even when I'm not learning new stuff, it's still just nice to revisit the game a little bit <clears throat> and see someone play it, and me not being the one to play it. It was a very, very good run. Very fascinating. Gotta watch the Minecraft run? The Minecraft speed run? How, how does that work? Defeating the Ender Dragon, which triggers the credits. <clears throat> My voice is, is very... Oh, I got a diamond! Nice. <laughs> Bloodstained team, if you are watching this, please. Every four or five, please. 69.40%. Someone said check your map completion rate. I know why you wanted me to do that. Don't think I don't know. This is where Zengetsu wanted me to go. And I'm safe. Everything's fine. Oh, God. Oh! Oh, no! I need a save point really bad. Vinny, it's kind of far. Alright. Potions. Oh! Dragon egg. I feel like I needed that for some reason. Out of magic. Damn it. You do for dishes. Oh, okay. Red Remembrance increases your stats as your HP decreases. Funny about that. Probably gonna need that now. Are you gonna be real cheesy with this special ability? This music, I believe, was in one of the first trailers. I don't know if I just said that or not. I'm, I might be losing my mind, but... It was in the poop trailer? Oh. Oh, when they compared the previous graphics to current graphics. Poop version, new version. So, uh, how do you make fireworks in Minecraft? Is that one of those things that's gonna take me forever? Just gunpowder? Okay. Dye and paper. Just use creative mode. Listen, if I do it for 4th of July, it's only gonna be a very short thing. Oi! Like, that wouldn't be... Oh, fucking... Clutch. It wouldn't be, like, a full one-hour stream. It would just be a shorter stream. Turn the stream on, launch a few, turn it off after coughing into the mic. <laughs> you know, it's funny, too. Like, the, uh, the sparkler smell. I thought I loved that smell when I was growing up. I was like, oh, smart sparklers, they smell so great. And then I lit one maybe a month ago at a friend's barbecue. And i tell you what, Smarklers do not smell... I do not like the smell of it at all. Maybe it was just bootleg-ass Smarklers? Uh, not good. Not pleasant. We'll, we'll, you know what? We will come back to this. We're at a very important fire area at the moment, obviously. So, um, let me stop here, because I want to switch to, uh, Dreams. As you can tell, I'm a little bit out of it today. I'm a little tired, but I am enjoy. 
So we're going to take a quick break, and I will be back. I'll be back in a little bit with dreams. Thank you for watching. Boss will be... I guess we're going to start the next stream with a boss, which is fine. Hi, welcome to the stream. The Bloodstained Ritual of the Night continues. Um, I'm hearing about earthquakes. What's going on with earthquakes? Who, who had an earthquake? So one, there was an earthquake on the east coast. And now there's a 6.9 in Cali. 7.4, 7.1. Why am I getting like several different numbers? <laughs> well, anyway, um... Hope everyone's okay. I hope that Tool album doesn't actually end up coming to pass because that would not be good. We don't need Arizona Bay. We don't. I hope everyone uh, stays safe. And if not, then you need to um, it's bubble wrap. I was gonna play Rolled Out. Ow! I have the beta for Rolled Out. Wow! I'm almost dead already. That's great. Holy fuck! Vinny, please never play Rolled Out, actually. Explain. Their devs did scummy shit with an artist. Behind the scenes stuff. Oh, cool. Alright, well... I gotta know everything about everyone before you do anything. Alright. Well, I'm just going to... Quietly... I'm just going to, uh, quietly... Why am I getting so many frame drops in this game? Not worry about it for now. No, it's not on your end. The game is lagging like fucking hell. Hang on a minute. It's the area you're in? Yeah, maybe. Shouldn't be having these issues though. I mean, I wasn't- was- was it lagging this bad last time I played the game? In this area? Maybe bad PC? Let me- let me check something. Hang on a minute. Maybe my- Am I running like an antivirus scan at the moment? I know this game is, is kind of optimized like trash at times. It's it's the earthquakes. Oh, okay. Oh, it's it's real bad. It's actually kind of ruining the experience for me a bit. Boy, at the cost of almost no magic, you can get the same damage. You won. Oh my god. So, I was about to, uh, finish my Mario Maker level, Icy Hot, after I got done with all my stuff today. Um, I went shopping for food and, like, you know, toilet paper for my, um, for my, 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 uh, my bathroom. And lots of other stuff, too, and I ended up getting these weird brownie things that you cook in a mug and they kind of they taste like um you know the the fucking like the tv dinner brownies it's like that but worse and they don't fluff up at all so the advertisement on the box the picture it shows that it fluffs up and it said use two tablespoons of water two tablespoons of water did not cover oh look at that it's still laggy Restart PC? Well, well, hang on a minute. Let, let me try a different area. Making your own mug brownies is easy. But yeah, the, the water instructions were totally incorrect, and the amount of water needed was triple what was required on the on the packaging. And then they, they ended up just kind of like... It looked like poop in a mug. It was like, like flat turds in a mug. Have you learned anything new? Yeah, it's still lagging, even here. Binny, the solar flares are causing the game to... Alright, never mind. Uh, I'm not gonna read that one. What's your CPU usage? It's fine. I'm gonna restart, I think, my computer. I'm sorry. I, I hate to do this, but... I'll be back. Just give me, like, two, three minutes. Sorry, everybody. This is annoying. I just don't want to, um... I don't want to run a whole game for three hours with crust. Stick around. Alright. I did the restart. Let's see if it works. This game should not be this crusty. It hasn't been at all crusty, actually, for me. The PC version. I know the Switch version is made of crust, but not this one.
Looks pretty smooth to me. Alright, well, I'm back. So, yeah, I want to get back into this game. I wanted to tell you, though, chat, I had a, um... You know, I was trying to finish my Mario Maker level called Icy Hot. And I finally figured out a decent ending to it. And... Just couldn't finish it before streaming. So tomorrow... I did re-upload the Firework Factory map, though. Because that was... lame. And I found... I used the person's suggestion... on Twitter, on how to make the, um... Mario Cannon. This is the weirdest fucking ability. You can invert ever. it's the inverted castle from Symphony of the Night at any time, what the fuck? No, no, what I mean by Mario Cannon is the beginning of the map was kind of busted. And now it's not. Also, there's a mod Stay to get rid of that so ring around, um, Miriam. I'll go with this. Ooh, I like it. I don't like that sound. What, what did you just say, man? Why'd you say it like that? That was weird. Regenerate. I need a fairy wing to get this, which is faster recovery. Craft augment gold for whatever reason shards are not consumed. Augment gold? Just enemies drop gold. Vinny, my mom thinks I'm crazy because she thinks I actually believe low power Arnold was an actual scene in Jingle All the Way. Oh, my sweet, sweet friend. Whoever you are, you just made my night by telling me that story. Thank you so much. Just keep it going. Just, like, at some point just tell her, like, yes, that was a real scene. Wait, what happens if I do this outside? Oh! Well, hang on a minute. Before I, um, this gold thing is amazing, by the way. Look how much gold I'm getting. Fuck. This is great. Vinny, there's an invert secret in this room? What, in- in here? Invert. Seems like japes. Invert. Vinny, what the fuck is low power Arnold? <laughs> it's, um... Come on, Jamie! Jamie, come on! You need to go, come on, we need to go to karate! Come on, oh, oh no, ja Jamie! Jamie, I'm losing power. Jamie. Jamie, I am losing power. Jamie, I, ne I need the cookies. Give them to me now. So I can get my power back, Jamie, please. That's it. <clears throat> That's low power on. Does that make sense now? Okay, well, if there's a secret here, I, I just have to deal with not getting it right this minute. Uh, I see some other areas that can be inverted, but I want to go to the, the Inferno Cave again. There, there are so many things I want to do. There are many things that I... ...would like to say and do. Inverse. Liam Gallagher has a new single out. Inverse. So, he, he told the story about, he named his new album... ...Why Me? Why Not? Because he bought two pieces of art for, uh, he bought a piece of art from John Lennon called Why Me? And it was just some dopey piece of art that said Why Me? And then there was another piece that Yoko sent to him that said Why Not? I mean, this is also a dude that named his son Lennon. So that's, you know, so it's very important to him. Um, guys, yeah, he's, he's a little crazy, Liam Gallagher, but I, I kind of... I don't know, I kind of like the guy. He's funny, he's entertaining. He's kind of a huge cock, though. Anyway, uh, the new single, I don't like. But, it's the best he sounded vocally since the 90s. I think. He's really hitting high notes. His voice is not like a raspy asshole. It's just, um, just a good... Just a good singing voice. He finally sounds like a human being again. It's it's really nice. Because there was a period where Liam Gallagher from Oasis, everybody, that's that's who he is. That cool band. Oh, is there a bug on my screen? Yes, there is. Now there isn't. There is a period of time where he was just smoking a lot of cigarettes. And he thought that singing like this would be appealing. 
I don't like that that stage of Liam's voice. I like up until. I mean, even be here now uh, after um. What's the album? Uh, fuck, Morning Glory. I don't like the way he sounds on it. It's good, but it's like not my favorite style of his singing. So now he sounds. He sounds pretty good. Sounds like he he's healthy. He's he's actually like stopped smoking. It's great. I still like his brother's music better. Um, it's it's like Liam has basically just a team of people that write his songs for him now. So I don't like believe his words. Then again, Noel writes some pretty rubbish lyrics, so they're both shite. Honestly. He vapes now, yeah, he does. Someone said Oasis' first two albums were pretty great, other than that, not so much. I've always called them a guilty pleasure, because they... I love some of those songs. I think they're just genuinely great songs. But, um... It's not cool to like Oasis. But there's some really good songwriting in there. It's just nice, good pop songs. Some good performances. Um, it's really... I don't know. I guess as a Beatle fan, I, I appreciate that kind of style of songwriting. But, yeah, I mean, they kind of fell off. Though I would say this, if you took the best songs from every Oasis album after Morning Glory, and you put them into one album, you'd have a fucking killer album. Though there's an album called um, Don't Believe the Truth that's actually pretty solid all the way through. Someone just said Blur better, better than Oasis. I actually agree, I love Blur. I, I like Blur more than Oasis, for sure. Verve is best. I like Verve too. I like Pulp as well. A lot of those Britpop bands are... are quite good. So, I'm not complaining. I like, um, I like all those bands. But I will say that I grew up with Oasis just because they were on the fucking radio so much. Just, just a couple songs though. Like, here in America, I didn't hear Supersonic until years later. I just knew Champagne Supernova, Wonderball, and Don't Look Back in Anger. That's it. That's all they played. And those videos over and over and over again. And Blur, the only song I knew by Blur was fucking Song 2. Woohoo! I hated that song. I was like, this band sucks. They do woohoo music. What is this? And then years later, I finally discovered them. I realized that Damon was the same dude from the Gorillas. So, Damon, the singer of Blur, is the singer of the Gorillas. I mean, it's 2D, but you know what I mean. Illusion ruined. And then I heard the rest of Blur's stuff. Park Life 13... Blur. And I was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute, this fucking band is great. And then just as I got into Blur really heavily, a couple years later, they released The Magic Whip. Which I think is... an amazing album. Think Tank? I love Think Tank. I wish Graham was on it. Think Tank is great. Vinny, I love your cover of Song 2. What about Spank Tank? Oh no, that was Oasis. Blur released Think Tank, o Oasis released uh, Spank Tank, or as they like to call it, Mank Tank, because they're from Manchester. Wank Tank. Like that, thank you. Mill Tank? Vinny, what do you think of Be Here Now? Uh, cocaine is what I think of that album. That album is the sound of cocaine. But I'll be real, I like it. It's a good album, it's just... Like, there's a song that's seven minutes long that, that really didn't need to be seven minutes long. Vinny, do you like LCD Sound System? I only know a couple songs by them, but yeah, I like what I've heard. Sure. Vinny, Daft Punk is playing at my house. Well, Daft Punk is a good band. They don't have to happen to have a new album coming out, right? <sighs> Random Access Memories was the last time I heard a new, a new album by them. Vinny, do you like rap music? I get this question a lot, actually, and my answer has stayed the same, pretty much, which is... Some. Yeah, I, I've, I grew up listening to some rap that I liked. And I like the stuff that's on Gorilla's albums. And I like Della Soul. Um, I like Snoop. I'm a fake rap fan. In, in other words, I'm barely one. But... It depends on the song, it depends on... What they're talking about. That's kind of important, too. So here and there, sure. House music? Here and there. I know where I want to go. Sorry, everybody. I'm just kind of, like, wandering. I mean, in terms of country music, too. If people are going to ask if I like country music... Eh... 
I mean, there are people that said I wrote a country song on Kerosene, Heavy Little Heart, which I don't think is country at all. It's more like folk, which I like folk music. I'm not into country, really. No. What about Donkey Kong country music? Very much so, yeah. Chat, trust me. If I could turn off Miriam's voice every, like, other time she says something, I would. I know people are complaining about it. Again, I'm okay with the character making noises and saying stuff every time they use a move. This might be a little excessive. And it would be, like, a kind of an easy fix, too. Vinny, what do you think the heaviest band is that you listen to on a daily basis, or on a regular basis? Uh, I don't listen to a lot of heavy, heavy, heavy shit, but I mean... I grew up with, um... Black Sabbath. It's not that heavy by today's standards, or by, like, like speed metal or black metal standards, but... Um, Mars Volta? I listen to uh, when King Gizzard gets really heavy. I like that stuff, but Volta plays very fast and loud. I like, yeah, Nine Inch Nails, sure. I'm just not that much into metal. That said, I can absolutely enjoy it. Like, I, I grew up listening to Metallica as well, and I still love Metallica's, um, 80s albums, and even Load, and, you know, the Black Album and all that fun stuff. Vinny, how come you did metal riffs so well on Blood Bagel if you don't like metal? I don't think they were metal, necessarily. They were just, like, heavy, hard rock. Maybe a joke on 80s metal, a bit. Um, it's because I do like that stuff. I just, that's not my preferred genre. I enjoy it. Staying it's not what I listen tonight. to on a regular basis, but... This time? You, you give me a good album with some heavy shit on it, I'll listen to it. And I'll appreciate it and respect it, too. That's the other thing, too. Like, I... I respect the playing and the skill required, which I do not have. Vinny, what's your opinion on Soundgarden? Um, probably in my top 10 favorite bands of all time is Soundgarden, and they can get really heavy. Louder Than Love is a pretty fucking massive album. I was fucking gutted about Chris Cornell when that happened. I was talking about it on stream a lot, I think, at the time. And I am making some really good money just by having this thing on 500G from a fucking lantern? Try the 8-bit area again? Oh, fuck. C could, it, could I do that deal. now? You is think? Then we have a deal. I'd have to, like, really use my best stuff. I have some decent items, though. I have the Durandal. Bhakti, please make Granny happy with the recipe you got last stream of this, you brain-dead shell of a shadow. <laughs> don't, you don't need to be so angry, bro. Okay, alright, alright. Also, did I actually even get the recipe? Because I don't think I did. Who? Here's what you asked Bhakti! For. Here comes the cowboy. Here comes the cowboy. You can only craft the flame circlet after you buy regular circlet. Man, I love the amount of stuff there is to fucking do in this game. Just constantly. What are you looking to buy? That's one of the things that I always wanted more from Symphony of the Night. Just felt like, yeah. I, I love the game so much, but it just there's only like six hours of stuff if you know what to do. I guess I have to make the circlet first. Hello, Mr. Spinecock. Hang on a minute. Can you- what was this? Hello, Mr. Spinecock. Could you please restart the entire stream? I missed the start due to Scrungus infection. That's me, I'm Mr. Spinecock. Hi, everybody. Circlet was in the store? Is this a deal? Didn't this happen last night, too? Last night or two nights ago, where I just blinded something. I read something out loud and then blinded it really hard. That was last night. Yeah, I got the stuff. This is the keeps right. Silver tiara. Or chicken casserole times three. Silver tiara. Reduces magic depletion. Cool. Vinny, I had an important question. I'm a part-time DJ. I've played Red Vox songs on air a few times. Do you have problems with that? If so, let me know and I'll stop using them. How dare you make my music more popular? How dare you show my music to people so that they can listen to it? No, of course you can play it. Where, where are you, um... Are you playing it, like, at your college or something? Vinny's getting paid in exposure. Yeah. Uh, 
Oh, yeah. Would you consider sharing red box stems? Uh, no. Not right now. I get that request a lot. We don't have any stems. I have them saved. But we're not gonna go through them and release them. Just because it's- it's more work. And I'm always focused on new stuff. One radio station that gets consistent service. It's available for streaming online. It has a bunch of stations in the area. Okay, cool. How are we supposed to make meme remixes if we don't have the stems? It turns out I lost the stems in a fire. Yeah, it was a village fire. In Minecraft. Speaking of which, I finally organized all my treasure chests. My main room now, on the top floor, is exquisite. And everything is organized fully, and it- it's fucking awesome. Big tower where you fought the dragon invert to get armor. Okay. Oh, shit, you're right. Okay. It's like in Symphony where you have the spikes. And you cannot progress. Um, I also have a spoiler map from Minecraft someone sent me. Which doesn't have as many spoilers as you would imagine. It- it, it has, um... It's got villages and strongholds and biomes. So no sunken treasures or anything like that as far as I'm aware. I'm gonna use it. So that I can get to a stronghold. On stream. Problem is though, I mean, it's not gonna spoil too much. I still have to get there. Someone said, Vinny, you're going the wrong way, but I'm actually just going wherever. I'm not looking to go any right way or wrong way. I'm just checking out areas that I haven't um, finished yet. Just exploring. What's inside the bell? Huh. No reason, as far as I'm aware, not yet at least. It's funny because even though this game still, you know, looks... It definitely looks better than it did. It has some crust. There's, there's a little bit of crust. Yet, there are moments when the game looks gorgeous. Huh. Oh, fuck. Oh, I didn't get the shard! Almost done watching that Chrono Trigger run. It was a good one. It was really, really entertaining. And it makes me feel so shitty about the way I play the game. But yeah, they almost broke... Um, spoiler, there's, there's a moment where there's a hug in the game, where Luca hugs Chrono. You know what I'm talking about, without spoiling Chrono Trigger, but... Or I'll try not to, at least, in case I do stream it again, which I will eventually. But there is a moment at the end of the game-ish where you are hugged by Luca, and it's a really... It's a really nice moment. And they were so close to get, to breaking their goal at that exact moment. And I really, really wish they would have. Vinny, submit your Zelda 2 speedrun. I think someone did for me. I'm not even kidding, I'm on the speedrun website. Chrono Trigger slash Cross Orchestra Soundtrack Collection. I saw something about that. It's just new versions of the songs. Which soundtrack do you like more, Chrono Cross or Chrono Trigger? Oh, man. Yes. Vinny, you're placed number nine for Zelda 2, 100% world record is 56 minutes. Your run is four hours, 14 minutes. Hell yeah, top 10. I agree. Jeff just said it's kind of weird someone submitting runs under his name. I was also a little bit weirded out by that, but um, the good news is the person who submitted the runs gave me the username and password to that website. Under my name. I told them, you know, they can still submit runs for me if they want, it's fine. But yeah, I agree, it was weird. I was like, wait a minute, who is submitting this? What, 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 what the fuck is this? I'm no speedrunner. Oh, wow. Good thing I have this large, annoying green circle around my character. For just such an occasion. Isn't that where you fight, Jeep? Jeep. Jeep, it's B. Very up. Legendary equipment, R. Oh, shit. Now I can make legendary equipment. Vinny, pick a shovelware game and do a speedrun of that. Nobody will care enough to claim the record. In that case, I probably have several dozen world records.
We make the pants. We make the pants. That's right! Second bookcase under the stairs you missed. Okay. I want to recommend a movie called People Under the Stairs if anyone hasn't seen that film. Would you recommend Harrison Ford Under the Floorboards? That was another classic movie. I might need to farm these for a second. Oh my god. Why did it yeet so far? These fairies don't drop wings? Oh, someone said they did. The red ones do? Cyber Akuma. I've seen you for years and years in my chat. Years. How dare you lead me wrong this one time? It's Akuma? Alright. I've known you for years, I still don't know how to pronounce your name. Years and years. Okay, I can make the best weapons now. Yo, we the best weapons! I can't make them yet, but eventually I'll be able to make them. The Oracle Blade, which is an improved flying edge. Oh, fuck. The Rava Velar. This is the, um, Chrysogram. I need... four of those. I need... Yeah, I'm gonna need a lot of stuff if I'm gonna build this weapon. This is the best weapon in the game. Just about. Promise you'll stop Jeebel no matter what. Jeebel. As soon as I stop laughing about his name, I will be able to do that, yes. As soon as you stop Caleb. Hello, I am the demon lord Caleb. Welcome to my lair. What? What did you just say? I said, I am the demon lord Caleb, Jamie, and I will lead to your demise. Caleb? Yes. Are you also the Shockmaster? Yes. Are you also Captain Falcon with a sore throat? Yes. Valkyrie dress. War maiden. A war maiden's distinct dress. Defense 40, luck 7. Extra luck is always good. Especially. Getting them items. Oh, this actually changes. Oh, shit. This is the first time that my outfit has changed. Oh, oh okay. Okay. Inverse. How the fuck would you ever find that? A breastplate that nullifies all damage from traps and hazardous environments. Some people said they found it by total accident. I probably would have just gone to every area I hadn't been to, so there is a clue. It wasn't a great clue, but it's, you know, you could eventually stumble onto it, but most people in chat seem to say but they found it through a guide. Someone said I didn't find it. I tanked the spikes with health po health potions. You spiked the tanks? All right, cool. Uh, so that's a good thing. I know where to go too. But where do I go to fight uh, to get the fairy wings? Uh, underground sorcery lab. Let me just stand here and take damage. That's cool. Wait, they're here? Wrong lab? Oh, this is the secret one. Labkins. Babkins. Blapkins. Hey, I mean, the good news about that voice, the Chris D'Elia Eminem voice that I do, which is me doing an impression of an impression that is intentionally poor. But the good news about that for me is that if I ever want someone to just, like, stop talking to me and leave, like, if I really need some alone time, I can just do that voice. Anyway, yeah, I got the wing. What, what did I even fucking need it for? Oh, the regeneration shard. Hang on a minute. Uh, no, I needed crimsonite and demon wing. So no, no oracle blade, but I can get regeneration, which I'm gonna need. Or at least I, I think I'm gonna need. I'm, I'm gonna want it. I'll go with this. Now I just need to enhance... I'll go with potion. This. Potion. Potion. High potion. High potion. 
high potion. Come back. I need EX potions. Oh, I don't know. Uh, um, I need high potions and panacea. Four high potions and panacea's. Oh man, look at all them panacea's I'm gonna need. Fucking hell, panacea. That's panacea. It's like the Italian Pinocchio. How come I can't buy more? You have no more? She has no more? There's a cap. Oh! It's just a low cap, but I, it makes sense, because then you'd just be able to cheese your way through all the bosses. I'll go with this. But I could really only make that one just now. So I have to do this, go back, get more, do this. It'll be worth it. I'll go with this. I only need one more. This will get me to rank nine. What are you looking to buy? Oh, I can. Oh my god, I could buy it for ten G. Fuck. Right? Can I help you Jesus. Else? Cox. Is this right? Thank you. Thank you. I hope regeneration is worth it. I'll go with this. So now it's Stop just a skill. So now I regenerate all the time. It's a very, very, very small amount of regeneration. It needs to be grade 9, not just rank 9. So what you're telling me is I now need to... What are we transmuting this time? I... Wait. I need to craft more of them? Alright. Um... Alright then. Vinny, do you have any plans on returning to Void Bastards? You know, I totally forgot about that fucking game. Uh, yeah, there's a big, like, update coming to the game. They're adding a new weapon and new ships and stuff, and I definitely will return to it when I have some time. I'm not planning on grinding for the regeneration upgrade entirely, but I figure I could get at least a little bit more of an upgrade. Just get, like, one or two more. So it's one. Let me just get a couple more. Oh, they have healing as well, yeah. Apparently healing is better. Yeah, the healing one is the one that costs MP and lots of it. Even having a smaller amount of passive regeneration is pretty nice. So I'm, I'm very okay with it. You're just gonna have to hear these noises for the next three minutes. Just turn your volume all the way up, and if your parents ask what it is, just tell them it's porn. It'll be less embarrassing that way. Oh man, I should play that... I should play that monkey game clip. Can someone get me the clip of the monkey game? Where I lost my fucking mind? Oh, okay, I got one more at least. Oh! I believe that's the clip. That's the... that's the one, right? Oh. Oh. <laughs> you combine the music with the sound effects of the monkeys, and it sounds like a <laughs> My stomach hurts. Oh, fuck. I can't play. I can't. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> That's that one. <laughs> that one. That's the best one. <laughs> Holy fuck. Oh god, and then you add the sword grunt. Oh, that's even better. Alright, uh, I could just make a couple more of these. Two. I'll go with this. That's it. I mean, it might be a little bit better. Promise you'll stop. Jeeble. Yeah, now it's three. <laughs> you know, whatever. Promise you'll stop. Stop what? Screaming. There was a, apparently a treasure chest that I couldn't get on the boat. 
Is that worth going back for, you think? I mean, I'm going there now. It's a hairstyle. Okay, uh... Well... First big room... To your right... Right side. Yeah, fuck it, let's go do it. The boat's still a-rockin'. Even though it's been beached for a very long time. When, when the boat's still a-rockin', don't come a-knockin'. There it is. Someone said, which Pirates of the Caribbean is this? The one where Captain Jack Frost... ...goes into... ...the Kraken's... ...lair. But who the fuck is Jack Frost? E ho Oh, 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 from, um... ...from the Virtual Boy game I played. That is... <laughs> that is how I know Jack Frost from Virtual Boy. Oh, okay, it is this way. I thought it was to the right. I don't know. Oh. Fuck you. Fuck me. Fuck you. Aegeus, huh? Aegeus was actually the name of my old World of Warcraft guild. If you can believe it. Got a fucking World of Warcraft guild. Yeah, it's about- it's a shield thing. It's a type of shield. An Aegeus. Vinny, I thought an Aegeus was someone that didn't believe in gosh. Now, listen. If you don't believe in gosh, you're gonna go to heck. So... You know, your soul could still be saved. But... Only gosh will be able to determine whether or not you go to heck. Uh, heaven, sorry. So this castle also has... A, a piece of Japan in it. Interesting. So many games have had Japan Zone in them late, lately. I'm at the point where I don't even want to use the move because I don't want to hear her say Tis Rezion. The hell? Is this where Zengetsu is from? An actual ninja. It's been here. That ninja has been in this castle for thousands of years, just waiting for someone to show up. Weird. Portal 2. Ninjas drop crimsonite. Oh, no shit. There's got to be an achievement for this. Oh, shit. I've alerted the ninjas. I really can't escape Sekiro, can I? Shinobi garb. It's got good attack, it's got less luck, allows you to move silently. I'm gonna leave this on because luck. The amount of area variation in this game is good, is very good, yes I agree. So good. I agree, I think it's, it's got a lot of good variety. This is for high jump. Now I can do the fake Alucard thing. Yeah, this is the move from the, uh, Egovania games of the past. Okay, so... I wanna go to fake Alucard now. Yeah, you still get double jump, that's great. Okay. Okay! So... he is... Vinny, you have a quest done. Oh, I do have a quest done. Crimsonite. Much needed. So, he's at the, the Livra Ex Machina- no, where- where is this? Son of a bitch. I am interested in this. There he is. <laughs> Deja Vu is the name of the achievement I just got. 
Do I really have to keep doing this? Nose glasses. Okay, well, he just got fucking blasted. I'm wondering if that's it. Eyeglasses with false nose attached to the frame. Okay, that's it. And did you not see the other chest? Oh, there it is. Macaroni and cheese? Amazing. It's got luck, too. But I'm gonna keep using my plunderer's ring. Because rare items is good. He's based! It turns out this was another sorcery library. Uh, sorcery... ...lab. How many fucking sorcery labs are in this castle? Shuriken. Oh, it's like Spear. Almost the exact same thing. Vinny, please heal. I am. 3 HP at a time. It's amazing how I just went through this massive Lord of the Rings phase again. As I do every couple years. Every four or five years. And yet me just saying taters makes me want to rewatch. Even though I just saw the movies, uh, three times each. What's... what's taters? What's... what's taters, eh? What's taters, this precious? Is that a boss door? Mini boss? Oh, I'm definitely not down for that. Jesus. Another Crimsonite. I, wouldn't, I definitely don't want to die now. No! Another Crimsonite. Demon Wing. Good fucking drops. A Fuda Talisman. Ritual Eastern Talisman and Beauty Protection of Akami. Why is it now only healing one HP? There he is. I've been waiting for you, Miriam. What's wrong with his fucking face? Why has he got like an Elvis snar snarl? Oh, we got a lightning sword too now. It really is Sekiro. Tried to do the discharge, but couldn't do it. Oh, shit! Ooh. Nope! Fuck that move. I- I am not doing this fight again, holy fuck. Okay, well, good thing I didn't have to. Enough. Goodbye, sponge cake. Blood Ew. Why did you just- Why did you just eat that blood? That's disgusting. Zengetsu means fresh blood? Oh. Finny wrong, Jape. It's not fresh blood. It doesn't mean fresh blood. Okay. All right, chat. Thanks. But wait. A great blade who bear whose bearers are given the name Zengetsu or Moon Sunderer. Fresh blood, eh? Wow, that's very good. That's very, very good. Holy dick! What the fuck is going on here? Did I just miss dialogue? Okay, this isn't good. Yeah. 
Is it easy being this cheesy? The answer is yes. I'm still almost dead. One more of them there knives might might kill me. It's cheese. Cheese. Uh, w was there a fucking point to that? Those were chisels, not knives. He has a shard and item drops. So you you can come back. It. Oh god, he's farmable. <laughs> Oh my god. You have to grind that boss for an item for ultimate weapons. Fair enough. Use pickpocket shard and Reva Villar to farm for items without having to kill him. Okay, that can be useful in the future. Just looking around here. So, I got some... I can make an oracle blade. I got plenty of crimsonite. Demon horns. Oh, fuck. There. Those are really, really good. Wow! Mate! See if you can make Bright Sword... Dias... Irai... I don't even see it here. Still, this weapon's pretty fucking badass. I am very happy with this selection. See if you can craft a better familiar. Your floating sword did 8 damage per hit. I don't... Yeah, I don't think I can do that. Just yet. It's the only thing I can't actually upgrade. I need sword fragments. Um, yeah. Well, actually, let me let me check out one thing. The chrysogram. I, I, I know it's not a real chrysogram, it's it's something else, but... Staying close enough. Did tonight. you get the chest in the big room before Jeebel? So, what yes. Be? I think I did, yes. Which is why I can craft the broccoli weapon. Or I will be able to. The rev of... So, um, I need more Rava Baral. I need Embrued Fang and Sharp Razor. The Matt Chrysogram for not Chrysogram is from another secret boss. So it's not like Symphony of the Night randomized where I could just get the weapon in the first five minutes of gameplay. Um, okay. Let's, um, let's stop here. Got some new weapons. Still love this game. Vinny, have you explained the Vine Sword tonight? Mm, no, but have you, chat, seen this weapon? Have you guys seen this particular weapon? A sword of vines that utilizes an ancient corruption magic. Isn't that interesting? Someone said, wow, what genius thought up that description. I know, right? I still don't have spaghetti. So, I'm trying to make spaghetti. Um, also, Rip Torn died. The actor Rip Torn died. And this is going to sound kind of cold, but I thought he died like five years ago. He played Freddy's fa uh, father and Freddy got fingered. That's his most notable role. No, he was, <laughs> he was in Men in Black. He was in a lot of stuff. Rip Torn is a very famous actor. But... I, I had uh, extreme Mandela effect. I might have even said on some on some stream in the past that I thought Rip Torn was dead. So that was weird. Anyway, rest in peace, Rip Torn. Rip Rip Torn. Um, I don't have. Hang on a minute. Well, let me just check one more time. Mm, no, I don't have proper spaghetti. If I'm gonna get, uh, I need I need the. If I'm gonna get her her spaghetti, I'm gonna need the recipe. Yeah, he robbed a bank and drank a lot, Rip Torn. So, that- that's something that happened, too. I don't know, Gord! That's fucking soap on a rope, Gord! Best known... ...for his role in Frederick Got Fingered. God, what a credit. He thought the bank was his house and broke into it because he was so drunk. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. What a- <laughs> It's funny because I just accepted that, like, oh, that's fine. Uh... I'm gonna just look on the map for some stuff. I- I have things that I have to do still, but there's other things that I haven't, uh, done. Wait, what am I saying? Yeah, there's things that I have to do still that I have not been able to do. Did you do the 8-bit boss yet? No. Vinny, what were you saying about copyright claims? Okay, so, uh, YouTube made a couple positive changes in the right direction, believe it or not, for the, um, copyrights. 
This doesn't affect most people, and I get that many people would just be totally disinterested, but the truth is, for people that make videos, it's it's really nice. It makes it harder to scum people over. You need to provide an exact timestamp of where the copyrighted content is, if you claim. And um, you, you also now, as a creator, have better tools for getting rid of the offending content. And I think they're changing more stuff in the future as well, so... Someone said, nice, the rich get richer. I, I think you misunderstand. The truth is that companies were taking advantage of people making videos, and now it's harder for them to do that. This is something that should have been looked at years ago, and, and just wasn't. Finny, play the Beatles to celebrate. Well, well, hang on a minute. If I played the Beatles, it would still get claimed. It's just false claims are a lot more difficult to do now. Um, but if I did play the Beatles, then the tools are now in place to remove the Beatles song more easily, but it would still be just an empty space. Like, you'd, you'd hear the stream, and then it would just go blank. You would hear nothing, and then I would come back after the Beatles song is removed. Awful. Vinny, how do you get the Oracle Blade? I built it. It's not an easy one to build, but it's worth it. It's so good. Meat dish. I got a meat dish. It's not spaghetti, but it'll do. Try the 8-bit nightmare again. Um... Alright. Yeah, I know where to go. I'm just gonna warp there. Um, I could use a stone. There's an HP MP above the gate to the castle. Holy fuck, you were right. Just, <laughs> just screaming. For no reason. So... Final Fantasy... is a game... Final Fantasy IX, which I just streamed. All you future full sauce viewers. All three of you. It's a hard game to actually... bullshit... during. Because I read. I have to read. And, um... kind of be engaged in the game. So whenever I do a very story-heavy game, I have to, like, kind of mentally prepare for it a little bit, which is why I don't do too many RPGs in a row these days. I used to do RPG after RPG after RPG, which, one, the audience wasn't really into, and two, I wasn't really into, because I was just getting burnt out on them. I enjoy them very much. In fact, especially, uh, well, mainly the ones I know and love, because I feel like I'm reading a story to my children. Or I'm watching my favorite movie with my friends, and I really like that aspect of it. Vinny, what about Dragon Quest Builders 2 that has a ton of reading? Oh, I'm not streaming that whole game. Dragon Quest Builders 2 is not going to be a full stream. I'm going to be playing a lot of that on my own, and I'm also going to be skipping some dialogue. But I will be streaming it for sure. I just don't think I'm going to have the patience to stream all of it. And I want to play it, like, I'm getting it on the Switch so I can play it portably. The dialogue is half the fun in Dragon Quest, please don't skip. Well, you don't have to watch if, um, I stream the game in a displeasing way. So that's one. Uh, two. The tutorial of Dragon Quest Builders 2 had more dialogue than almost all of the beginning of Final Fantasy IX. Obviously, that's- I'm just being a dick when I say it like that, but it was a lot of reading. And if I'm going to be doing Final Fantasy IX, there's not a chance in hell I'm also going to do another reading-heavy game, you know, in, in its full glory. And I'm sorry for that. Please feel free to enjoy the game yourself, as I always say. I'm sure it's good writing, and I'm very, you know, I'm, I'm interested to read it to myself. Uh, but when I stream it, it's going to be a lot of, like, questing and building and just fucking around. Vinny, read a book on stream. You know, it's easy to joke about it, and I- Listen, I do appreciate that people want to watch me stream these games. Um, the flip side of all this is that... People do want to watch, and people do want me to experience a game and enjoy it as well, and I- I do appreciate that. Like, I can't sit here and be like a complete asshole about it. Because... That's really nice. But I have my limits, and I know if I do too many story-heavy games at the same time... And I'm, like, reading out loud over and over and over and over again. I'm just gonna get so burnt out. And I'm not gonna even want to stream. I'm not gonna look forward to it. Which is why Dragon Quest is gonna be a game that I enjoy very much. But a lot of it's gonna be enjoyed on my own. But I'm also kind of pissed because Mario Maker just came out. And now Dragon Quest Builders is coming out. 
it's like, God damn it. And I've been obsessed with Minecraft again, obviously. It's it's a lot of building. It's like an overload of building lately. Vinny, you said you're gonna check out um, Dragon Quest XI S off stream, right? Yep. That'll be my first legit Dragon Quest game. Um, when it comes out on the Switch, I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna check it out. Probably not gonna stream it. Maybe one time, if that. Just to show it off. But uh, yeah, it's a game I want to see. I want to give it a chance. I want to see if, if it's something that I stick with. I suspect I won't. I know it's a really, really long game, but Nintendo's Treehouse just fucking sold me on it so much. Shit. Oh boy, I forgot to buy potions. And I have no food. Oh god, I'm dead. Good run. Run past enemies. Well, I I don't want to run past. I need their um their shards, but I will run past more enemies than I did last time. It someone just said it said that Vinny isn't abusing those shards that he has. Well, the word abusing makes me seem like makes it seem like they're like broken. But which which shards are you talking about? Infernal breath. Oh, this one. Okay. So, Stranger Things Season 3, I ended up getting kind of invested in. Talked about it a bit, I didn't watch all of it yet. I'm like, probably like four and a half, five episodes in. It's pretty good this season. I'm not gonna spoil, I'm not gonna spoil, but... I'm definitely, um, enjoying more of it than I did last season. <clears throat> for sure. The nostalgia of the show is one thing, the characters are actually kind of endearing. But, the fact that they built a mall... I gotta give them credit for that. And, like, they have a scene where it's a full 360-degree view, and then they, like, just CG JC Penny's in. So, yeah, it's been pretty good. I haven't, you know, I don't love it, love it, love it. Um, some people are obsessive over the show. I think it's a perfectly entertaining, fun show. I enjoy the weird, you know, supernatural stuff, and the mystery of it, but I don't get obsessive over it. I don't buy waffles because of the show, let's just say that. But it's- it's good. I enjoy it. The acting is good, too, all around, pretty much. I'd say almost everyone does a good job. Especially that Finn Wolfhard guy. Vinny, just letting you know the price for beating this boss isn't worth it. Is anything ever worth it? I mean, I'm here, I'm gonna do it. Oh wow, that is a really good one. Wow, these fucking patterns. Worth it. Eight bit nightmare I just got. What is this? It's used to upgrade the eight bit coin weapons. Wait, does that mean I can farm that dude? Voice crack? He drops a book and a shard? Oh dear god. If you want to max out his shard, you have to farm him. Oh boy. If I ever did that, it would be off stream. If I ever, ever did that. Someone in chat just said I fought him 50 plus times. I believe you. I believe that. I mean... Uh, I don't know what kind of, like, challenges are in this game that would require you to farm someone that many times. I mean, there's mini-bosses and a bunch of other fucking things that... You can farm to get materials that take forever to kill. So, I mean, there's, there's like a lot of farming in this game if you want to do it, but it doesn't seem like it's necessary, or mandatory. Jesus. How the fuck do I get to that- oh! Oh! There's a lot of yeeting in that room. Crimsonite equipment. Um, so today I had a chance to play a little bit of Minecraft. Not too much. I just like to let anyone who's who's interested in this information know some details. Details are as follows. One, I made my water elevator look cooler. Slightly. I still can't figure out the soul s uh, sand nonsense, which I would like to eventually figure that out. Um, and two, I built some paths around the lava to make it easier to traverse and, uh, wander about 
and I probably set down a good four or five hundred cobblestone, which isn't that much. But I ran out, so I had to then spend almost the entirety of a diamond pickaxe finding more. And that's where I left off. Vinny, it needs to be a column of water source blocks, meaning you need to place a bucket for every block of water in the column. I might have to watch a video tutorial on that, because I don't un I- I'm like stupid, and I, that doesn't register. You have a shaft of downward flowing water, you can turn them all into source blocks by forcing kelp to grow up the shaft with bone meal. I th think I understand. Yeah, I get it now. Okay, got it. Got it. So you gotta do a lot of bucket. Did you know that Robin on Stranger Things is Uma Thurman's daughter? Uma Thurman and Ethan Hawke. I don't know what made me think of that. Uma Thurman is so fucking good. She's a great actress, but... Kill Bill? God damn. Gary Busey has a son that looks just like him. Yep, and he's also in Stranger Things. He was in Starship Troopers as well. Jake Busey. It's a really interesting video I was watching. I don't know if anyone has any... I mean, this is Hollywood actor bullshit. You might not be into, into, into this, interested in it, whatever, but I'll tell you anyway. It was uh, Jim Carrey, Sasha Baron Cohen, Don Cheadle, um, Ted Danson, Henry Winkler, and some other lad talking comedy. All in just a room. It's like an hour and 15 minute conversation. And it gets really strange at times. I, I haven't finished watching it, but... Uh, Jim Carrey is a weird fucking dude. Ted Danson was a comedian. Oh, I can't exit this way. Never mind then. Uh, Ted Danson, yeah, I mean, he's done comedy. I don't think he's like, he, in, in Cheers, he played kind of like the everyman, so he wasn't really, like, the funny guy. And Henry Winkler is, I mean, he's done comedy, but he also does dramatic roles, uh, but he does the comedic stuff in Barry, so he's, you know, a Don Cheadle, though, War Machine in the Marvel Universe. He's done a lot of comedy. He's done a lot of stuff. He's had a really crazy career so far. Um, someone in chat just said he doesn't even focus on the game, lol. I, I'm literally just going to a save point and, and going back and forth through rooms Stop I've been in already. Vinny, why do you read the troll comments? LOL. Great. Come back. Uh, it's it's fun. I read all the comments, not just the troll ones. Vinny, how many eggs can you consume? I uh, in one sitting, three, three or four. Well, I mean it depends. In an omelet, three. I think three is optimal omelet for me depending on the other ingredients, but four is... if there's nothing else, it's just egg. I can... and I'm hungry, I could do four egg. But, uh, I think three is... is optimal. For an omelette. And two is good if you have other things like toast and bacon. Kinda just looking for areas I haven't been to at this point. There's still so much castle remaining. So, I defeated... Zangetsu, I went... to hell. I got... the jump. I got new hair. <laughs> Miriam is now styling. Uh, Vinny, do you eat eggs with the shell on or off? The shell's the best part, dude. It reminds me, it's like egg chips. It's like uh, potato chips, but egg. Yolk or no yolk. What did I get? You mastered the technique? Okay, and that means what exactly? You can do it with any spear now. Oh, cool! Okay, so... And egg, let's just for a minute go back to egg while I scour this area for more things. So I do bacon, egg, and cheese a lot, like maybe twice a week. Bacon, egg, and cheese is the perfect food to start a day with. You got your, your bacon, you got your meat, you got your protein, you got your egg, which is more protein. I think the cheese is got milk in it. <laughs> I only know what protein is, that's it. I'm sorry, I don't know anything else. Um, so anyway, bacon, egg, and cheese, I like it fried as opposed to scrambled. So I mostly like scrambled eggs, I, li I like scrambled eggs a lot, but 
I'm just saying fried eggs on a bacon, egg, and cheese. You, you get a little runny yolk in there. It's even better. Fuck. Hungry now. Do you eat your scrambled eggs with or without the shell? Uh, always with the shell. If you just put a little bit of, like, chives on the shell, it's- it's- it's good. Okay, so I've- I've done most stuff. I mean, there's- there's one thing up here I, I don't think I've, I've done. Um, now is the time where I will ask chat for a little bit of, uh, guy dance. Go to- go to Jeeble. Vinny needs a therapist. Wait a minute, it hasn't- you, you're telling me it hasn't been working? Shit. I thought eating eggs with shells on were- were- was good. I also eat bananas <laughs> with the peel on. Man, watermelon shells are also really good, like the skin of a watermelon. I throw away the inside, I just eat that shit. Mm. I also- I, uh, my favorite fast food restaurant is Burger Skin. Alright, I, I think we've had enough. Move on, next bit. Vinny, do you like your chicken with or without feathers? <laughs> Them feathers is tasty, man! I keep trying to attack the moon, but it's not working. No, chat actually didn't spoil. There it is. That was the spoil. The- the spoil was you attack it when it's red, At but last, they didn't spoil that I had to attack the moon. Is mine. Think again. Just the-, the uh, someone gave me a tip and said, read the name of the sword. Read the description. And I was like, oh, I guess I have to kill the moon. Vinny, you missed out on an ending? Did I? I already got the bad ending. Like, three streams ago. There are two bad endings. Okay, well, I'm good on the you second one. You won't be able to do it without the Lieber Logaioth. An old took that. Then I need to track down Alfred. Gremory will be after him, too. Tracking Gremory might be faster. The moon, you mean? I'll try it. Wait, what do you mean, the moon? Oh, God, I know there's a room. There is a moon room. Not moon runes, moon room. <laughs> I remember making note of that. I was like, well, what the fuck is going on with that weird moon? It's a weird ma, there's a weird looking moon! I thought it was a glitch. So it was either the cathedral or it was Oriental uh no, it's 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 uh entrance or cathedral. It's near the garden, so that would be entrance. You're wrong, Mario! You don't eat pizza like that, Mario! But seriously, what do you do when you have eight slices of pizza and you have three people? You know, one person has to take the hit and be like, Oh, I'm good, I'm not hungry. But they, you know, that's bullshit. I've done that. You know, I've, I've, ooh, here it is. I've done that where I've been the one that said, Oh, I, two's fine. That's awesome. That was so fucking awesome. This game has a lot of moments I will remember for, I think, I think a very long time. This ended up being a very good game. I'm happy it turned out good. So this is like the castle, but demons. And big frogs. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. It's not that the frogs are big. It's, it's that I am small. Ega! I see what we're doing, Iga. We're inverting castles, and now we're making the character small. Yeah, the rooms are about normal size. It's just a matter of... The enemies are, are like, kind of... Massive? Or I'm small? I don't know. You... Dumb. Dumb. Dumb, dumb. You fucking dumb, dumb. What happened here? Master... That run cycle. Who did this to you? Yeah, everyone is here. I... I thought Alfred was our enemy. Dominique seemed so keen on pitting me against the old alchemist that I decided to have a word with him after you and I fought. And unfortunately, he confirmed my suspicion. Which is? Dominique has been manipulating us this whole time. I'm not certain why. Uh, wait, what? She grimmering? If her mastery of subspace allows her to move subspace. about freely, 
like Star Trek communication subspace. Jonathan Frakes did something recently amazing. He revisited his fact or fiction character for some show on Netflix and talked about Roombas and he cursed. It was amazing. Man, we just lost Gerbil and Old. No one else has a nickname. You can call Zangetsu Snake. Yeah, I don't want to typecast David Hayter, who's clearly David Hayter in every game. But I'm okay with that. I love him. I love him so much. I want to hear him all the time. My name is Jonathan Frakes. He looks like fucking Orson Welles in his old age. And I'm going to explain the dark net. I don't if think you I can show very much of this because um, it might get claimed. Third parties. A robotic vacuum. Maybe you did. Files metadata. Your location is stored in the image files metadata. Maybe you did. Are you also aware that when you buy a robotic vacuum cleaner like this, <laughs> you give the company permission to take measurements of your home and give that data to third parties? Fucking outrageous. <laughs> By the way, the company that makes these vacuum cleaners is called iRobot. Like the Will Smith movie, where robots try to destroy humanity. I, and there's a little more. There, there, there's a little more, but yeah. It's just amazing he's embracing this, and, and his... He's reached, like, kind of this, um... Meta... I don't want to say meme status, but, like... I'm glad people are giving Jonathan Frakes... His long overdue... Credit for being Jonathan Frakes. I mean, he had the Riker maneuver, too. So, I mean, even in Star Trek, he had his own thing. He had the, the Riker maneuver, which is the way he sat over a chair. Neil Cicerega did a parody of him called Beyond Believability. I did see that, too, yeah. Let me at least show you the Riker maneuver. Also, I the, the Riker manure. Um, so, if you watch Star Trek, the, the, most of you know this. Most of you have seen this on this stream. But I feel like I've explained it enough, or I've talked about it enough, I've referenced it enough that I should probably explain it, or show it, now, at this point in time. So this is the way Riker sat in chairs through all now. seven seasons of Star Trek The Next Generation. The Every goddamn time. We're ready to get underway. Grand. And that's Come called the Riker Maneuver. Zero, three, zero, zero. Look, even the way he gets up from the chair. <laughs> that's amazing! Why? Well, I have an answer, and I'll tell you why. Just, just keep looking. Look. You don't look like a person who Amazing. Laugh. Just keeps doing it. Every goddamn time, dude does it. Look at, look at that Hi. fucking. Okay. Alpha. We went through some serious times. We what did he do here? Did he do the same thing? Yep, he did it. It's just off camera. So there's a reason um, he did that. One, Jonathan Frakes has a bad back. He's a very tall man to start, and his back is a little fucked up, and doing a lot of takes, you know, five, six, seven in a row, having to sit down, stand up, sit down, stand up with a bad back is not good for you. So he devised a way to just sit over the chair, and he said it, it actually helped his, um, his back, or rather didn't make it worse. Vinny, I saw every season since I was 16, I'm your age, and I've never noticed it, I'm freaking out. I didn't notice it either, I remember seeing the whole series, and some episodes multiple times, and as soon as someone, like, told me about it, I was like, no. The Picard shirt tug is also a thing, that's called the Picard maneuver. That one you can't help but notice. Um, even Data emulates the Picard maneuver when he becomes captain in a, in a couple episodes. But I think there's one in particular where he's trying to, like, use what he learned from being around Captain Picard to be a better captain. I'm gonna go back that way. Someone said go left. There's a cool shard, so I'm gonna do that. And, uh, he does the Picard maneuver where he pulls his shirt down. There's a reason for that, too. It's that those shirts would scrunch up. Those- the uniforms that they wore would scrunch up. So whenever you would sit and then stand, it would look like crap. So in order to make the shirts look good, you'd have to, like, tug down on it. And Patrick Stewart found a way to incorporate it into his character. 
So you can Google the Picard maneuver if you want to see that one. There's also the real Picard maneuver. Is that um, one of his moves in the show where he like does a very specific thing to like, you know, I don't know how to explain it. It's when you warp right up to a ship and drop out of warp and attack, I think. Oh, that's cool because every show since TNG has used that in some form and every J.J. Abrams version of Star Trek and Discovery, they just always, as um, Red Letter Media rightly noted, they always warp directly in front of the thing because it looks cool. Not because it makes sense or it's safe, just it looks cool. The saucer separation thing was in production. They thought it would be really cool if the Enterprise could have um, two parts and they could separate from each other. And they wrote how it would happen and they used it in the first episode and I think like two more episodes. It was going to be like a big thing for the Enterprise D to be able to separate. But it was apparently expensive to film and they couldn't figure out other ways to like utilize it so they only incorporated it into a couple more episodes and that was it. They did use it in Generations, yes. Or unless, wait a minute, in Generations, didn't didn't the Enterprise just get destroyed? But was it a saucer separation first? Oh, it was both. Okay, never mind. Okay. It's better that they didn't overuse it, I think. I, I, I agree. I'm fine with them not overusing it. So one of the better features of this Oracle Blade is that you don't hear Miriam scream as much. When you're walking in particular. Oh, this is a race? Accelerator, move more quickly. Yes. Oh, oh, you gotta press R1. Okay, great. Well, this is so much better than using the spear. This is like the thing from uh, Dawn of Sorrow. And Aria of Sorrow, the, the fucking panther soul. Time to zip zoom all over the fucking place. Well, this game just got even better. Aria all the way up to Order of Ecclesia has speed abilities. I remember it in Portrait. I don't remember Ecclesia. When I stream Order of Ecclesia eventually, whenever the fuck that's gonna happen, probably a while from now, just because this game is so big. Um, but when I stream Order of Ecclesia, it'll be very unfamiliar to me. Vinny, you can, com you can repeat that to go even faster. So wait, 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 you're saying I can go down there, race him again, and get the soul again. I mean, it's already pretty hard to control. I'm good. Don't need it. Only rank increases speed, not grade. When you say rank, you mean... I I'm sorry, brain stupid, but... Rank meaning I have to farm the guy that many more times. Rank is upgrading. Oh, okay. You would think I would know these things by now, right? Wow, I can zip zoom through the air? This is... I mean, I was already pretty fast with the spear, but this is like a new level of speed to the point where I'm dying because, you know, it's too fast. I had 666 MP until just now and I'm upset. I'm upset. I wanted to keep 666, but oh well. You can also get Rava Villar now. The Chrysogram. The Vorpal Blade. The Sword of a Thousand Truths. The Valmen Way. Mahogany. Rick Deckard. Custom Star Wars figures. Club Stank. Vinny, are we just saying names and phrases now? Yep! <laughs> Wait, can I really get that thing now, or do I need to- I need to farm a little bit for it, right? Like, I need to get the, um, the other blades. You have to use the Millionaire's Key to get the Embrued Fang for the sword. Oh, I see. 
So first off, who has the um, the ravas, the the other ingredient that I need? If anyone knows, Todd. Thanks. Forgot about them. Vinny, you need the DLC for the boss in Jeebel's room. You didn't buy it. It would be on your quest list. What? I mean, they gave me the key. I mean, I have a sword in the game. You'd expect I'd have the DLC. Weird. He's talking about Ega DLC, not the millionaire fight. Okay. All hair unlocked. <laughs> Boy, farming is a lot more fun now. So I needed the sharp razor, or it was the the, the Rava sword, the the fucking fast one. Oh, I got here it is. I needed both. Okay, I think I have enough. Four of each. All right, I'll just get a couple more of each then. There's another Rava and another razor. I th think I'm good. Yep, got it. That was quick. That was really fucking quick. Now I can use the millionaire's key. Millionaire's room. Why is there a bunny in the background watching? I have to defeat Pachinko. This is the Konami room, holy fuck. Three sevens will instantly kill the boss? That's wonderful. No, Bunny Yasando, you cannot fight. Alright, there we go. Got it. I didn't get anything from it. You can drop a sword, too. Sorry, Chad, I, I have to do some farming now. Should go more quick. More quicklier. If he gets three sevens, then we good. Um, yeah, I have decent luck. I also have decent, um, I have item gear. I have gear that drops better items. Try the pickpocket shard? I don't think I have that. You do? Oh, okay. I like how people in chat know... <laughs> it just occasionally steals gold, not items. Oh, items too, yeah. People in chat know my items and my shards better than I do. The slot machine is weak to lightning and blunt attacks. Like a Gotti will damage it? Apparently there's a cheesy way to do this fight, and this is it right here. Oh yeah, you can pump that move. Someone just said you can pump the move. Vinny, there's an item on the ground that you missed. Really? What was the item? The item? Fuck! I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm so sorry! That could have been the item. Going again. Try a couple more times. It's quicker this way, though. You're gonna hear a lot of... Okay, I've had enough of that. Um, Inferno Breath might do more damage. Let's try it. I think it does faster damage. It just runs out of uh, MP quicker. Oh, shit. If you use the sword, it's better because it causes him to spin the slots. Oh, okay. Got the fang. Got it. Oh, God damn it. I got the kill. No, it wasn't worth it. But I got the item from using this thing, so I'm happy about that. Now I can make the best sword in the game, or one of. Vinny, buy more items for your fairy. I will. Remind me next time I stream this, because uh, at this moment I'm just going to build that sword. Here it is. I'll go with this. I'm so excited. Yep, so this weapon's pretty badass. Now, if you combine this with... Optimizer. Like a fully leveled up Optimizer. Why, you can zip zoom and use the weapon. 
No, Dominique is gone. Hello, miss. <laughs> There's an enemy in the den of behemoths whose shard gives you a chance to heal each time you hit an enemy. Oh god, that sounds also like amazing. This poor old lady still doesn't have her spaghetti. Um, before I go, I just want to test this out on something. What was the- not the millionaire's key, what was the other place? It was- it was this, I think. Um, it was another mini-boss that had farming potential. The carpenter? Where was that son of a bitch? Warhorse is the last key you need, by the way. Okay, yeah, I don't have that one. This weapon is amazing. And- and gloriously broken. Okay, someone had an idea, which is to double this. I need lifesteal. Farming is great. Farming is easy, but I need lifesteal now. Drain is a crafted shard. What- the- the chance to heal per hit, that's- that's the thing I was hoping to get. Oh well. Maybe I should have just been a little bit more careful. I'm not invincible. The game isn't that broken. It's the worst death ever. All right. Uh, thank you for watching. More Bloodstained soon. We'll, we'll break the game further, and I don't know when we'll finish it up, but soon. Double bloodstained. I, I was dreaming about this game last night for some reason. And it was weird. Um, no dreams tonight, but uh, either tomorrow or the day after. Welcome to the stream. Hope everyone's doing well. Nintendo Switch Mini has been announced. And I don't know. I don't care. Now, we'll talk about it a bit. I have a couple of pinyots about it. Sorry, it's the Switch Lite. It's the new Switch Lite DSL. Before I do anything else, I need to make... spaghetti for the old lady. But I still don't have the spaghetti. Oh, or is this it right here? That might be the spaghetti. Somebody! No? Try looking around the towers? Okay, well I'm fast now. Like, real, real fast. You know, you gotta go fast. Well, this lady... Before I do anything, yeah, this lady needs a silver circlet, which I don't have. Uh, I'm gonna try to finish these quests and then explore the rest of the map and then finish the game. There are a lot of weapons that I could grind for. There are a lot of ingredients. There's a lot of random stuff that I haven't done. Okay, so I don't know how much of that I'm gonna do. Probably almost done. Vinny, have you... Excuse me, sir, do you have time to talk about our Lord and Savior, the Vine Sword? I'll be honest, I'm a little disappointed that I can't upgrade the Vine Sword. FF9 later? No, no, no. The games I, I play for the night are usually in the title. On Twitch, so you'll, you'll see it says Bloodstained in Mario Maker. I considered streaming it two nights in a row. I was pretty, um... I was almost gonna do it, but then I figured, let me finish this now. Vinny, where's the YouTube stream? I never see it on your channel when it's on. So we're getting a lot of, um, rookie questions tonight. That's alright, Frangie. We got rookie scores. That's alright, Frangie. I'm gonna give it a 9.2. These things do happen. We- we do get newer viewers. Again, as shitty as my memory is, one of the reasons I repeat myself so very often on stream is also because I get a lot of similar questions. Vinny, what does the name Vine Sauce mean? It's like a... it's like a type of infectious disease. Um, I was told the spaghetti was over this way. I, am I in... in the right general area? Or am I not... Vinny, you passed it? Oh, there it is. Pasta dish. I like how I was, like, right at the end of that one big area. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna get this amazing sword. And now I'm making pasta. So... 
What'll it be? I'm ready. I'm ready to make this pasta. Maybe I'm not ready to make the pasta. Pasta, it's pasta fazool. No, what, what was it? Which one did she want? Pasta carbonara? Hello! Hello. I'm an old lady doing a child's girl. voice. Oh, Hello, I'm like a girl. young lady doing an old woman's voice. No, I mean... Did you bring it? Here's a younger woman doing an older woman's voice. And here's... Hello, miss. The, the opposite. Hello! What are we transmuting this time? I need pasta, please. Wait, it's not classic spaghetti, right? What does she need? Pasta carbonara or classic spaghetti? It is. What? What is it? Classic spaghetti? Oh. I'll go with this. You skipped plot dialogue with the girl? No, I, I did that last stream. Remember? And then I died. That's it. This isn't it. Ah, it's terrible. Merkly, Merkly is just eat forever. Um, what do you need? Refreshing, something refreshing. It's just apple juice. Was it lemonade and not, not apple juice? It looked exactly like apple juice. Oh shit! Well now I have apple juice. What? Here, look. If you if you look at the um, the thing, the apple juice and oh, uh, they all have lemons. That's some poor shit. What, what am I gonna do now? Uh, um... Ah, shit. Do you have lemons? The bird enemies outside drop lemons? What are they doing with lemons? They're lemon-stealing whores? No, we, we don't invoke that porn. We only- we only rip the skin here on this stream. If I was, um, Igarashi, I would... have the old lady be... an optional boss. Like, after feeding her, it's just like she takes on the, the power of all the food, and she's got, like, lemonade, like, spray, and tomato. Le yes, lemonade spray, correct. Something breaded. Pork chop? Breaded pork chop, maybe? I don't think I have this one. Chicken? Uh, no. Pork cutlet. Oh, I need, yeah, pork cutlet. I need egg and flour. Hello! What would you like to buy? <laughs> Wait, I already made this at some point? So that means that... I could just buy one here, for her, if that's true. Maybe. I don't know how that works entirely. Ginger pork. Um... No. Staying up. Okay, we very quickly make time? another one. We're gonna finish this quest off, easily. I don't know how many more foods she needs to eat. She... Like, she's probably, like, overflowing at this point. Oh, you kitty. God. Something fluffy. I it looks like an omelet. It's just scrambled egg. No, egg souffle. I'll go with this. Good thing I picked up that dragon egg. Put your backer ID in the main menu for an exclusive quest and boss. I have to. Don't know if I have a backer ID. I'm not a backer necessarily. I'm an influencer. Oh, that's a cool looking weapon. Uh, Craving a miracle. I suppose I'll... Oh my god, dude, stop eating. It's worth it. She gives, like, the best weapon in the game or something, or the best item in the game. Um, but... Holy shit, dude. She wants this. Right? She gives a cool hat. I like cool hats. Alright, well, I gotta go get a dragon. Oh, thank you! Hey, Granny, did you know I had to kill multiple dragons? Yeah, they went ex extinct because of you. That was my plan all along, Inspector Gadget. I mean, Jamie. Which, uh, w w where would be a good warp for dragons? I'm not even sure, I don't really re remember. You're in the library, clock tower, garden... Oh my god. Underground... What, what, what is, why can't I find the thing? What was, what's happened to me? Oh my god. There it is. Here to take out a book. Did they use a different microphone on his voice than every other? Are you certain to return what you borrow? Or, or is that just the dude's voice? Is it that deep? Dragon is up. I don't remember where the dragon was. We, we got people with, with good memories in chat. I mean, if you combine everyone, you have flawless memory. You're like a computer. You're like a supercomputer. Ah, yes. Okay. <laughs> probably, probably time to use my best weapon.
Man, this is such an amazing farming tactic. Ultra speed. Am amazing fast speed plus this weapon. The chair is a mimic, drops decent wood. Okay. Got the egg. Got another egg. Chair remnants. I'm just having fun now. Pre-cracked egg. I enjoy. Miriam, that chair wasn't actually possessed. That was just a regular chair. The fuck is wrong with you? Dear Lord, Miriam. Miriam, please. Miriam. I'll go with this. What's the opposite of an upholsterer? A downholsterer. Thank you, chat. Excellent. Fangshi scarf. Is there I'll help Crispy skin. Is that um staying up so what fish sticks? Chicken saute. Um could be I don't I don't know what it is, chat. It's chicken saute. It looked like chicken saute. Is that crispy? Fried in fat, yep. Black pepper and butter. Cooking simulator. This game is extensively cooking simulator. Butter, yes. I don't know where the pepper is. The right secret lab in chests. What, what are they doing with, like, pepper in a lab? Cooking? Oh. Miriam is now just a blur. Just a blurry menace. Yeah, a pain blur, exactly. I got it. Yeah, half the fun of Endgame with Igavania is just to see how broken you can get. I will say that the challenge of this game was much, much, much better than um, Symphony. Like, it retained its difficulty for most of it. So the Switch Lite, um, I guess we'll talk about that for a sec because it's something that, you know, people have been speculating. There was some reports from various magazines and such, and I'm about to die. How'd that happen? I'm surprised that we didn't get the Switch Lite announcement at E3. It's like a month later and now we're getting it. I will not be buying a Switch Lite. I am not the target audience for it. But it, it is, I think, going to make Nintendo a lot of money. $100 cheaper. It has um, a smaller screen slightly. It's more portable. It doesn't have the Joy-Con. It's got the D-pad. Uh, you know, I mean, it, it's got some specs that are interesting. It's got longer battery life by a little bit. So, But you can't put it on TV. So... I mean, it's cool. I like the idea of it. It looks cool, but I will be passing on that particular thing. I'll go with this. I mean, if I didn't have a Switch and I was looking to play it only portable, and it really is a great portable system. If I didn't stream... Yeah. But the D-pad is cool. And, um, I like that gray color. If there was, like, a Super Nintendo version, someone did a mock-up of an SNES color for it. And it looked awesome. Yeah, but I agree, Mike. Why is it called the Switch if it doesn't switch? Got a big club. The non-switch. No, it's just good branding. They have to go with it now, but it doesn't... it doesn't switch, <laughs> so... It's, um, it's fine, but I'm not gonna buy it. If there was a Switch Pro, I'd probably be more compelled. Because I'd, I'd want some extra, extra power under the hood. Vinny, don't you hate the second iterations of consoles? I don't hate them. I, I, um, I kind of do, oh, hello, depending on the iteration. In the Switch's case, it needs the power. Like, it fucking desperately needs some extra power, especially for, um... Like, Dragon Quest Builders 2 is a really good game. Mostly runs great. And then you get to the top of a mountain and you look around, and it's like 20 frames a second! So, I wouldn't, like, I'd probably get it, depending on the price. If the Switch Pro was, like, wildly overpriced, I probably wouldn't be interested. But if it had a lot of really good features, battery life, if it had more power under the hood, if it had, like, specs that would actually make the Switch a much more viable system for ports and for, um, more power. I might be- More power! I might be interested, 
but um, at the moment we just got switch light, and I'm like, ah, yeah, it's fine. It's not for me. It's for, it's for someone else. Just dumb question for the chat. Anyone in chat that doesn't have a switch, did you see that switch light announcement? And you, did you think to yourself, I am now buying this console? Did it win anyone over? No, no, don't answer no. Only answer yes if you are yes, because I can't take, I can't tally the no's. Maybe since it's cheaper. Yeah, a hundred dollars less. Uh, so some people, but not that many. In a chat of 4,500, there's not as many people as I expected. Vongle sauce? Oh, that's me. That's, that's my stream. Ch chat, where's soy sauce? In boxes in the Oriental Lab, thanks. So fast. Love the speed. Buy soy broth and break it down via dismantle. Gosh, you're smart. I, I always forget about the dismantle. There's so many extra things you can do in this game that don't seem obvious at first. Notice I'm now not even paying attention to the enemies. I'm just, just running, going mental. Got it. Vinny, what is your favorite retro console, stipulation, GameCube generation, or older? Oh, well, I've done that before. And that's easy. I, of course it's GameCube generation or older. Like, it always is. It's Super Nintendo. Um... That's not a... The, the stipulation would have been GameCube or, or later, actually. Because for, for me, the Super Nintendo, I have too much nostalgia. And my favorite games, my top three of all time, are on that system. Um, so that's- it's a- it's tough for me to answer anything else, but if you're gonna do GameCube or later... GameCube? Uh, PS2? Uh, PS- Oh, shit. Now- now I'm- now I'm having a hard time. Don't tell me I needed more soy sauce. No, here it is. The Wii is backwards compatible, so would that include the GameCube library? If so, then the Wii. Stop that. That's a stipulation. I don't know if I'm down for that. Stipulation. But... Alright. The Wii also had Virtual Console. We have to eliminate that. Backwards compatibility... ...has to be eliminated from this. I'm sorry. Risotto. Oh, fuck. Dear Lord. This risotto is shit! It's hard! <laughs> Gordon Ramsay. You know, being- uh, being a romantic. I swear, the way he describes risotto, it's, it really is like a sexual thing for him. Apple? Is she- she down with the apple risotto? Okay, so I need apples. Uh, I don't think they sell apples at the moment. Let's see, at- at-, at Bab store. Let's see. Bab Mart. I think I have to destroy the birds again. It's hard! <laughs> birds in the cathedral? In the cathedral? Okay. What is wrong with me? Yeah, I mean, you don't want your risotto to be hard. That really, that's what it comes down to. This doesn't count as a bird, does it? Are those birds? Chat, is this a bird? This. This. Oh, that's bird. Oh, there's apples. More apple. Some good items. I have a lot of good gear on for item farming. This is a place I used to go to as a kid. It was like, um, a farm. Living in New York City, even Staten Island, we don't have a lot of them farms. So my parents would take me to some place called Delicious Orchids. Orchards. And, um, it would be like, it's like a farm and a store. And you could just go in there. It's like a kind of a supermarket and it was all fresh food. Someone in chat knows exactly what it is. Or orchards, not orchids. Meat eating orchids, forgive no one just yet. No, it's um probably the best apple pie I've ever had in my life. That's why I brought it up. And I'm allergic to a I'm allergic to apples. That's what my my curse in life is, part of one of several curses in life. Um, but that is one of them. And uh, I'm but I'm only allergic to apples with that are raw and have their s well, even if I take the skin off of the apple, it still scratches Staying up my throat. Tonight. So, what Vinny, you are you a doctor? That's a good joke. I like that one. Thank you. No. 
apple a day. So it's just raw apple. Come back. But, you know, if it's cooked, if it's apple juice, if it's apple anything else, it's fine. They need delici delicious orchard, 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 orchard has wonderful soda bread. All right, well, guess who's... I'm going to that place then. Yeah, it's in New Jersey. Delicious Orchards, New Jersey. It's closed. Fuck, I was gonna go there now. Colts Neck, New Jersey. It is, like, near Asbury Park. It's not too bad of a drive. I break in. Like, I just, like, fucking bath salts and I break in. I'm like, I want apple pie! Live stream it? Oh, okay. I'll become, yeah, one of those live streamers where I just, you know, do that. I don't even know what she wanted. There's, um... There's a dude. A Long Island dude that's now famous. And, uh, he's a very short dude. And he got, like, choke slammed to the ground. You, you've probably seen the video. But, um, I'm not gonna show that on stream. Chinese noodles, soy broth, plume pork, fell leaf times one- Oh my god. What the fuck are these ingredients? But th that's, like, the kind of people that are around here, too. Staten Island. And... Also, in Long Island. You're not God, you're not my father, you're not my boss. It was amazing. Because again, it was- it was like, recognizable. I was like, oh fuck. I've seen this dude. Chinese noodles you can make, soy broth you can make if you have soy sauce. Fell leaf is from the fly traps. What, the big ones? This might be what, the second to last one? Or the last one? You're close to the end of the part. okay. Well, we're getting there. It's not the last one, but it, we're getting there. Miso. I love in the fifth element, the dude in the noodle ship that goes to Corpa my man's window. You are fired! I love that guy. It's like a little reference to Blade Runner in its own wet, weird way. Bruce Willis is just like, oh, I don't know. Why am I doing this? No reason. Well, I mean, there is a reason. You get good materials from, from this dude. Oh, look, I got a thing. Chisel Barrage. This is one of the best shards. Uh, someone said I have a quest to kill those demons as well. Chisel Barrage. Sounds like something the Jerky Boys would say. All right there, Chisel Barrage. All right, so I didn't get the soy sauce here. Dismantle Miso. It's a weird thing to hear. It's strange. Well, I have Miso, but I could- I can't dismantle it. It's not in the dismantle options. Unless someone knows something I don't. You ate the Miso. Fuck! Nope. Nope, not here. Boy, this whole thing, this whole cooking thing is- is crazy. There's so much to it. I don't know if I'm gonna end up doing all of it. Vinny, it's in the healing items tab. I- I- I checked. Healing items tab. I'm looking for Miso or soy anything. Miso cutlet? I need you to dismantle my me my, my miso cutlet. Can you squeeze the juice out of the cutlet, please? Thank you. Thank you. I I guess so. Here's what I've turned up on the monsters. I need one more demon lord, so I'm gonna go do that, and then I'm gonna go get the the thing, the, the loco weed. Got it. Is it easy being this cheesy? The age-old question. When you can hit the enemy, yes. It is that easy. I'm gonna go for one more carpenter kill. Got it. And I got a bone. Which I think is good. Because I could use that to make a, a good weapon. Let's see. Which weapon so, needs the bone? Be? <laughs> Might be a shard. Embrued fang. No. Embrued skull. Then you passed it? Oh. What was the name of it? You skipped it several times. Not once, not twice. Several. Excellent. This one. A large dagger used in head-hunting. Mistiltine. Mistiltine. It's a, a holy staff. And I need the Sharur first. I mean, if you really want to get all the weapons, it's something you could do. It could take you a couple hours. It's kind of cool, just to be able to see them and to have them. But... I mean, I have this. So... If any, any good stories happen today? Um... No, not really. There might be a new Super Monkey Ball on the way. There's some speculation about a new Monkey Ball, so... How are you, Miriam? That would be great. Alright, let's, let's go get that thing. I want to finish as much of the food stuff as possible, and then possibly, like I said, finish the fucking game tonight. 
it's just there's so much to do, so much to see. Vinny, I think you are subconsciously obsessed with Sonic the Hedgehog. What do you mean subconsciously? It, it's right out there in the open. In that uh, Jim Carrey thing, where he's talking to Sasha Baron Cohen and, um, and Henry Winkler and Ted Danson. It was like um, you know Don Cheadle. It was it was cool. I watched the whole thing. It was really really interesting. But he said that he stole some moves from Dick Van Dyke, and he said this. It's in the Sonic movie, and I can't wait for people to see it. And I can't wait for Dick Van Dyke to see what I did in the Sonic movie. So I don't know what that means, chat. I don't know what that means. But I'm relaying the information as it was presented to me by this video. Yeah, Dick Van Dyke is still alive. Rip Van Torn is not with us anymore. Oh wait, that's Rip Van Winkle. Yeah, again, I was really... I was... Really, really fucking convinced that Rip Torn was already gone. And that news was bizarre to me. I, I just didn't... I don't know what happened. I felt like such a dick about that, too. It's like, oh man, I love Rip Torn. Dude's great. He was in so many good character, like, roles. Like, he, ha he was just a great character actor. He could even be a lead. Really hilarious dude. But, for some reason, I thought he died like six years ago. And as we established on stream the other day, it's probably because I read the news of him breaking into a bank thinking it was his house. Make your daddy proud, Gore. The fuck are you doing in my shower, Gore? That's soap on a rope! He- listen, he's well known for more- more movies outside of Freddy Got Fingered. What just saying. Someone in chat just said Freddy Got Fingered is the only movie I've ever seen. What kind of life would that be? If the only movie you've ever seen is Freddy Got Fingered. It's like one of those desert island questions, except you could only have seen one movie in your life. Which one would it be? Vinny, they saw that one and gave up on them. They started with Freddy Got Fingered and then they, they just stopped watching movies. I don't know what that is either. It's it's Simmered Fornius. Simmered Fornius. It'd be great if I could just make it. I don't know what the fuck a Simmered Fornius is, but alright. Isn't that that dude that got a rail spike stuck in his head? But then he lived? Oh, that was Phineas Gage, never mind. For yeah, Fornius Gage. I don't even have a recipe for it. Hidden wall underwater area for the recipe after... And one of the sh shimmering is on the ledge needed with the high jump. What, what, did you, what is that words? What is that words? To find the shim simmered Fornius recipe book, head to the entrance teleport, go down the waterway. You'll come across a sloped room filled with elevators. That, that's a firefall, that's not a waterfall. Why does everyone want me to talk about the bathwater? I wouldn't touch that with a 20 foot pole. The water or the topic. Is it up here? Because there's a thing up here I haven't done. No, this is desert. It's got the red dot. Oh, the red dot! Yeah, this is the right way. Again, I'm aware that this isn't the most exciting of my streams that I've done ever, or of this game. But, I mean, you, you know, this is, this is what we like to call in the business a filler episode. I can't wait to see Jim Carrey as Dick Van Dyke as Dr. Robotnik in Sonic the Hedgehog movie. No, but, I mean, it can be hard when you have an ensemble cast. To know what to do with them. And in many cases, you just end up putting them together. You have to, like, find interesting pair-offs. It's one of the reasons why I love, uh, Star Trek The Next Generation so much. No one mentioned ensemble casts whatsoever, by the way, but this is something I was thinking watching Stranger Things. I was like, there's- there are now a lot of characters in this- in this TV show. And there are some that don't do a whole lot, but it works because they pair them off with, you know, the, the proper character. Vinny, I thought you were going to bring up the charity stream, huh? Oh, Ensemble. Oh, I see, I see, I see. No, no, no. <laughs> no. But in TNG, they work together. You know, the, the funny thing about the Enterprise is they're all just at work. Are they being paid? No, there's no money in space. Which is weird because there's, they say that there's no, like, money, but then the Ferengi are like, Gold press Latinum. And then there are credits, I don't, I don't really know how it works. It's very confusing and, and not fully fleshed out. But why would you need money if you have replicators? They have machines that can literally make them anything they want. It's like 3D printers, but for food, porn, 
uh, fight, um, games, music. Then there's the hollow deck where you can recreate anything. Food, porn, fight. You can hook yourself up to a supercomputer like Broccoli did. Wait, 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 what did I just get? Fucking voice changer? Oh my god. Well, it's better now. Is Shovel Knight a familiar? It's even got the down stab. Man, Shovel Knight's really getting around these days. How has Shovel Knight not been put in Minecraft at this point? Or Terraria. Anyway, um... I'm just saying. Okay, did anyone, um, notice... Uh, did I get the fish dish? I got a fish dish. Is that the correct dish? Fish dish? I like when, uh, Tom York on the new album says... Who are these people? And I think the same thing sometimes. I'm like, who are these people? I mean, who are these people, really, if you think about it? Come on! Crablet, it's me, Jerry! Simmered Fornius. I need, uh, sorry sauce. What are we transmuting this time? I'll go with this. <laughs> Forgot about the voice changer. Well, hell, I don't know. Where's the Simmered Fornius? Should be... Where, why did, uh... You did miso, not soy. Ah. Uh, what would you like to buy? Time consuming is one way to put it. What if I just get soy ramen and just combobulate that? That's good, right? That'll work. Is this where you are? You're wrong, Mario! It's my favorite thing of the past couple months. Thank you for reminding me about that. Need Acolyst? I didn't even know there was a thing there. God, what? Oh, hello. Like, I, I didn't even- I wasn't even aware that there was a thing required for that. Oh, all this for soy sauce. Oh, you better love this shit. I like how this old lady the whole time was just sitting on the best stuff in the game. I didn't get soy sauce. You have to- Do, do you know when Zorg? in the fifth element, checks the box at the end of the movie for the second time, and he- he starts smiling and laughing, and then he gets nervous. There's no stones! Dismantle the broth. Yeah, but then I need more Acolest. I'm just gonna get the soy sauce here. Maybe. 500G! This- this is the best part of the game, everybody. It's the best part of the game. Zorg. They're not here. <laughs> but what is the plastic thing on his head? <laughs> They're not here. <laughs> he says, what the fuck is Gary Oldman in that movie? It's a helmet? I don't know if that's a helmet. It's the future. It's future plastic headwear. I don't know. I've said this before, but Gary Oldman, Oldman apparently viewed the movie as a paycheck. He did a great job, but it's still, that was a paycheck movie for him. He, he said he doesn't like to watch it. I mean, his loss. I, I need, I need nine. Come back anytime. Vinny, what's the you're wrong Mario thing from? What, what is it from? Car, car bullies? Car... Car Fellas. It's a show called Car Fellas, and, and they're, it's dramatized. It's reality TV, so you know how reality that is. But it's a couple of, like, paisans talking about how the, the previous night they had a pizza pie, and there was bad pizza etiquette. Also, I, I don't know if I showed you this, chat, but I found something very, very weird on the internet recently. Has anyone seen this? <clears throat> this was on, um, 
this is why I'm broke.com. And it just linked to Amazon. Currently unavailable. I wonder if that means they're sold out. Oh, here, check this out too. There's um, there's a couple related results. Look at the. What's there? You go. Imagine, imagine being the model wearing this. Now you know that's not real. It's just like a green screen, or it's a green one. They they just photoshop that in. But um, pretty pretty amazing. What's the middle one? What is that? Whose face is that? It's um personalized slip on I don't know whose chat whose face is this Any any ideas anyone <laughs> Imagine wearing this <laughs> What the fuck is that It's Mysterio <laughs> It's just an example face. Oh, okay. It's an example face. You know, my boy, example face. What's up? Yeah, John, example face. He's, oh man, I was a fan of his for a long time. You know how hard this dish was to make? You're welcome. Don't give up. You're going to get through this. You're welcome. Don't give up. Is there anything else you'd like to eat? What, what, uh, a beef hot pot. This is actually kind of a cool weapon. This is the second to last one. Sukiyaki. Okay, remember, this is all optional. I mean, I'm just doing this because I wanted to get the most out of the game. Kind of didn't want it to end so quickly. Sukiyaki. I need soy sauce again and sugar. There's no stones. They're not here. Someone said the ninjas drop stones. Or stones. Wow. Uh, soy sauce. Well, there's one. You gotta save the waystone lad too. Oh shit! You're right. I can't do it yet. Wait, am I even gonna be able to finish this tonight? No. Oh. All right, well, again, this is what we like to call in the business a filler episode, as I said earlier. Will there ever be a clip show episode? It'll be called Shades of Grey. Did you... Shades of Sauce. You're welcome. The yes. worst episode of Star Trek. What well, one of. Something life-changing for the recycle hat. Something life-changing. Okay, this is it, the final one. Okay, final time? one. Here we go. This better be fucking worth it. What could be life-changing? Pizza. Exquisite steak. It needs flying beef and black pepper. All right, I know where to get black pepper. Come back. Where do I get flying beef? Oriental lab and farm cows. It's a 1% drop. We'll get it in under 3 minutes. I need two of them though, right? We'll get it in four in four minutes. Okay. Oh, I'll get it. I'll get it. I I, I can't wait for a Nova skeleton to appear out of nowhere after I get it. That dead end on the left of the portal room is a much better spot for the cow. Oh, here's- yep. Way better spot. Dormammu, I've come to bargain. <laughs> There's a secret- wait, 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 wait. There's a secret zone directly below this? Okay, you know what? I- I do need pickpocket. I have accelerator, maybe? Is there anything else? No. One minute left? Oh shit, okay. Someone in chat just said buy it for premium currency. Ega- Ega gold. Ega coins. Surprise mechanics. Very ethical, very cool. Flying beef, there's one. Here we go. Within the next ten. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. 
eight, nine, and uh, ten. Holy shit, ten! Yo, <laughs> I was gonna stall too. Where's them Nova skeletons? Oh, I know they're here somewhere. Did I need anything else, or am I am I good? I got the beef. What else did I need? Black pepper. Where where was the black pepper again? Oh, okay. Alchemy lab. Thank you. Vinny, you said you know where it is. Yeah, that's information that I don't need in my brain for longer than a couple minutes, though. It's bad information. Bad information do not need. Not to be furnished. With such informations. Just do that before I, uh, die. And here we go. Staying up Exquisite. I can't believe it didn't take that long to get that stuff. I mean, sure, I had to do a little bit of farming, but that was only, what, five minutes of farming? Great. Still too long, yeah. Pretty much. I mean, it's no Monster Hunter level of farming, but... Finally. <laughs> when you need help... Look to others the way I did. Wait a minute. Susie is Miriam in the future. All that food has made me sleepy. You just ate 21 dishes. Of course. Good night. Recycle hat. Stops ammunition from depleting. Staying okay, time to buy the best bullet. Okay, should I also get the best gun, considering I can now shoot forever, and- and real good? Which is considered best gun? The- oh, 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 the Adrastia. Oh my lord. I can't build that. It shoots homing lasers. Oh, okay! Um, and Brood Skull is from Final Locked Boss Door. How about this? How about- I don't worry about that for now, and let me just make some actual fucking game progress. I'll use whatever weapon I currently have that is- is best gun. So, infinite diamond- diamond bullet. Wow, that does a lot of damage! You can get up to 1k damage? Oh, okay. Hadouken input for rapid fire. Culverin does not have that, sadly. The blunderbuss does? Okay, I'll use the blunderbuss. If you master it, other weapons will have it too. Good. I'm gonna try to use it as much as possible, just so I can master the fucking thing. Ah, yes. Cheese and rat teeth. B books Oh, it's this thing, from, uh... <laughs> Curse of the Moon. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing, man? Ooh, that hurt. Oh my god, I'm dead. My wager, my win. He healed for the value of your money. Then you never showed us what the 8-bit nightmare you got is. What? Yeah, what is that? It's a crafting item? Okay. Someone had a really good idea just now. Ha <laughs> Who are you attacking, dude? Th these bosses need like a separate move set for inverted. If you have enough money, he can get up to 99,999 HP. Wow. Alright, I'm gonna play this a little bit longer. Try to master this move if possible. Check out mastery progress in the journal. Techniques? Oh, tech. Okay, rapid fire. It's almost there, actually. Real close. Vampire, please! Not even a vampire. It's Journal. Journal, it's me. Sengetsu. Now that drain move is the one people were telling. What is that? It's a glitch. Just want to try it out real quick. Whoa! I mean, it, it's not that bad. It's not that great. With some upgrades, it'd probably be really good with the thing I'm using now. It's no ghost vacuum. Nothing is ghost vacuum. Not anymore. Skeleton vacuum, sorry. 
Vinny, when are you playing Paper Mario? <laughs> Paper Mario? You mean Maker Mario? Probably in about 10 minutes I'll play Maker Mario. Paper Mario's a long way off. Glacial Tomb. Okay. If I get to a save point here, I'll, I'll just stop it. Well, I mean, how much more gameplay do I have? I still have a couple, like, side quests, but what would you say, like, another hour-long stream, at most? Last area, two bosses, plus the side quests. And then the Iga stuff. Alright, so then, this will be a good place to stop, and there will be one more stream of the game, then. I have to find out if I even have a backer code, um, and if I have the Iga stuff already. So I guess I don't have the, um... The ego stuff. Alright, well, I have no problem buying it. This game has provided me lots of entertainment, and they gave me a code for it. I would be very happy to part with a couple bucks for a, uh, a little bit of DLC. But anyway, um, Vinny, you have to enter it. I'll look and check my emails, but maybe, maybe not. Alright, uh, thank you. I thought we were going to end the stream, end the game on stream tonight, but looks like we got one more. Thank you for your patience while I farmed flying beef. I understand that's not the most exciting shit, but we did it. We're gonna do this. I'm gonna finish the game. I got the Iga DLC stuff. Which means I can fight Iga. Um, Vinny, there's a couple optional things you can do. Side quests, bosses, boss run. I'd like to do the side quests. I'd like to do the bosses. And I'd like to fight Iga. So that's- that's what I want to do. I want to do that and then I want to finish the game. I've been kind of holding off because I don't want the game to end. Because it's- it's so... It's so good. I mean, it's not the best game I've ever played. It's not even the best Metroidvania, but it's so... It's- why is it lagging? Okay, listen, uh, I, I have to restart the computer, I think. Let me try one thing before I do that. Let me reload the game. And if there's still some frame crust, then I'll just restart the computer. Just as I was praising the game, too, I was like, hey, this game is great. I don't want this game to end. This game is fucking awesome. Like, what? I don't understand. My computer has been on for all of 25 minutes. What's happening? Well, sometimes it's just, you know, like Captain Picard said, it is possible to commit no mistakes and still lose. It is not weakness. It's cheese. It is life. Not, it's not weakness, it's life. I think the crust is gone. Uh, before I do anything else, I'd like to finish... Oh, Sword Whip. Target, Iga. Iga is a demon. <laughs> what? Okay, so I also have to avenge Richter. Revenant. I have to fight a Revenant, and I have to fight Iga himself. So this is uh, another quest line. Am I anywhere near finishing this quest line? No, and it's not worth it. Vinny, the Amazon strike is today. Why are you streaming? Well, there's only 20 minutes left in today. Um, I'm not an Amazon employee. This is not um, an Amazon stream. You can just not sub if, if you don't want to. You don't have to be here today if you don't want to, if you think that'll support Amazon. I know it's happened to a lot of streamers. It happened to a lot of streamers. I get it. I understand. But I mean... I stream video games. This is what I do. Vinny, please tell Joel to stream more frequently. Did anyone uh, put something weird in the water lately? We got like a water supply issue. I can't- no, Area 51's over. I can't do the Hello. Area 51 jokes anymore. I mean, people in chat have some good ones, but... You oh, know, I got it all out of my system wants. yesterday. Vinny, if you want to extend the gameplay a little bit and get the best item in the game, get one of every shard. Maybe on my own I would do something like that? I don't think that would be fun for the stream. It might not even- it probably won't be fun for anyone. Myself Here's included, now that I think about it. This is it. But no, we got 20 hours out of this game, and it was a good 20 hours. Sure, there are some quests. Sure, there is some grinding. Oh, thank you. But this was like a very lengthy Metroidvania where like Symphony of the Night was only like 15 hours. 15. What am I saying? It's like five, six. Warhorse key boss is worth it. I'd like to do that. So how far am I from finishing that quest line? Just to make very well sure that I don't want to do it. 
two more quests? There's just two more? Alright, I mean, fuck it, let's do it then, that's easy. Just two. What else did I get? I got, um, a silver power ring. A ring that increases attack power in proportion to the number of enemies you've slain. Well, considering I am, like, a demon at this point, I'm more stronger than any demon in this castle. I'm gonna have to pass on that. Alright, so I need... Orichalum. Where's the Orichalum? In the next area, can be found in the last area of the game. Oh, the ice cave. Glacial tomb. So there's a couple things I need to find here. Um, for the optional content. You are aware of the OD fight, right? I- well, now I am. I- I've been for the past couple minutes. Uh... How do I do that? The fuck? Explosive watermelon? At 99% map completion, you go talk to OD. Alright, that's all- that's good. That's all I need to know. So let's talk about the weather, chat. Boy, that weather. It sure is... weather. At the deli I go to, there's really not a lot I have in common with the people that work there. They're really nice, and I like to talk to them. I like to, you know, have a little conversation with them while I wait for my sandwich. But we end up just not having much to talk about, so weather ends up being half of the conversation. Has anyone ever asked about their height in the deli? In that deli? Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> no, not that one. You're not God, the boss of me. I got the fucking thing I needed first try. I was gonna say, why the fuck would anyone talk about their height in a deli? And then I remembered. Oh, wait. Of course. It's been pretty nice in New York, though. I mean, everything's been... You know, the weather's been either way too hot or way too... shitty. Like, cold or whatever, but... Lately, it's been actually really good. See, now I'm talking about the weather with you, for real. What the fuck? The blackout was not fun for a lot of people. It was a pretty hot day. It's weird that the blackout happened... ...precisely on the same day that the famous New York City blackout happened, like, 40 years ago. It was a very strange thing, and... I almost wish I was in the city while the blackout was happening, just so I could have, like, seen what it was like. Oh, wait, 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 wasn't I working on something? I was working on... this thing. That. I'm trying to level that up. Yeah, it's been like four or five days since I played this. It's been a busy... It's been a busy couple days. And Dragon Quest Builders is still eating my life away. Times Square got demonetized. This is the best way you could have put that. Technique is rapid fire. It's just... Maybe like two more enemy kills. Or hits. I'm not sure how they... Yep. Got it. And now... I can use it on anything. Nice. Ooh! Do the boss now? Okay, alright, fine. It's... a good thing to do. Vinny, people are using dog shit as fireworks in my neighborhood and it's getting everywhere. Read this, please. Normally, I wouldn't be so thrilled to read something that's tagged with, read this please, but that's amazing. I mean, that's- I'm- I'm sorry. How does that even work? What do you mean they're putting dog shit in the fireworks? I, I gotta know. I have you now. <laughs> Fool, you just made your last mistake. Well. Oh shit. Fun fact, David Hayter speaks fluent Japanese, now. really? <laughs> Very amusing, wench. I do not have to... <laughs> <be honest. laughs> oh my god, she is not throwing shade like a motherfucker! You leave me no choice. Also, she looks like the Mahina Pia Pokemon. And she is of the moon, so she is basically Lunala Incarnate. So if I'm not mistaken, I have to use this particular weapon. No, but it does more damage. Does it do more damage than this? What the fuck? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. What the fuck is happening to my controller? Um. Whoa, I'm stuck in here. Whoa, okay. All right. No, don't. You don't need to. Whoa. 
Oh, this this is so similar to death. Even the fucking moons are like the sides. Ah, oh, shit. I need to eat some chicken. All right, I'm playing like shit. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. Still one. Oh well. Yeah, stand still. Yeah, take damage. Yeah. Dimension shift. Warp a short distance in the designated direction. So I, I know what this is for. There's a couple spots I saw that needed this. Take this. Now you can rescue the idiot. Good. Vinny, why does everyone make Sunday monkey noises? <clears throat> Sunday monkey noises is a really cool way to describe that. Alright, so you want me to see a uh, fake Lucard. Here, Vinny, here's how they do it. They put dog shit and giant fireworks in a Walmart bag, and then they light the unholy combo on fire. That's how. Ah, dog shit fireworks they have. Yeah, what part of the, um, what part of the universe do you live? So I know never to go there. I'm from Tennessee, they say. There are crazy sons of bitches everywhere I look, they say. I vine memoried pretty pretty badly. What did I need to make again? Ancient tiara. Okay, I need gold. You can get gold in the chests of the secret desert, but it's pretty rare. Otherwise, you'll need to craft it. I can craft gold. I need mercury and dark matter. Dismantle an akubur? What, what is an akubur? It doesn't appear I have said weapon. I do? What? Oh, this. Oh, 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 I see. I see. I see. Is there anything else I have? Oh, there's this! The... The Ayamer, which I don't think I need. I don't need any of this shit. I have way better weapons overall, but okay, let's do this one. I just want to look at it. Let me look at it one more time, chat. Just before I... Before I get rid of it. Okay. I won't miss it. Need it. Thanks. Okay, got that. Now I can craft... The thing. Which is a great movie. With this. Maybe in my top ten. Vinny, if you dismantle the gold and then remake it, you can buy it in the shop afterwards. You know what movie is great? That I still would put in maybe one of my favorite movies categories? Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. You don't want me to say it the third time? Alright, I won't. I, I think I have just this weird attachment to that movie because it scared the shit out of me when I was a kid. It's especially, oh god, it, it costs a lot. All right, screw it. Um, especially the scene with the snake. Like it was a funny movie. It was it was a good movie. It was a weird fucking movie. But the snake banister was very scary to me, and. I couldn't watch that one part, but when I was a little older, I would watch it, and I was like, Wow, I love this movie. What about that Beetlejuice guy honking his dick? Now, the chat member that just said that, his name is Nutbuster666. What about that Beetlejuice guy honking his dick? Nice fucking model! That's a PG movie, by the way. <laughs> what about it? <laughs> what do you want? What is that, like? That will be remembered. So, hopefully this ring is cool. A, a, a ring that increases how often enemies yield shards. Oh, I find you a pretty good pang. I thought there was a cartoon, not a movie. Well, it was a cartoon after the movie. And it was a very tame cartoon compared to what you would see in the movie. Like, when Beetlejuice honked his fucking cock. But otherwise, you know? <laughs> you know what I mean? Now, the cartoon was just, uh, Lydia with her wacky pal Beetlejuice and Jacques the Skeleton and some beetle. I think it was a beetle, or just a bunch of wacky ghost characters just in their hijinks and, um, yeah. But Lydia was friends with Beetlejuice in the show, and in the movie, they were not friends, and I was like, wait a minute, why is this happening? I finished Stranger Things, speaking of Winona Ryder. Good season. Um, it's predictable at times, and also corny at other times, but- but I enjoyed, overall. Very dumb, turn off your brain, uh, nonsense, but also some good characters, some good performances. Funny, um, good special effects. Comparing the special effects to the first season of the Gorgonzola, 
or whatever the fuck they were fighting. They really upped the budget. I mean, they built a fucking mall for the show. So yeah, yeah, pretty good. Definitely worth my time, I feel. I feel. They, well, they didn't build a whole mall, they built a little bit of a mall. You know what I mean? Like, they built, um, the middle part of a mall, and then they built a couple stores around it. And then they, they, like, CG'd an anchor store in there, JCPenney. Vinny, better or worse than Season 2? I'd say better. The mall was already there, they just decorated the inside. I look close to it. Oh, okay. Well, they decorated the inside of a mall. Dimension shift. Favorite character? Steve. Please. You can't yeah, I know, this guy's mind. amazing. I remember this mystic land called Nippon that I heard about, and... Uh, if I find you in even one more strange place... <laughs> Chat's calling him a weeb. <laughs> Vinny, will you play the Stranger Things game? Nope. Get out of here! I don't know, I've, I've heard some people say it was kind of not great, and also... I don't really like Stranger Things enough to want to play a game about it, to be honest. It's just, you know, it was something to watch while Barry wasn't on TV. Oh, the Windows 1.11 game, not the Telltale one. Yes. Do I have to save this nerd again, or is that it? Okay, I don't have to save the nerd anymore. We're, we're making good progress. Almost done. It's literally just a retelling of Season 3. It's boring as fuck. I, yeah, I mean, I read some stuff about it that didn't make me want to check it out, but I wasn't going to anyway. Vinny, did you see Red Letter Media's Star Wars predictions? I did. <sighs> Thank heavens for miracles. Time travel! It wasn't my predictions. I predicted other things. If you get one of every shard, you get Jeebles glasses, an item that gives you infinite MP. Huh. Yeah, so, uh, the time travel thing is... it makes too much sense, but I had this idea that... Um, Palpy... I don't think they mentioned in the video that... Palpy... used Snoke's body. I think they're gonna retcon... the fact that Snoke was nobody, or... It's spoilers for Last Jedi, I guess. Like, you care, like anyone would, but... Well, they didn't really... say who Snoke was, they just didn't care. You know what I mean? Like, they didn't explain it. N no one has any questions, Snoke just is. And I think in the next Star Wars movie... they are going to try to salvage a lot of what people hated about Last Jedi, and I think they're gonna explain Snoke as... having been a vessel of Palpy. And that's what they're gonna do. Also, Ray's lineage is now going to matter. Those were my predictions. They're just gonna- <laughs> They're just gonna go back on stuff that Ryan Johnson did. That was- that's all I have as a prediction. I haven't really thought about it too much. Um, the name Skywalker is going to be like, instead of a Jedi- Excuse me, and a Sith. Ray's gonna ch uh, train- Excuse me, a new generation of Force users called Skywalkers. And here's the difference. They can fuck. Now, hear me out. The reason all this happened is because Jedi were not allowed to fuck. Which, as you know, has caused some problems in the real world, too. So, the Skywalkers, Rey's gonna be like, you can fuck my childs. Whoa. You know what I mean? Like, she's gonna bless them and say, you, my children, even though they're older, they're in their 30s, chat, it's fine. You can fuck. And, <laughs> good save, right? And she's gonna say, anyone can have sex, including a Jedi, and you'll, you'll all be called Skywalkers. And that will prevent Jedi from becoming too rigid. Wait a minute. They'll get more rigid that way. Um, but it'll mean that they will be happy, and there won't be another Anakin Blanakin situation. And instead of there being, like, um, this division between light and dark, they will be united into one. And they will call them the Path of the Skywalker, and it's gonna be awful. Vinny, you know what's in between light and dark? Grey's a la Mau. Um, but yeah, the other- besides time travel, they predicted that Ewoks will be worshipping... <laughs> ...Palpatine, and they will be like dark, twisted Ewoks, because the power of the dark side over the past however many years will have corrupted them. And it will, um, in retrospect, make people like Ewoks more. I don't- I don't think that was a legit prediction, but I like that one the best. That was my favorite one. And maybe, like, the biggest twist of them all will be that... Palpatine... Sorry, that C-3PO is actually a human. I warned you. What you take from the library... ...must be returned to the library. Oops. You'll pay for this transgression. 
Death is too kind for you. Whoa, dude, he's got some t attack power. Fucking hell. Oh! oh, I was hoping he would have some signature Alucard moves. He does! Oof. Death is too kind for you. Vinny, I don't even care about Star Wars anymore because the fan base is so fucking terrible it's ruined everything. The age-old argument. The fan base- fan base versus the creation. This happens for everything, doesn't it? Everything gets to this point at some point, except the Mario series. Mario series, everyone's like, wahoo! Yippee! And then, everyone's happy. They just make their levels in peace. But, um, yeah, this is- this is the age-old argument. And the truth is, I I agree somewhat. How about poor quality writing? Does that bother you as much? I want to buy th 40 pizzas. Where's the pizzas? Chat, there's no pizzas here. Hey, hey, Johnny, do you want to order a pizza? Yes, Lisa. Too late. I already ordered a pizza. Ha ha ha. Ha! Ah, you order pizza! Lisa, you think of every time! Lisa, why? You're supposed to trust me, Lisa! I'll go with this. You tell me everything! No coffee tonight. Nope. Just stupidity. Oh. Hey, Johnny, I just like to watch. You want to watch sex, Danny? <laughs> yes, Johnny. Uh, I don't- I don't understand. Wasn't I- Have a look around. Wasn't I supposed to, um... Same tab you got the salt? Wait, there should- what pizza isn't in the salt tab? Vinny, you made a second dough. That's amazing. Vinny's got an early 3 a.m. brain tonight. It's really bad. I- You know what? Today was another busy- Busy day. I need four pizza doughs. I need four pizza doughs. You have to stop. That's mental. If you think this is bad, wait until we get to the Minecraft stream. Oh my god. Oh, these pizzas is expensive. They give a lot of HP though. Maybe uh, you know what? Maybe it would be good for me to throw on some better items. Yes. Yes, that sounds perfect. That sounds lovely. Another thing that increases attack power. Critical. Critical ring. What's up, everybody? Yep. Mm-hmm. So, is this- this is harder than Iga, even? This is insane how much damage he does. Oh, he's OD. Yeah, that's true. That is true. OP, more like it. All right. I I'm using all my food, and this is the end. So, where- where's Iga? Gabel room? Alright, we'll go to the Gabel room. Oh, it's meant for the challenge for- okay. So, yeah, OD is more for, like, um... The reward of you grinding is being able to defeat OD. I can't- I don't know what you just said, man. Oh god, this fight. Classic. <laughs> Alright, hang on a minute. Um, I need to figure out maybe a better weapon here. Use the gun? Yeah, that works. Oof. Okay! Oh, this game's got some hard fucking optional bosses. They do not fuck around. I am called for. I will keep resurrecting. <laughs> At long last, I am called for. Oh my god. Alright. I don't know what to do here. He's called for. You have better armor? Are you sure I have better armor? 
I don't have better armor. Call it for today, you seem out of it. Wait, you want me to just end my stream? Dad? No, Dad! You're not my father! You're not the boss! You're not God! Staying up late, no, um... What are we transmuting this time? Guess I could try to craft a weapon. Uh, shit. You have to grind more? Well, maybe, I don't, maybe I don't want to grind more. Maybe I just want to finish the game at this point. Which is something I can do. Yeah, and the guns that I could potentially build aren't all that much better. Vinny, Dillette channel, you seem tired. The skill that can drop from OD can help big time against Iga. I could buy this. Maybe. And then there's the coronation gown, which is... a bit better. I need the silk dress. Pleiades is the best headgear better than ancient tiara. Oh yes, yes it is. Yes it is. I'll go with this. Okay, well that's good. I have a lot more defense now. Over the rainbow is a good scarf as well. Let's see. Over the rainbow, I need cashmere. It's got a little bit of extra defense. It's got resistances. Where do I find cashmere? Aside from physical graffiti by Led Zeppelin. Led Zeppelin. It's in the tomb? Okay. Oh, right, right, right. I'm wasting ammo now. I'm not wearing the infinite ammo item. Kill giant bowers for the uh, thing. Okay. okay. This is only giving me gold. Well, it's nice that there's some late game challenge. But holy fuck, those bosses are hard. Granted, I haven't been doing that much grinding. I've just been grinding for materials, mostly. There's one. I just need one more. Make sure to show off Vine Sword before ending. Of course, dog. You're using a bad weapon, too. The best weapons do better damage quicker. Well, what's the best weapons, then? Shards? Someone said max out 8-bit fireballs. The ones that cost three other weapons? You haven't done the Warhorse boss. I'd like to do that. Horse. I'd like to do the horse boss. Fully maxed out 8-bit fireball did a total of 1,500 to 2,000 damage per cast. Okay. Well, you don't have to tell me twice. There's gotta be an easier way to farm this fucking thing. Okay, here we go. Got it. Let's see if we can crash. <laughs> a crest. See if you can craft blue rose or eternal blue. Okay. I'll crest them. Uh, I cannot. I cannot craft those things. I cannot crest them. Didn't get the cashmere armor. Why would I need that? I already have the coronation gown. There is no cashmere armor here. Blue rose. Needs all of those. I have none of those. Eternal blue. Let's see what the eternal blue needs. Eternal blue. Eternal blue needs all those, and I have none of those. Alright, how do I do the warhorse? Let's start with that, at least. The key is past OD. I gotta return the book? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, God. Alright, there's a lot that I could be doing. Alright, before I return the book, I wanna do a thing. So it's 8-bit skull that I need to farm, yes? Someone said it took them 40 hours to get all the achievements in this game. Um... I can't waste stone the fuck out of here, right? Ah. Uh. Alright, that's not too bad. And I got the shard for the first time. 8-bit flame, produce a pillar of 8-bit flame. Great, now you need 8 more of that. Nope. Change familiar, maybe, or upgrade the current familiar. I'd like to upgrade current familiar instead. I'll go with this. More powerful familiar. That's it. That that was all I could upgrade her. I need fairy wings. I'll go with this. 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 Come back if I am stop. interested in this. Let's see. Okay, I have accelerator on. I have optimizer on. Would love to get more optimizer. Optimizer to level 9 so it turns passive. 
8 bit fire. Wait, 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 wait. So you wanted me to use 8 bit fireball? I don't have 8 bit fireball. I have 8 bit flame. Was that the one that's like broken or no? 8 bit flame does great damage too? Okay. Um, sorry for the grinding chat. Uh, you can come back in a little while if you need to. I didn't expect there to be this much game left. Two streams in a row now. I'm trying to figure out what, what would be the best thing with the least amount of time that I could get to help me fight those bosses. Cheats, skill, healing items, the best gun. This gun! Got one. Those skulls don't respawn, right? Oh my god. Yeah, it does some pretty insane- Oh, wait, 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 wait. They do respawn. I just missed that one. Oh. I'm gonna head back there. Two more times. Whatever I get, two more times, that'll be what I use. And if I don't, I will use the thing. Equip your luck gear. Okay. This is it. I'm gonna get four more. Four more of them. Never mind. I'm gonna get one more. One more of them. Got one more. Vinny, next time you go to Trader Jim's, get the chocolate bread. It's like crack. I haven't been there in, like, probably a month and a half, so... Chocolate bread now. Well, I had the pancake bread. Yes! It's not doing that much more damage, by the way. You haven't enhanced. Why well, need 8-bit coin? To buy several 8-bit coin now. Buy three of them? Okay, so now it fires two, so that's double damage. Now it fires three, so that's triple damage. Now it fires four, so that's quadruple damage. That's not true, now I'm just firing two. You can sell souls for money? Oh shit. I'll go with this. It's another two. Well, now it fires three, so now it's a shotgun. I think I'm good with that. I'm gonna try to fight Ego one more time. Then he uninstall the game to win. You literally de delete him, Elmau. Iga's taking these hits. I'm not really doing that much more to Iga. I mean, it's okay. It's 300 damage a hit, which is cool. Ooh, I hate that. I, I hate that move so much. I, I guess I'll just eat all my pizzas then. Just like real life. Get depressed, eat pizza. Oh, got him! And I didn't have to eat all my pizza. Insatiable. Shattered glass in the ground to create a pool of magic. Haha. <laughs> What is a man? He was told there was no future, but he knew they were wrong. That's that, that's Iga's description. Ow. Nova skeleton incoming. There are no Nova skeletons in this game, or are there? Vinny, now defeat him eight Ow. more times. Okay, I'll do that. If you can beat Iga, you can beat Od. I believe that for the first time. I believe. Oh, what would you like to buy? I just need some pizza. Let's fuck a bottle. Talk to the bounty lady for ego reward. All right. Got any? Here's good. Sword whip. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. The longer you hold it, the more it extends. Yeah. All right, here we go. Od. Return what you burn. Return. Oof. Wow. Wow, I just got fucking bodied. Yeah, he's got bigger balls of fire. What can I say? I got little balls. He's got big balls. OD, no problem. Just needed some balls.
standstill projects a field that stops time. I was told now to go visit him. Oh, D? You're still alive? Vampire. Remember? <laughs> right. What um, is he wearing? Sorry. I suppose you'll be wanting your book back. No. You defeated me. Which means you now command me. Pillage my shelves as you please. Oh, okay. So now I can just I'll take every this. book. I'll go with O. I'll go with this. I'll Boy, I love this. reading. I'll go with this. O. Well, now there's no way I can be defeatus. Not even by Norman Reedus. Even though I got OP earlier on, those those final bosses, even with lots of pizza, it's still pretty challenging. But, I mean, inherently that's one of the issues with Ega games, is if you have access to infinite healing, you can just stand and take, like, swords to the face and still live. It's the issue with Breath of the Wild 2. Yeah, I'm hoping Breath of the Wild 2... Huh. Uh, I'm hoping the sequel has... ...some limits. Maybe like a hunger, like a fullness meter. Like if you get too full, Link gets a, like a stomachache. I mean, there really should be a limit on how much you can eat in video games anyway, if they want to be like anywhere near realistic. And we all know that video games... ...without realism, are just... ...stupid. Only Kirby can be allowed to eat anything forever. Okay, Warhorse time. Alright, Frankie Pizza Review time. We're in, uh, Frankie, where the fuck are we? We're in, uh, Pyongyang, North Korea, and, uh, th this isn't pizza, Frankie. Th this is, this is... Frankie, this is an AK-47, Frankie. Stream goes offline, yeah. Frankie, what the fuck you- wait, why'd you bring me here, Frankie? I don't know where we're going. The pizza's great. I love it, I love it. I, lo I love the way you call me Big Paul. Paul. Warhorse. Hey, that's like that thing from Symphony. Oh my god. <laughs> Bab. Throw a spinning blade that returns like a boomerang. He's not a Belmont, he's a Felmont. Or a Helmont. Thank you, chat member. That thing takes up pretty much the whole screen when maxed out. Cool. Uh, I guess that's it. Let's go fucking beat the game. I mean, it's sad that it's over, but there is still stuff to do if you want to just get stupid broken. And there's DLC and stuff on the way. So... This won't be the last time I stream this game, I'd imagine. I'd imagine with the DLC on the way, there's gonna be some more streams. I'd imagine. Imagine there's no shitheads. Someone just said we'll all miss that boy. Yeah. Yes, we will. What are we at? 99.80%. That means that this is the last room. I think I got 100%. Oh, you were Gremory. Oh, I see. Oh. oh, wait, no. Are you- wait, who are you? Are you... also a shard binder? So even Gremory has failed me. Our oh my god, you were Dracula. You could do with the shards. But not I. Shards, I might add. Shards. Which you gave to me of your own will. Oh, we did, your yeah. Your sacrifice has become my strength. So you figured it out. Oh, I see. That's good. That's good. That's Why good. Why are you doing this? <laughs> it's not. Because once again, the demons appeared. And once again, God stayed silent. Oh, that's because of, um... Hang on a second. That, I get it. Because it's like my whale story, where Jonah was in the whale, and I was like, no more religion for me. Oh. Oh! What the Lord we grovel and pray before is a lie. It's the and whales. Because God can rot. <laughs> I decided to seek a higher power. You leave me no choice but to play my final card. 
I will use Can it please be Dracula? And the oh, it's Bale. To summon Bale, the ultimate demon. Do you realize well, what will Bale's happen? also copyright free. But the process is slow because I can oh my see God. the summoning isn't complete. Do you really well, think enough you talk. can stop me before then? J just fucking kill now. Fight. Shoot. Kill. Oh, Miriam, yes, get in do. there. Well, this is going to be underwhelming compared to the previous bosses, I'd imagine. You leave me no choice. Bail. Oh, I thought that was Bale's noise. I thought like he was summoned. He was like, yeah. Oh, what's up, dude? Yo, it's Hades from Kid Icarus Uprising. Oh, Lord of Chameleons. Is there a cat head in here as well? This reminds me of the rail in Beetlejuice, the, the, the snake rail. Since I mentioned Beetlejuice earlier. It's an Ouroboros of weird animals. Well, you know, that happens. You know what would be a good game mechanic, or maybe a really shit game mechanic, but it would be a game mechanic? Is the more optional bosses you defeat, the more difficult the final boss becomes. You get cool items to deal with it, but they add, like, more HP and attacks to each one. It's scaling, it it's so shitty. It's the opposite of Breath of the Wild. Which, by the time you got to Ganana Nana Nana Dorf, it was a little too easy by the end of that game if you just did all the things. But I'm thinking, is there a way to fix that? And the answer is just scale the final boss to the amount of stuff you do. Not too much. You still want to feel powerful. But, like, that could be a story mechanic. Like, if you defeat me, Lord Kakulak will become more powerful than you could ever imagine. I don't know. I know. What Isn't that what broke Oblivion's it? main campaign, though, in Final Fantasy VIII? True, it did, but I'm just talking about one boss. I just an idea. I don't know. I don't, I don't really like it all that much. Even after saying it out loud, I think uh, it's kind of dumb. Yeah, Todd's gone. Rip Todd. I, I just healed in a cutscene. Jibo's fate was already sealed. There was nothing we could have done. Well, we can bring him back for a sequel. Just go back in time with the Tatooine. Let's go home. All right. Okay. That walk cycle will never be unfunny to me. Um, very good game though. Uh, I'd give I'd give this like this is like a nine out of ten game for me. It <clears throat> uh, excuse me, I had a little bit of a knot in my throat. It it perfectly suits the kind of game I like. There's a little bit of crust here and there. <clears throat> there's a little bit of crust here and there. But I would say overall it was a very rewarding and full experience. Oh, Benjamin was voiced by the guy who said memes. I think. I don't know. Um, so, no, very, very good. Lots of, lots of content, lots of gameplay, lots of extra abilities that you can farm for. Now, if they do another one, it'll be even better. Because then they can, you know, do 
other things. <laughs> I don't want to put pressure on Iga, but he seems to know how to make games like these. So I think, you know, I think there could be more. And maybe more side stories, too. Like, Curse of the Moon was really well done. Vinny, are you in the credits? I don't think I am. Remember, I was not a backer. I was just an influencer. They contacted me so I could... You know, they contacted me and, like, 12 or 14 other people so that we can voice crack our way into the game in the form of an item or a weapon of our choosing as long as we streamed it. It's like, yeah, I was going to stream Ega's game no matter the fuck what. Put a Vine Saw sword in there. Speaking of, have you seen the Vine Saw sword? That's me. I am... Um... Forkbeard. No, it's not me. I don't... Oh, okay, that was an interesting message there. Rich Evans is my kawaii waifu. What the fuck did I just read? What was that? Vinny, I think you skipped Vine Sauce. There is a Vine Sauce clan section. Don't miss it. Wait, really? It's probably a very small clan section. Red the Beast. I don't think I put a message in the game. And far from subtle. Because, I mean, this was years ago when the Vine Sauce thing, and I was like a month late. I almost didn't agree to this. At first, I wasn't sure this was a good idea, and then I realized I didn't really have to do a whole lot. And I was like, all right, sure, I'll be a part of it. Uh, nope. I, I did not see any Vine Sauce clan. Missed it? I missed it. I skipped it. Wait a minute. It was the first one you missed it. Hang on a minute. Can I get a clip of that? <laughs> Rich Evans waifu. No. That's that's Rich Evans waifu. Just go to the start menu. Oh, okay. Um, I'm just going to skip ahead here. And I just want to see because I had no idea. I had no idea we were even in this game, honestly. And I forgot about the clan thing. Nor did I expect anything Vine Sauce related to be in the credits. I figured, well, we got a sword in the game. That's cool. That's good enough. Uh, backers, clan, Josh Jepson, clan Mega64. So that's what this stuff was. Zaibatsu. Wait, was it Japes? Oh my god, this is a huge ass, ass clan. What the fuck, man? Yeah, my eyes hurt too. I'm gonna start seeing weird stuff. I'm hallucinating while I'm looking at these credits. It's like the Tetris effect. Apparently it takes an hour to get through the credits if you don't fast forward. Oh, okay. Yep. I mean, this game had a lot of fucking support. This is one of the successful Kickstarter projects. And they didn't disappoint. But holy fucking hell. So much. <laughs> Drink more coffee, that one just said. So th this is different than these are different credits than the one I saw before. Broadsword equals Boathouse equals Vine Sauce. That's, yep, that's me. All this for narcissism. Hey! Look at that. There you are. This is a lot more people than I expected. Wow. Pretty good. Not a bad amount. I was expecting like 15 people. Not bad. You saw Vinny Vine Sauce? Oh man, I'm immortalized. I did it. I'm in an Iga game. Now I have to get in a Kojima game. I'm just gonna break into Kojima Studios. I'm gonna be like, make me a fetus. I wanna, I wanna be a fetus. So there's a speed run mode, a boss rush mode, and there's a sound mode. There's special messages. Dumb, but cool. Juk Chang a pay us on it. Not a humpang, not a humpang. Well, there's David Hater's Japanese. Check out L1 Games on YouTube. Must may the light of lamp illuminate your way. <laughs> Hello to my wife Maria from Dusty. What a horrible night to have a box. <laughs> er, uh, curse. I meant 
curse. Haters gonna hate. Hello. JS can't answer right now. Please, leave a message. Colonel. Even upon my defeat, the power of the Dark Victrosian will one day awaken to be your demise. Look out! I will protect you. There's something written here about a woman named Castile Vanya. Who Cast could she be? Castile Vanya. Daichi loves his wild rose. Well, congratulations. You've got yourself caught. Now, what's the next step of your master plan? <laughs> we Bane posting? Turn down for what? Okay, <laughs> all right then. Yep, well, that's Bloodstained. That was fun. Good game, good stream, good time. I enjoyed. Thank you for watching it, all of it. It was a lot, I know. But it was, for me, worth it. Definitely had fun with it. There will be more eventually whenever there's like substantial DLC that I can play.